to the stream today, everyone who's joined on Twitch and anyone who will be watching later on YouTube. Today's game, hopefully, is going to be a bit of an interesting one. This is one that we've had requested a couple of times from viewers here and there and, here and, there and everywhere. It's to play Persia on Deity Difficulty. We're on quick game pace as usual, small map size and Pangea map. Hopefully, we'll be able to acquire the Chichen Itza and try for the game's longest ever Golden Age. But at the very least, we'll try and win a game as Persia. We're going to also be on low sea level and strategic balance. So a couple of classic settings and maybe we'll see when we get into the game why I've opted to go for these today. But without further ado, let's begin. The blessings of heaven be upon you, beloved King Darius of Persia. You lead a strong and wise people. So, what is so good about Persia that makes them a really high quality sim? Well, first of all, we've got this ability here for Persia. Archimedes Legacy. Hopefully I said that right. Golden Ages last 50% longer. During a Golden Age, units receive plus one movement and 10% combat strength bonus. So that's really cool. Not only do you get 50% longer Golden Ages, and Golden Ages are you know, really, really good things, you also get this extra movement and a 10% combat bonus during one, which, you know, 10% combat bonus is big. It could be the difference. I mean, it is often the difference between a unique unit and then the standard version of the unit. And unique units tend to be a reasonably strong upgrade. So during a golden age, you get that upgrade for your unit without you know, having to have any sort of special unit unit. You can use it wherever you want. Similarly, they have one unit unit. It's this, the Persian Immortal. Apparently it heals at double the, double the rate. It's a Spearman replacement, I think. I can't remember if it's a touch better than the Spearman it replaces or not. But, you know, oh yeah, here we go. It's got higher combat strength and heals more quickly from the Spearman which it replaces. So a nice strong unit. It is a Spearman. As with all melee units, they're not as effective on deity difficulty as, say, ranged units are. But hey, it's a nice unit. Maybe we'll build one or two. And then they also have this unique building, which is also something that makes Persia really strong. It's the Satraps Court. And it's so strong because it's a bank with plus two happiness. Banks are buildings that you will want to build in your cities. And so putting plus two happiness on them just makes them even better. It gives you a reason to gain yourself more gold. So it's a building you want to build. It's a good building. A bank's a decent building anyway, and you actually get plus two happiness on it. So that means that Persia can live a bit longer without having to... Well, it doesn't have to rely so much on AI trades. It doesn't have to rely so much on city-state luxuries. It's got the Satraps Court to give you a little bit of extra boost right when you need it. And now this game. Interesting. I'm not sure what to make of this start so far. We've got all of this forest, which is nice because we can chop the forest down to give ourselves to give ourselves lots and lots of early game production. I also potentially see coast here, and anytime you see coast right next to you, that's always a bit of a warning sign when you're on the vanilla maps because it's telling you that you might be planting loads and loads of coastal expansions. And if you are planting lots of coastal expansions, it's really, really useful for your capital to also be on the coast. So I would love to stay here. I wonder if we scout down here to see if there's anything we're missing and otherwise move to the coast. I mean, if we start on this coastal hill, we still get the stone, we still keep silk in range, and we still get one of our regional luxury in range as well. And then we can settle a city down the river if we need to. It does, it even keeps this stone, so I'm very much inclined to move. But let's do some due diligence and check down the river first. Yeah, look at this, look at this. Like, there's a, there's a coast up here, there's a coast down here. We could also move to this coast. But I like that coast a bit better. Because this one moves us away. I mean, it doesn't have to move us away from the luxury. But it looks pretty flat down here. We could probably squeeze another expansion in here either way. But let's do this. Interesting. I mean, I don't really want to move too far. So we'll probably settle in place. I mean, it sucks to give up a garden. But it looks like this wraps around as well. So that's what we wanted to see. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says, as Persia, should you pop artists as much as possible or still hold on to them? I would say still hold on to them. I think Persia's ability is best used when it's properly timed. And so properly timing is what you use great artists for anyway. So I would say hold on to them much like you would do normally. Bulb them when you want to normally. The only difference is that Persia's great artists have more use militarily than other great artists might do because you actually get that military bonus. You know, there doesn't seem to be a reason to move anywhere. I mean, we could go for a garden if we really wanted to. I also don't really want to give up another turn. And if we go up here, we now do give up the regional luxury in our capital and we don't start next to the stone. So I'd rather just plant. Let's do it. I'm not sure if that's a good idea or not, but I didn't want to waste another turn and I wanted to start next to that stone. Now we've got this. We're starting on a hill, which is great. We can work a 2-1 tile even better. And we can take a scout as our first policy. The next thing we need to do is decide whether or not we want a shrine. 
looking at this land, I don't see any reason why we would want a want would want a shrine. We could take Desert Faith. That is something that's available to us. But we'll only start accumulating Desert Faith once we found our city. In general, on Deity Difficulty, religions, you know, it's really hard to hold on to your religion. So I don't really I don't really like religion too much on Deity. So we might, and we don't even have a granary resource, so there's no reason to go pottery. So perhaps we go Animal Husbandry straight away and try and reveal some horses to get ourselves another 2-1 tile to work the moment our capital grows. And we can take this ruin now. Map. Okay, so there's an expansion down here for sure. We've got the Coco. It picks up a copy of our regional luxury. So that would make, give ourselves three total unique luxes in the city already. We can even settle on this hill or perhaps on the Tundra to make the Tundra tile better. Hill's probably better and we get a fish. So that's quite nice. So there's one expansion here already. We There might be an expansion in here. There could be an expansion down the river and there could be one just over here. So hopefully we get three or four good cities in this area. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says stone circles. So stone circles, first of all, we've only got two stone in the capital. So currently the maximum faith we see in our land is plus four. And the thing about stone circles is it's one of those pantheons that's great the lower the difficulty you're on. And it's because stone circles is a good pantheon. It makes, it makes better tiles that you always want to work. But you don't get stone, you don't get quarries in your cities until maybe turn 30, turn 40. And so you only start working that faith on turn 40. The main goal of a faith is to get religion, and getting faith on turn 40 on deity is just not worth it. So Stone Circle is great pantheon, but it's one of those things where on deity it just doesn't work out for you in the way that it needs to. So I do like Stone Circles as a pantheon, but yeah, it's just a bit not it does it's not effective, not as effective on deity as it looks. It's one of those that's much more effective the lower difficulty that you go. We should probably, yeah, we'll go out to meet, we'll go, we we'll use this scout to go towards the rest of the world. And then when the warrior doubles back, perhaps that can fill in this tiny bit of scouting that we haven't done. And we'll get another scout as well in the cap because we could do with making sure to get our garrison units up and to scout around the world. And then we'll think about a monument. We're going to wait one turn on this ruin because right now we're at one population. If this is a population ruin, it's virtually wasted because we'll go from one to two, but we were going to go to two anyway. So what we'll do is we'll wait one turn just in case this ruin is population and then we can get maximum value. And then look, I gave all this speech about stone circles. Here's a marble right there. And now what? Three stone. Still though, it's the same thing. We were still never going to get a quarry until turn like 30, 40. So not worried about the decision, but obviously the late game potential was there when it isn't normally. Wow, there's definitely an expansion over here. Two fish, cattle, marble and a hill or two. That's just about enough to make a expansion over here worth it. So we'll definitely be doing that. And now we can take... Do we need to see what's over here? Why not? Another fish. Didn't really make a difference to what we're going to do though. We've grown now. We could work this hill. We've got more than enough production though. Let's take a little bit more growth and grab a monument. Because we don't yet have... Let's actually... Yeah, because we don't yet have a culture ruin. So this might be the perfect time to grab an early monument. now we can take this 55 gold all of that prancing around for nothing and here's a horse so we've got that horses available earlier than we would have done if we'd gone pottery first so that is a big plus one for us in terms of in terms of the production that we were able to work we would have been stuck on this but we've got an extra food out of what we were doing here and then bonfire says it depends on the ai you have sometimes if you don't have any religiously inclined sieves you can get late religions yeah that's true i've gotten plenty of late religions on deity but what I'm trying to do is, in the absence of information, try and make like the most consistent play. And I th I felt that that would be to really not go for a religion if we didn't even see a good pantheon that we liked. Like Stone Circles is probably the, the obvious and only choice, I would have said. And so that is what convinced me not to do it, because it was like the only really short, the only real choice that was there. Hopefully we can, maybe we can meet a faith city state early or something and grab some faith, but it looks like upon meeting that Japanese scout, that's not going to happen. And there's a Saka. Does he cover our lands? Not yet, but if we settle the marble, he might. And we're going to have to worry about that. He's also going to get a copy of our original. Bonvaro says, yeah, no, I agree, Lord. Just thinking out loud. Yeah, always, always. We always accept comments and stuff on this channel. So definitely offer what you've got. We'll always consider it. Always looking to get better. This city down here got even better because there's a horse now too. So we are 100% settling this. 
We could even do with looking at what's here before choosing. Yeah, this hill again, it gets even a deer in range. And there's Vilnius. Japan didn't meet Vilnius or Hanoi. That's very weird. Okay, and we're done with the monument. So let's start now on a worker. We can grow to pop three before we start building settlers. We might even finish this worker before the settlers come out. And we need to check which of these city-states we'd like to steal from. Looks like we could choose to steal from either. I'm not sure Japan will mind. So I don't know which we choose. Probably... I mean, it could be Hanoi. We're not going to kill a city-state, though, in this situation. So there's no point thinking about that. This city, I wonder if it goes right next to the marble here. Because it's so... Because this city is going to be so flat, it's going to need the extra production from a, a quarry on the marble. So perhaps we even steal Hanoi's worker to bring it to this city, which is probably going to be our first expansion. Anyway, Gurren joins the stream today. Says, hello, how's it been? I'm good, thanks, Gurren. How are you? It's been, it's been busy at work. We've had a lot of stuff to do at my work. So we've been busy, but I'm very pleased it's now the weekend. Four-day week next week in the United Kingdom as well, so really happy about that. Generally looking forward to the weekend. Get a bit of rest in, you know? Anyway, Wimpy says, stealing? Yeah, stealing workers. If this is not a tip that you have heard of already, you can steal a worker from a city-state practically for free. And the reasoning is because of how war with city-states works. So when you declare war, first of all, you get to choose when to declare war and when to make peace with a city-state. It is 100% up to you. There are no conditions on when you can and can't do it. You can just war them when you want, peace them when you want. It's something that is totally up to you. And so because of that, what we can do is if we want a free worker, we can wait next to a city-state, wait until there, that seems to be an iron tile there, wait until a city-state pops a worker out that's unprotected and just declare war on them and take the worker and then just peace them and abuse the city-states just like that. So it's kind of crazy, but it is something that is definitely worth doing because early workers speed up your start incredibly highly. One of the things, I've got a food guide video that I really wanted to come. I've been... I was working on it yesterday, but I was hoping to provide an extra extra walkthrough, playthrough guide to accompany the video when I released it. And basically, I kept spawning next to isolated, high-progressive AIs and getting killed turn 60. So I wasn't able to get any good footage for that guide yet, but as soon as we do, we'll release it and it will demonstrate... Well, one of the things we talk about in the guide is how working all improved tiles is such a big bonus to your city it's unbelievable so that's why early workers are so good and that's why we might steal them off a city state now the next question is you know you the next question really is what are the diplomatic repercussions for declaring war on city states because you know there's got to be some well first and foremost the city state will hate you for doing it that's a thing but they De declaring war once on city-states as a whole does not suffer any diplomatic ramifications at all with city-states, any of them, even the one you declare war on, except for getting started at minus 60 influence. And so when you war and make peace, there's no difference whatsoever. Once that minus 60 influence decays back to zero, it's like nothing ever happened. So that work is literally free. It doesn't cost you anything to do it, so you just do it 100% of the time. The When it doesn't become free is if you declare war on city-states twice, then what happens is some city-states will become wary. And that means that your positive influence with them decays faster. And so that is the diplomatic repercussions. And they become wary if you declare on one city-state twice or even two city-states once each. City-states will even become wary like that. It's about declaring war on the group of city-states as a whole. It's like they're all allies or something, like the city-states of the European Union. So one is, once is fine, twice you have to worry about the diplomatic repercussions with city-states. But in general, the AIs aren't too worried about doing that. Anyway, Guren says, ah, you finally started to get the RNG I usually get. Yeah, this is quite a, this is a much nicer start. I like this start. It's, it's decent. It's got a river, so it's strong. We've got our horses, which is good. It's not so exceptional because there's not too much production in our land. And we have started next to Japan, who are quite warmongery. And Japan are one of these war um, AIs that are very difficult to stop from warring you if they want to war you. They're the type of AI that just wars you if they want to war you regardless. So they're going to be really difficult to manage. And that's why I'm really worried about this city spot down here. We might avoid it, but I would like to settle it. But we may choose not to, given how aggressive Japan is. And we might try and kill them by other means. Anyway, 
Bonvaro says, Skirin, you should have been here for the Triple Tundra start with India lot. Yeah, that was ridiculous. I couldn't believe that. We tried three, was it three games as India? Tundra, Tundra, Tundra. And it wasn't even like good Tundra. It was like flat Tundra, no forest, just like deer everywhere. And, I mean, deer are good, but they're not so great when it's all without forest. But yeah, kind of crazy. Yeah, Wimpy Assassin says, you know, WTF, yeah, it's it was it was crazy those india starts were so so crazy we in, in the end we fortunately the ai killed us off of all of those starts so we didn't have to play them out like that it was kind of bad i must admit never again sounds like there's a barb camp right in here somewhere near our capital yeah right here we've just spotted it and apparently this barb has stood on our growth tile we want to keep growing so we'll do that we need to get past japan who doesn't cover our lands yet which is good news Now we can go back to working the stone. We need to get a vision of what's here. Oh, there's a ruin here as well. There may be a city in here somewhere, and we need to figure that one out. Grim says that Marvel City would be really hard to defend. Yeah, I 100% I agree with you. I'm not looking forward to settling that city. In the interests of not dying, I don't think that we will. Oh, look, here's Hanoi's worker right now. So we'll do the worker deal in just a minute. It's a shame, because if we get this city, we get four good cities. If we don't, we're going to get this city... We've got our capital, and then we're going to have to find one more somewhere down this river. See if we can get a population ruin now. Culture. Wow, okay. So we didn't actually need to take the build a monument, but hey, we've built one, so that's what we're going to have to deal with. We probably want to go to Calendar next to improve our luxuries, and we can go here to chop this out. This is quite risky, actually, chopping down the silk, because a barb could spawn up here with the hand axe on this hill and then move straight away and take our worker. So I don't think we actually want to do that. It's a shame. We can chop this forest down though. So we can start with that one until we're ready to defend it. And see if we can take Hanoi's worker. Bonvaro says plus marble for maybe an early wonder. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I would like an early wonder. We might try and get one. There looks to be a city in here somewhere though. One, two, three. Maybe like right there. I mean, Persepolis actually has a fish now, but there could be a city in here somewhere. Alternatively, we could plop one right across on this island somewhere. So maybe try and fit three in down here. One here. One in here somewhere. And one on Persepolis. And then settle across later once we've got optics. We can go straight for Settler now. There seems no point in waiting. Nine. Nine. So this is just more gold. So we'll take this. Wimpy says, well, it's one turn until the AI gets Temple of Artemis. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's funny actually. Temple of Artemis tends to get tends to go on turn sixteen. Actually, it's not gone yet, is it? Not yet. Maybe maybe it will go soon. If it's not gone on turn seventeen to turn twenty, we might have a chance. So I will consider it. But if the AI wants it, it often goes for it early because AI starts, I think, with archery tech, which means they can literally open with building Artemis. More fish, huh? It seems like a waste almost to settle a city in here. Like if we could just wait. And then settle something across this island. That could be so much better. But then there could be another AI around here somewhere that we don't know about. And we can take Hanoi's worker. Bam. And we can actually leave this war open right now. Because if we leave the war open, we can get a multi-steal on Hanoi. If we leave the war open and they keep leaving their worker exposed, we'll be able to come in. We can stand outside of their city border vision. You only get border vision on tiles one ring out from your city border. So if we stand here with a scout, Hanoi can't see us. We can wait, wait for worker to come out, and then just come in, take it when it's undefended, and then and then leave. So we can get multiple steals on Hanoi this way. And then Babo Luther King joins the stream today. Welcome to the stream, Babo Luther King. How are you? And good evening. Yep, so we took a hit from Hanoi, but it wasn't game-changing. We need to be careful with the scout because what could happen right now is we could get hit by a barbarian. Where do we go? We try and go north around Japan maybe. See what's over here and then we come back. Drop this down for Persepolis. Bamba says, tiles one ring out of your borders and yeah, hills on two tiles out of your borders if there's a flat land bet in between. Yes, that's a good correction actually. So one thing about city-state vision is that if that you can see units on hills two tiles out from your borders as long as there's a flat land tile in between so right now there's not a good example but this hill we'd actually be able to see a unit on it from our capital even though it's not that one tile out 
and that's just because it's higher ground so it's kind of replicating the fact that you know you can look up and see someone on the top of a hill but that's the thing too but hanoi is so flat that we can really stand anywhere i mean this dies right here that worker is going to come back back to here time and time again to improve the dies and we can just stand here their borders are never going to expand anywhere close and we can just come in and take it for free you know baba says i'm good and you yeah i'm good thanks just excited and pleased for it to be the weekend oh um chat while i remember something while we're here i learned a good tip the other day which is about barbarian spawning it's from a guy called rough mercies who's a fellow a fellow civ streamer who's trying to make it in the world of streaming civ and he he had a tip that he put in one of his guide videos it got recommended to him by one of his followers that said um that said basically that barbarians they tend to spawn something like every 10 turn every 10 turns for any barbarian camp that spawns like right at the start of the game and so we got this one coming down on turn 19 which is almost exactly right on cue and hey look it spawned right here it came right here as well if it spawned what i forget whether or not it spawned there or there but it could have easily come in and taken our worker if we'd done the silk so we need to make sure to stay away we can't even really improve the horses which means we need to handle that camp at some point i wonder if we go archery at some point soon we're not going to improve this luxury yet so if we go archery into calendar we can buy an archer with our gold persepolis looks is it flat persepolis is okay in terms of hills i'm not sure this work is a bit redundant right now where it can't do this tile but you never know we'll chop this forest down instead anyway babo says no wait bomb virus is calling it now that barbie's gonna spawn and your warrior's gonna be stuck yeah <laughs> yeah it's kind of stuck isn't it but hey i wanted to get vision on that we'll be able to get it back Maybe. Have a bit of a fight out. We'll get it back eventually. In fact, it has cleared the way for our worker to go chop down that forest. So we'll go do that. Maybe we can try and rescue it at some point. No one's even met Budapest yet. That's kind of strange. Take like legalism. That means we get a free amphitheater as soon as it's available. Hopefully that warrior will move away at some point and then we can go and handle it. We can get another chop in here and we need to get the scout here and just heal. Ready to escort. Archer in two, and then we can buy the archers to handle the camp. Yep, no barbs are going to spawn yet, so we chop that. And now we need to work the hill. And we can chop this down too. Yeah, it's kind of okay. We haven't discovered our iron yet, so there's more production to come. And we can heal this scout for one turn before... Yeah, we can heal the, heal the scout for one turn before it then escorts this settler down to this city spot, which is the first one that we want to take. It's unfortunate Japan's going to get our regional luxury here, but there's not a lot we can do about it. Wow. <laughs> yeah, this, this warrior might actually be dead. <laughs> unfortunate. What's the quickest way down here? Yeah, we can go out here. That's fine. And then we can wait to... Oh, Sinai. Hello. We can wait one more turn before... Yeah, the scout can heal one more turn. That is totally stuck, though. <laughs> But we can go for another settler now. And we can purchase this archer to handle the camp. I do quite enjoy an early purchase of a military unit. It'd be kind of powerful. Baba says good. Uh, only anyway, Baba says all right. Due to the short notice, I won't be able to hang around. Sadly, got to go. Maybe catch you later, depending on the length of your stream. Well, thanks for joining, Baba. Always great to have you here. Yes, hopefully whatever it is you've got to do goes well. Um, have a good evening. And yeah, see you later if we see you. We can finish this chop as well. 13 production. Here's a good tip for anyone new, by the way. Chopping down forests. So that, chopping down a forest is by far the best thing that you can do with a worker in the early game. And it's because we just got 13 production for chopping down a forest that's within our cultural borders. 13 production. If you imagine how else do you get 13 production? Well, you improve a tile with a worker for plus one production to the tile and then work it for 13 turns. That's how else you get plus one production from a plus 13 production from a worker. It's an incredibly fast bonus that's hyper effective. This warrior is going to need some help to get out alive. We'll give it help. And now we can keep moving and bring the scout along with us as well. This took a hit from the barbarian, unfortunately. And now we do need calendar. But we can probably get a mine up there first. City state over there. Yep, we lost the warrior. That's unfortunate. Yeah, double hand axe shot. Well, we bought an archer to replace it. Probably bad planning from us. Oh man, this is even more bad planning to move the scout in there next to that archer. Hopefully this scout, because it's taken some hits, it will get an instant heal at some point soon. 
Uh, this can be a farm, yeah, sure. And we can kill this. And yeah, this took a hit, which is not good. We can't really afford to go around, actually. How do we get out of this mess with the archer to get to this location? Do we settle this city first? Maybe we do. We might have to settle this city first just to protect. Probably want... If, if we're going to found this city, though, we probably want it to be right here or right on the desert to make better a bad tile. We're going to have to preserve those forests for lumber mills. And then that perhaps means... I don't know if we settled that or whether or not we settle here again to preserve some tiles. Might be better to go down here then with the next city. And then we can heal the scout. Because let's not risk it. That's the worst thing to do is to risk it with a scout. That's so close though, getting that getting that settler here. Oh four out of ten. So we take another hit. That's 6 out of 10. There's no way that this thing lives. Are there any more barbarians nearby? No. But we need a couple of turns to get this thing away. So we, if we move here. And then the scout comes. It takes another hit. And then we move here. And then the scout comes again. And that time it dies to the archer. Hmm. There's no way to escape it, though. And I really would not like to lose yet another scout. That seems really bad. But that's what it would cost us to get this city down. Oh, there's a barbarian right there as well, so we have to stay away. That solves it for us, then. We have to stay away for the moment, settle the other city, and then come back for it later. And we can maybe go bronze working now. This is where not having the warrior is costing us. Yep, so there's the archer. We can go right there or right there to settle. I mean, here makes use of that desert if we go here. Actually, make sure that we get something, does it? I mean, we don't get this hill, but the capital is going to want it. We're going to have to make all of these things lumber mills, but that's okay. It would be better to preserve the tile. Probably do it here for the long-term the long -term potential of the city and to preserve the hammers. And we can work a growth tile straight away. That seems okay. Make sure we've not borrowed any capital tiles, which we haven't. Improve this stuff. And we're going to need to drop back now with the archer. And deal with this. And we need to get this inside the city to heal. And then we can start on a granary straight away. Low production city so far. So we can't really afford to go work at first. Anyway, Bonviral says, Here's something I have an issue with sometimes. If your cap has low production, is it ever worth it to save early forest for lumber camps? I'm actually a big fan of doing that. I would do it. But that chop... I just felt made us so much faster. We've still got third ring forest, third ring forest, third ring hill, third ring hill, forests here, you know, stone, horse, iron to be discovered, and another hill. So I felt that we might just have enough in Persepolis mm -hmm. to avoid needing to save that specific forest for a lumber mill, but maybe we should have. <laughs> Von Vyage also says, you didn't accidentally turn on raging barbarians, did you? Yeah, I know. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? The amount of trouble that barbarians are causing us right now. We actually cannot. Can we? We'd lose the horse improvement if we were to go and shoot this archer. But it helps release our settler. And then... Okay, Kaisal. This worker can finish this. And it doesn't matter if it gets taken. Because we're not going to be using the worker for a while. And that camp is going to go down fast anyway. We have significant bar problems, so we should probably take another archer. And then we can handle what's going on after this. It's a shame. I hate taking... I really do hate taking a military unit right now. But we've got two early workers, so it might be the best we can do. Okay, so we can do that now. That's dead. Then we can bombard this. This 
can move over towards our new city. This archer can now stay here and we can back up one and then hit like that. And we can even put this out there right now to try and convince the barb to capture it. Maybe. It might. We need to work it over to the new city anyway though. So let's do this and see if we can convince it to do something a bit weird. Protect our tile. Persepolis appears to have been knocked off the horse for a moment. So we'll do that instead. It's a shame the horse style's good. Yeah, it did pillage. That's okay though. I think we're okay with that. We've got an improvement. Well, we've got a heal for the archer. We'll try and save it. And then we can go back and improve this straight away. Not sure where we're going with that scout. We might have gone in a bad direction. And let's try and lead the way with this scout this time. And this worker can move towards Pazagarde to improve it. We need to... I don't know what we do. I mean, we border expand to one of these stone. And I think we work it. We grow soon and then we go unhappy. But we can improve this silk. In fact, we might take monarchy. I'm not sure. Keep moving. We look okay so far. And we can now shoot that. And then take... Do we take monarchy to grow? Probably. We. It's a little bit of happiness. It's not much. But it does help us grow. There's a ruin down there. That's that's crazy. And we can improve this luxury first of all for Pazagarde. Pazagarde does have a production tile to grow to. Bronze working complete. Now... Artemis is still here, but it is 13 turns. 13 turns is probably longer than I'd like, given how late we'll be looking at Artemis. And hey, we moved on to our iron. That's kind of crazy. Apparently, we got gold as well. I didn't know that. And we border grew to this stone. And I think we work tiles like this now. And hey, this city got even better because we can chop down this forest for the iron. So that's really good. And then this keeps moving. I don't know yet... Let's just check with Radar Ring. There's no Barbarians around to cause the problems. I don't know yet where we put the city. Need to move back one. And then we can move out here. We've improved this. So let's get another Luxury Online. 15 turns. Oh, Ruin. Archer upgrade. Okay. 15 turns until we grow. It's 11 turns until Artemis. Artemis would be great for our strategy. It would be exceptional if we got it, but I don't know that we can afford it. We probably need to go granary and then worker instead. Just because it's now turn 32, I don't know if we can afford to go for it. In any case, we need to get stone improved at some point, so we'll want masonry. Plenty of food in our empire. Do we settle here? We give up a deer to settle here. And we also leave around a really bad Tundra tile. Maybe it makes sense to go in here. I don't like settling so many flatland cities, but I'm going to try it. There's a camp, so at least we help to get rid of the Barb Camp as well. And then we can actually buy a tile to improve, to work with here. Although we don't need it right now. That was a bit of a waste, but we should go do something with it. And we can keep the scout around here and eventually handle that Barb Camp. We can maybe even try and take out this barb camp too with our scout archer. And then we're going to have to take the promotion now for the archer because you can only delay the promotion by taking military actions. We've run out of things to shoot. Yeah, so we'll have to take it now. Oh, we should have taken a better promotion than that, but oh. alas. Can we trade away iron for spices? Lol. <laughs> can we give away horses for gold? We can. Japan, that's not a bad deal actually with Japan. He doesn't desire our lands yet. That's probably because we didn't settle the Marble City. So I'm quite pleased we chose not to do it. Oh, we're actually happy now because we took his locks. So we should grow in Sousa. And we'll keep bombarding this archer for the time being. There's a spearman that spawned. That's unfortunate. But we can shoot it without it being able to hit us back. And then we can get ready to deal with it when it moves closer. Pop. Nice. Where was that? Persepolis screw. Very cool. Very cool indeed. It's 
So that population room was really quite clutch for Persepolis. We can probably just sit here and deal damage to the Spearman. It will kill itself by attacking our Archer. And there's Austria, so we're about to meet, finally, our second AI. And fortunately, one of Japan's neighbours. Probably, we need to work the growth right now. We are growing a lot, though, in the cap. Two food, three gold. Actually kind of feels okay. And we've got another Lux up, so we do want to make sure we are growing. We could even work this as well for more gold. It's a bit of a slow granary, though. We'll get there. That's good. So now we can kill this Spearman. We can chop down a forest for Persepolis. And then we can go and move up for the Barbarian camp and finally deal with it and meet Austria. Hello, Austria. And we can trade away our regional for wine. So next time we get cotton online, that will be happiness. Hopefully those two will war each other. We need to send this worker down towards Sousa because that's the next unique luxury that we want to improve. And then this worker can chop the iron down and then perhaps get us the cotton after that. Next for perhaps writing so we can start on libraries when we need them. Annoying worker. Really? Why is it running all the way over here? It must be p trying to path to a tile that it can't get to. It's kind of crazy. What like this now for sure in the city. I don't want it in the capital. But capital's got a lot of decent tiles. And then this needs to keep moving towards Sousa. No risk of being taken, I don't think. Another ruin there. Where are all these late ruins coming from? Lots of city-states want this camp. Oh no, it's multiple city-states wanting lots of different camps. We should try and find a way to get this worker stolen. It's just moving towards all of our stuff. There's a trireme. We'll have to watch out for that. Because that could pillage cargo ships. We have to wait till next turn because the trireme for some reason is able to zone of control us. We can kill the barbarian in, the, in this camp and the warrior will go back into the camp to protect the camp. Map. Nice. We've got some more horses. Okay, that can be worked by Sousa next. That. Fine. You know what? We'll take it. Bam. Multi-steel. The weirdest multi-steel we've ever got. Hanoi moved its worker into our territory. The worker's on a pilgrimage to Persia. Allow it. <laughs> yep. And we have indeed allowed it. And we are now quite happily taking it. We'll take open terrain because this barb camp's in open terrain. There's a promotion for that. And we can... We can... Kill the barb camp and then take it with a scout. And then... <laughs> Wimpy says he's in a better place. Yeah. Yeah, he is. <laughs> oh dear. Poor thing. There's probably AI up there. And there's... There, I don't know if there's AI down here. Probably not. And we need to try and find the AI. So let's double back towards that camp. And we've got another worker done. This can go get ourselves a quarry, because we tech for it. And then Persepolis Temple is still there. Probably need a caravan though. Not a caravan, a cargo ship. And we don't have sailing yet, so let's get a worker instead. Man, Temple is still here. We have to try for it now, surely. I mean, the AI is never going to let us build it, but are they? Turn 49? There it goes. Okay, cool. So we just, we didn't actually lose any production to it whatsoever, because the production was able to go straight back into the worker because we queued it up afterwards. And then we can drop back in here to protect in our land. Let's move towards the barbarian camp. And then this worker was coming over here. We can improve the we can actually chop this down first. It was like a good idea. And there there's where the barbarian galley galley got. Keep improving tiles, make sure we're working maximum production, which we are. Yeah we're doing well. This Work is being threatened, so we need to bring over our scout. Lots of food being worked in season now. Anyway, Jack Loco 96 joins the stream today. Says, hey, I found you from your YouTube channel. How's it going? Hey, Jack Loco, how are you doing? Welcome to the stream today. Yeah, most of, pe most of the people in chat found us through the YouTube channel, actually, actually. So you're definitely in the same boat as everyone else. Welcome to the channel. I am doing good, thanks. Pretty excited for the weekend. How are you? This trireme needs to die before it pillages cargo ships, but we should be able to handle it. I want to kill this camp, because that is really in our hair. 
And yeah, look, now we're being challenged for our luxury. And we can... I don't like this because we're going to have to get into a shooting match with the archer. So let's go round. And we can chop down this forest. Azagado is about to grow, so we need to make sure we grow to a good tile. We can purchase this because we get extra production as well. Once we chop the forest down, so let's... And that way we can grow onto that tile. Cephalus can keep growing. Sousa can also keep growing. Good. Anyway, Jack Locus is doing good. Really nice weather at the moment. Oh, nice. Where where are you? I'm, I'm in London right now. It's pretty cold. Nice weather, but cold. Yeah, we're being hit by the scout. But if we heal, we should probably be able to sit here. Another ruin, really? Wow. Take the camp, finally. Cleared it. And we can try. And we can't actually shoot that thing right the try room right now but we'll try our best to shoot it and Pazagada grew to this tile we got our 13 production from chopping the forest down and then what do we do this worker probably also chops the forest down because we are going to want to chop that down so we can keep accelerating our start still don't want a caravan so we still need a worker we really need those cargo ships but we'll be able to use them and Pazagada grew as well so we handled Pazagada's growth we've got Sousa's growth coming we're getting our luxuries online and Persepolis grew. And yeah, we want to work this tile for the time being. Can we? I mean, that's 12 versus 18. So let's just make sure to get more production. Out. Oh, UK as well. Nice. Yeah, nice weather. Bit cold, but nice weather nonetheless. So we can now shoot the trireme. And we need to keep an archer pit posted out here to make sure camps don't spawn back. We've finished this, so now we get the quarry. And then this archer can come down and try and handle the barbarians, giving us other problems. We don't need to instant heal because we'll heal up to 61 health before we take this brute shot. So what we can do... Trapping. Wow, nice. These late ruins are really clutch for us. What we can do is we can take the... Just take scouting. And then eventually when we do need to scout, we'll scout. And then Jack Locus says, do you ever play standard or just quick? Um, I do prefer quick speed because that's what I play on multiplayer Civ. But... I think, yeah, cargo ship after the worker or before the worker. It's honestly more useful to get that cargo two turns earlier, so we'll take that now. And Pazagarde doesn't need a library. It's a bit low production, so maybe it needs a library. And then Sousa also needs a library. Sousa is going to be the big delay. So we could probably actually squeeze a cargo in here because we're already improving tiles. Um, I, I like both speeds. I commonly play on... Do we need optics? Yeah, there's a couple of cities that would benefit from optics. And then we can go to philosophy. Although, I mean, philosophy, if we could build Oracle before National College, that would also help greatly. So we'll try that instead. Anyway, yeah, I, I play, I prefer quick speed because that's what I play on multiplayer. But Whoa. I'm not averse to doing a bit of standard every now and again. Standard is a lot. Any the, the quicker the game pace, the worse war tends to be. So I quite like playing standard, especially when I want to war. Um, but right now we're playing a, a bit of quick. And that's a bit dictated because I've only probably got maybe like four hours to finish this game tonight so we need to make sure to be sensible about that time as well finally kill that we can actually stand there probably the best tile to stand on get a view over there and when we get optics we can cross the river cross the ocean or cross the coast to see what we've got we finished that we still don't need the happiness so we can chop down another forest with the iron on it we've got a good start so far i love it this scout could be in danger if the spearman comes down but right now it's not in danger and we, we can actually shoot the archer without being shot back. Probably should do it. There's nowhere better to go right now because it's standing right where we want to go. Yeah, this scout is now in a bit of danger. I mean, this spearman shouldn't hit us next turn. So we can go up to 32 points. But we need to start putting hits on the spearman. We can back up though and try and protect our luxury for now. And do we? can we cut any of these down? I mean, they're both fresh water and we do have a Tundra Hill. And we can leave some of these out here for lumber mills if we need it. So maybe we can cut. I mean, that's, yeah, that's grassland, fresh water. And that's, so this one we can cut down. This one we need to leave. And then we can probably cut down. We can improve the food tile on Persepolis now. And stay there. And now we can keep moving along and chop this down. We expanded to the wheat, which is a brilliant tile. We could do with working that. We need the production right now, though. We can work this tile once we grow next. No need to work it now. 
and then Sousa also grew. That actually needs a production tile to work. This one will get grown to later, so we'll buy that now. And it's a great tile because we've got a granary. And then we can take tradition food to make sure that we've now got maximum growth in the capital. And now perhaps we can start really growing. There's really not a good food tile to work though. So I guess we'll keep on the production to make sure to get that cargo ship out sooner. There's Satsuma settled right where we wanted. Japan would have wanted that location, so I'm pretty pleased about that. Hey! Where'd that spearman go? Did Vilnius kill it? In any case, we'll try and work on this camp for the quest. There's no need to be a war with Hanoi anymore. We're not going to get another steal from them. Perhaps we'll convince them to desire this camp as well. Yeah, now we've got more food coming from this tile as well, now that we chopped it down. And we can chop this down and probably put a farm on it straight away. There's actually a worker in this camp. Maybe we can take that and return it to a city-state. And now we've got plenty of production in Pasagarde. So this is why I felt that we would actually be able to get away with... Mm, shame we can't get any more food here. Oh, well, we want to work that now. This is why I felt we might have been able to get away with going for cargo ship first. So, yeah, Vilnius is helping us now with our bar problems. And now we've got this cargo ship. So... I think first port of call is to send it to a city that needs to grow to get help. And we've got two great cities. Neither will have problems. Where can this go? Yeah, it can go to both. And then the next one. No, this one needs to go to the capital now because Pasagarde's one's going to be so long. So we go to Pasagarde. We need to try and get vision actually on this stuff to make sure there's not a barbarian trireme in there. Which there isn't. And we can chop this hill down as well. We can grow to production. It doesn't really matter what. Move this scout to try and clear that camp when we get the chance. Shame we've not got a hill to grow to here. But there is really not a lot to be done about it. Okay, chop this hill down. This is done now. We will need another luxury, but this can do it. This worker is perfectly fine actually getting the luxury too. So this one can come down to our city of Sousa. And Sousa is now up to... How many workers are we on? We're on one, two, three. We're on six workers, so we don't need any more. Generally, two workers per city is a really good number to be at. So we'll take it. We need to heal here. Otherwise, we're going we're gonna to get killed by the swordsman. We can back up and perhaps... Actually, back up twice. Stay out of the way. And this can go to Persepolis to make sure we get maximal growth. Can we take the camp? Probably not. Maybe we take open terrain. We'll get more damage and be able to take it down. Yeah, we can. Bam. That's Vilnius as decent friends. That's really pleasing. Anyway, Jack Jack Loco says, I see in a lot of your videos that you chop down your forest. Is that better than pulling up, putting up lumber mills? So in general, it actually does tend to be yes. So if you chop down a forest within your first two rings, when they're inside your borders, you get 13 production from it. That 13 production is how else do you get 13 production well you improve a t you improve a production with a worker and then you work that tile for 13 turns afterwards so in general chopping down forests for production gives you 13 production and it's more production than you could ever get by improving a tile with that worker and you get it something like 13 does it 13 yeah you get it about 13 turns sooner 13 to 15 turns sooner so chopping down forests especially the ones inside your borders are a huge accelerator to your production queue. The question then becomes, well, what about putting down lumber mills? Well, first of all, we don't start putting lumber mills down for a while yet because we've still not even got construction. That's the first thing. The second thing is that, in general, a lot of the forests that you'll be cutting down, you might have wanted to put farms on anyway. Or mines. Because if it's a hill forest, you'll put a mine on it. If it's a river tile or a freshwater tile, you're going to want to put a civil service farm tile on anyway. And so it's only really that small portion of flat plains and flat grassland tiles. And that's the question of do you chop them down? Um, that choice I tend to make depending on whether or not I think I've got enough production elsewhere. Because it's such a huge boost to the start of your game that you should, if at all possible, cut it down. And so the question is, do I have enough production in other tiles in my land to be able to afford to cut it down? And if the answer is yes, then I'll do it. We can't build another cargo. We can get a stoneworks for production. We should probably finally get a shrine. So that we can actually start on some faith. We should get, finally get a shrine in a lot of these cities actually. 
as a guard is working production now. A little bit slow, this cargo. But anyway, oh, we've been botted twice. Let's quickly ban those. So ban that bot. And ban this bot. Now we can carry on. Yeah, we're actually a little bit slow right now to do our library in this city, but perhaps we can speed it up. It's a shame we couldn't eke out one more food from the capital. There goes Petra. Got this. Yep, so there's our sixth production for chopping a hill outside of our borders. This is the one time that it's marginal. A third, a third ring forest that's not inside your borders is more marginal for a chop down. But even then, sometimes it can be a decent idea. We need to grow to production. We take... Oh, no, we're actually going to do it. So that's perfect over there. And this can improve our lux. More production to come. Bring this archer back to defend our stuff. We actually probably need both units down here to make sure we patrol all of this area for barbarians. And we can improve this food here. This archer... Perhaps continue working on that camp where we can... Susa Groove, we do want to work the production now for a couple of turns just to make sure we get that library done in good time. But yes, that's the thing with a mill. Generally always worth chopping down any time. Any time the forest is on the hill, chop it down. Any time we... Um, what, am I, what am I thinking about? Any time that's on a river, you can probably safely chop it down. And then outside of that, it's a bit more of a judgment call. So we need... I mean... One unit out here is fine. And then this scout will come in and help eventually. Acephalus grew. Yeah, so we want to keep working that probably as well for production. A library next. If we want to go na Oracle, we should build our library now. So we can start the National College immediately once Oracle finishes. It's not gone yet. Uh, we don't want to cut down this, so let's improve the food tile. This can improve a food tile. And this one can now come over and finish that pasture. We just stand out here with the archer. Oh, barb camp spawned down here. So we're going to have to come handle that with the archer that's here. Try and dodge away from this spearman if possible. We actually grew to this so we can work that now as well. For more growth. We could actually work some more food, but that would be too much food for this city. Production that needs to be grown to. Yes, we'll do that. Not a lot to be done here. Uh, Japan is apparently Ooh. super happy with us. That is disconcerting. They might just love us though. We should try and pay them to what Austria. They've not met Austria. Well, let's sell, th sell them an iron like that. We need them to meet Austria. Otherwise, we can't pay them to war anyone. They don't covet our lands, which is a good thing. So maybe they are genuinely friendly. The problem is, is that Japan is one of those AIs that can go from friendly to nightmare in the blink of an eye. We can bring this archer over and this worker can now get us some more production with the deer and this is grassland deer so we can't chop the forest unfortunately and we need to work this tile because we need hammers in the city right now otherwise that will delay our national college and is oracle here it is 11 turns nice we're getting loads of actually we're not getting that much overflow on the library oh well let's try and get oracle and then if we don't get it we can go over into a stoneworks and this cargo ship is now done. So this is the one that needs to go to some of these other cities. Susan, none of these cities will have any problem in growing at all. So I don't know. Because they're already working all of their best tiles. I don't know that we need to. So we should probably just hyper grow the capital. And we do need to watch out for this barb trireme that may or may not spawn. Uh, yeah, the swordsman went onto the camp now. But hopefully we can get the worker out. And now we've got some happiness, which is good. We can bring one more worker down towards this area. Sepolis, yeah. Oh, we didn't handle the growth correctly here. That's unfortunate. We should have done that. We're not going to grow soon here. And we're okay here, but we can grow to that hill, so that's fine. Seven turn library, one turn library, ten turn oracle. Uh, we need to, if we are going to go Oracle, we should try and get into the Medieval Era ASAP so we can take Exploration Hammers in 12 turns. So what we need now is Drama and Poetry and take Theology just in case we do get the Oracle. And then we can send this cargo to Persepolis. Can we? Can we afford it? 
Uh, we've got optics now, so we can actually embark stuff to block triremes. So let's do that, and then we can probably safely start sending our cargo ship. And now this library's done, we definitely need probably a shrine ahead of the lighthouse to get working on the faith. And then this there like that for more food. And then go to Persepolis for more growth. This worker was coming this way. Uh, we could have done a better job with this movement actually, but oh well. As a guard, a doesn't want to work this because we need production. Or do we? We don't actually, so we can work that. That's perfectly fine. Need four food. We're never going to get that. We do need civil service pretty rapidly. We'll have to think about that. There goes Colossus. We actually could have got Colossus if we tried it. Oh, this is just a leftover Barbarian. Ah, oh, okay. That's fine. Back into Sousa then. Uh, swordsman to be a pain. We need to make sure we don't get hit by both with the Archer. That would be a disaster if we did. And now, because we're one turn until growth, we can do this. And we need to purchase this hill eventually. Actually, we need to purchase this hill specifically. Because otherwise, Japan's Satsuma borders might grow to it. And that would be a disaster. That is one hill that we are depending on for production in the capital. And one reason why we justify chopping down our forest. Let's make sure to buy it. We can even go get it online because we need production. We need to meet more AIs. This archer dancing around down here has not been good for that. So we should get a trireme. Maybe we can get that somewhere. Maybe when, if Persepolis finds time. Or maybe Pazagarde's next build can be a trireme. Because it doesn't need anything else. Lighthouse is not good here because we don't actually have any fish. So maybe that's a trireme after the library. Okay, yeah, we got the stoneworks queued up after. That's good. We might even want the lighthouse. Stoneworks would be good though. But we're actually only working one stone. So maybe we do actually queue lighthouse next. We'll see what we need. But Persepolis screw, that's okay. And we can sell more iron to Japan. Ooh. They will now. They finally met Austria. They won't war Austria. Maybe if we sell some more iron, that extra gold might do the trick. Uh, one for one, we can afford, I guess. No, still no to war. It's a shame. I this feels kind of weird that they won't war Austria for ten gold a turn. Will Austria war them back? Apparently not. We need to watch out for this, but he doesn't cover our lands right now, so that's reassuring at least. Anyway, Jack Locus says, do you plan on war with Japan this game? I would love to kill Japan this game. The question is whether or not we can do it. I would love to kill them, though. That is, That would be ideal for me if we could kill Japan. Six turns until a natural golden age. It goes Ahambra, which means we're still in the race for Oracle. Only six turns left. Keep growing for now. Until we get a good mind to work. Let, you know, let's give up on this camp. Let's just try and make our way around. Oh, there's Korea. Hello. Another AI. Can we get trade? Not yet. But hopefully we can soon. And they will buy iron. That's good. Will Japan now declare war on Austria? Yeah, they will do it now. So we've just about got to the point where we can afford it. Under 12 gold per turn would do it. But I don't see their units yet. So I don't think we need to. But we should keep our eye out just in case we do have to. Yeah, this is okay. We need to work production though in Pazagarde. Desperately need it. And we can get this deer improved over here now as well. More production. Keep the archer around. We can actually chop down that forest as well at some point. Yeah, more production in Pazagarde now. That's good. Where is Korea? They're up there. Yeah, we can keep moving around here. And then improve our luxury. The trades when we get it. And this can just make sure that no barbs spawn around our stuff. The Grim Persepolis. Yep, that's the perfect tile. We need to work some more gold at some point too, but we've got plenty of gold. That goes down 16. Yeah, we, we can't get that down. Hopefully we do get the Oracle. It, it would suck to lose it. It's lasted a while. And we can work this now, probably. Lighthouse in 7. Lighthouse in 8. We'll take the growth. And then a deal ended with Japan, is it? Yeah, so now we do need to... Unfortunately, we're going to have to pay for his spices now because apparently he doesn't desire this iron anymore. We can just about afford it. No, we can't actually. 
Maybe we can sell the iron to Korea instead. The iron that we were using to trade for the spices. And now we probably can afford it. Kind of need it. We can't get trade with Japan because they've got a copy of our regional luxury. More production for all of these cities. Get up on the hill and wait. And that's good vision now to see if Japan has got any military moving towards us. Another civil service farm perhaps over there. I'm growing one. Probably don't want to unwork production right now. As we are trying to get Oracle. And now Japan does want iron again so we can sell that away to him. And see if he'll declare war on Austria. Yeah but still for too much. Oh no. There's more units now. That doesn't look good. We may have to pay for the war after all. Which means we might need to work some gold. And we can grow straight to the hill. I'm feeling good about that. Does it get the oracle down though? No. So actually there's no point. We can try and work gold instead. So we're going to need some to pay Japan to do some war. And we need to work this gold as well. We're working all of our gold here. Kind of. We could maybe give that up for gold. Maybe we can try and pay for the war now. With Austria. He says hello friend. But I don't think he's friendly. So what does he want? So this is worth like 14 gold a turn, both of these. So it might be that our 15 gold per turn just doesn't cut it. It doesn't, actually. But I wonder if there's something we can do here. Like trade away our cotton for more gold. We can't do that. Because there's not enough gold for Korea to buy from us. Austria. We don't want to give away both Luxes. We could give away one. We'd be okay with giving away one when we get trade with Austria. So we can probably give away one to Japan for that war, but not both. So let's pay for the war on Austria, because I'm I'm not liking the way the units are going right now. Silk and Coco. We're not getting any more of any of them. We might get another Coco, so let's trade away Coco just in case. Yeah, trade away Coco just in case. So Japan... Let's have war against Austria. We can give away the Coco. He doesn't value any of these because we don't see it on the EUI screen. So we need to add something like 7 gold per turn. So make it 11. 12. 13. Come on. There we go. Okay. So that's going to get him off our backs for a bit. That's a really big waste of money, honestly. But we do not want to die. So we'll, we'll take whatever we have to to make sure we don't die. Four turns to Oracle. It would suck to lose it now. Hopefully this is just posturing. Hopefully he does go to Austria at some point. But it would be a real shame to, to die. Can we still get Oracle in two if we do this? Yeah, but not if we do this. That's okay then. We can take a little bit of extra food and then we need to go full on production. We've got this luxury. We, we need to get a, a lux trade with Korea. That's our next goal. So, these... Grassland farms, given how much we got for civil service, we probably want to turn one into a farm and then the rest can become trading post tiles for later in the game. We also need to get construction as soon as we can after theology to make sure that we can get this lumber mill up. For now, we can move down the river. We might want roads soon. Anyway, Joe Locker says, do you prefer games where you're on your own or with other sibs? So... It's a bit different, I guess. So isolation is definitely a high strength. So if no, let's not be friends. So being isolated tends to be really, really good for you. And here we are. We finally got a trade. Nice. Gold return from Maria Teresa ended. Okay, we need to do this trade again as well. So isolation means you can't get killed. It allows you to just go and improve your empire consistently without having to worry about being impacted by other civilizations. So I like isolation, but it's always nice to be next to other civs, you know, be involved in the game, that kind of thing. We do need to meet more AIs as well. The other thing about meeting other AIs is that when you meet other AIs, what you, you get a you get a tech discount for technologies that every that other people for technologies that other people have also researched, and it's something like five or ten percent. So meeting other players actually actually improves your tech speed. So you don't want to be too isolated, but at the same time, isolation is really, really strong for your game. Let's see what's here. Yeah, that's not war. That's just dilly-dip, sort of dithering around. 
Austria wants to buy iron because they're at war with Japan. We've made a market for all of our stuff. So that's brilliant. So let's sell that away. Nice, we got Oracle. So we can take now the Tradition Finisher. Aristocracy, that's free aqueducts. One quick tip, with the Tradition Finisher, you don't actually need engineering to get the free aqueduct. So right now we've got our aqueduct for free, but we haven't researched engineering. So you don't need engineering for Tradition's free aqueduct. Now here's a good tip for you. Exploration is a great thing to take when you're on the coast because you can get maritime infrastructure plus three production in all coastal cities. If we take that right now, that is plus, what is that? Plus 37.5% production here. It would be plus 37.5% production here. And it would be plus about 17% production here in the capital. Excellent stuff. So exploration hammers is a really good policy. And it's a great thing to do with Oracle if you're on the coast to use Oracle to get yourself to this policy tree. Opening exploration needs you to be in the medieval era. So what we did is we researched theology straight away so that we could be in the medieval era to take exploration. Because if we hadn't taken philosophy, theology, we wouldn't be medieval right now. So that's a good tip for you there. Anyway, over here, we finished our trireme. We should now probably get a stoneworks because we are working two stone. But a shrine would be good too. Stoneworks first and then shrine perhaps. After that, stoneworks is good because it gets extra production. We can use this to just make sure we're defend. Hey, lighthouse tile. Don't need the lighthouse yet because we've got plenty of food. So we can delay the lighthouse for a little bit. And this, is this tundra? Yeah, it is. So we can't chop that down because it's tundra. We'll go and get the stone improved next, perhaps. And let's see. That's Korean territory. Let's see if we can get past. Japan still likes us. We'd rather be friends with Japan, if possible. More food, maybe. We need loads of production right now. So maybe we should have been working production. There goes Hang Gardens. And the Golden Age. So with Persia, good Golden Age is nice. There's probably not a lot to the Golden Age. We could do with another trireme too, actually. This archer can't embark. And we're going to get construction next turn, so we can go lumber mill there. And this can put the stone. This to chop down the forest, because it's on a hill. Tundra hills have the same yield as normal hills, so we can happily chop down that. And open exploration with the goal of taking exploration hammers, maritime infrastructure. Two turn growth. This is kind of crazy. We can actually grow in one if we get more food. Wow. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. That's what happens when you get aqueducts. And yeah, we need to work this tile desperately, really. But actually, we don't. Not now. Exploration hammers will be the solver for our hammer problems. So let's rely on that. We can do this as well. Anyway. Galoka says, on the tech tree, do you want to go deep rather than, rather than getting all techs in an era? So yeah, so in some ways, yes, you do. We kind of also need to keep this friendship. I mean, it's only like two happiness, three, so we're fine without it. It would be nice to renew that with Vilnius somehow. Yeah, so um, there's a concept called beelining where, you know, you, you should generally have an idea of what the most important technology to get next is. And typically, those tend to be science technologies. So taking education without getting everything in the medieval, within getting everything in the classical era, can be powerful because of how strong that specific building the university is. So that's what I will say there. And similarly, workshops are so strong that you you should probably take metal casting before getting everything in the classical era. And then similarly, you know, public schools and factories are so strong, you definitely do not want to research even steel before you get something like factories and public schools. So beelining to get a tech for a really, really strong building definitely works. And so you should do that. Better to go deep than to get all techs in an era to make sure that you get all of the best buildings that you need. Now, there's probably one other thing to say, which is that it kind of, I mean, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The thing about what we did, theology, and we actually might be the first of people that we know to theology. We did this for a specific reason. Theology is not good enough on its own to go for that soon. You know, because you can't even get education fast because you need civil service. It's not good enough on its own to get that soon. The reason we did it was because maritime infrastructure is good enough to make you do that on its own. So that's why we did that. We are growing next turn. And then we should probably work full production in Persepolis. Now. And we're gonna grow in two either way. Yeah, we are. So let's take the full production. 
We want that. And see if we can meet more AIs with the trireme. There's Songhai. Hello. Salt and furs. We've got a quest for salt, so we'll take salt. And we can trade away cotton because it's our regional luxury. And take an embassy so we know where he is. We don't have enough gold right now, really, to trade for that furs as much as we like it. I think we might have had a couple of cities grow. Yeah, we did. And this fish, that is an incredibly good tile to work now. And we should probably grow onto that hill and then work that hill constantly for the rest of the game now. And now we don't really need any more farms around here. Because as we said, these are going to be trading posts. So we can focus on making the road. We should make the road 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. We should make the road here in case we need 1 because it's fast to get up. And 2 in case we need it towards Japan. We can take our lumber mill in here now that we've got construction. So lighthouse into... We are going to need the circus. So we take the circus next. Because we're starting to get a bit short on happiness. In fact, we should probably buy this first because we are short on happiness. And try and rely on selling more horses later. Yeah, and we can get a circus perhaps in. We're getting a stoneworks here. And then after that we can get a coliseum maybe. We can find a way to get a circus maybe next in Persepolis. The problem is, is what we've traded away to get that war with Japan. We need to find that next natural wonder and that will help with Vilnius. And now what do we do? Civil service, it doesn't feel like we've got enough happiness right now. So here's a tip. When you're coastal, this trade route, because of how good coastal cargo ships are for internal food, going engineering is a lot of the time much better than going civil service when you're coastal. We have a lot of civil service farms right now, but we don't have the happiness to support it. So we'd rather go for metal casting over civil service to get the production from workshops. We should be able to get stoneworks in this city as well after the circus. We could buy this tile for production, but I'd rather put a lumber mill there. See if we can find that natural wonder for Vilnius anywhere we can. We need open borders with Korea to find the last AI, and we need to get building this road, which is here. We'll try and pro-build the road a little bit there, and we can start building the road to Pasigade as well. If only we could get allies with Sydney. That would be nice. There is a city down here, maybe, but it doesn't look good. Japan doesn't seem to want to war us yet. Oh, we forgot to properly manage Persepolis, but it's okay, we're doing it now. Salt. Oh, what's this? This is the archer. Can we get open borders? No, because no one has civil service. We're going to have to wait then. There's no point going anywhere else with the archer. Persepolis' growth that we handled. We can now probably just finish the road. Growing here. We've got our unfortunately sad tile to grow to. Let's buy this hill. We're never going to get it. and We can grow to it and work it. Notre Dame goes. We finished this road, so another road now. Keep moving, looking for that natural wonder. No civil service yet. Korea and the Songhai are at war. That's fine by us. We probably want to work that because we're going we're gonna to get a lumber mill on that tile very shortly. In fact, now that's perfect to work and get another road. Wait next to Korea. Sousa grew. We do want to work this production now, probably. Unless, no, next turn we can switch it. Nice, so that's engineering done. So we want to get that cargo ship ASAP. Oh. We're going to try and sell horses to Japan. Who wants them? That's great. We can now sell iron to Japan. They still want iron, so that's really nice. But we can get it for better rates with Korea. So we'll sell iron to Korea instead. Oh, we grew without even probably thinking about it. That's my bad. We should have done that better. We'll have to remember that for next time. Persepolis is growing really, really fast. Probably doesn't need the lighthouse right now. It's probably better to get the Writers Guild so we can start on culture. And we want to do that. Can we get open borders here? Yes, we can. Uh, oh, apparently he wants a lot for open borders. Maybe we give him the gold per turn. So we can try and find that natural wonder. It's really bad to give away all that gold per turn, though. I don't really like the fact that we did that. Huh. Didn't even get us anything. Not with Korea yet, either. Circus done. We need a Colosseum to keep growing. And then maybe we can get Temple. I mean, let's move around a little bit, but I don't... Yeah, we didn't really find a lot build the road here and now we need to work on stuff 
What can we do? We might actually need a good tile for Persepolis in the meantime. So let's improve that. Oh, we need that cargo ship. That's what we need. So where can we build it? We don't need both these cities building Colosseums. This one is further along in its building queue. So we build the cargo ship here. Now we can work this tile over the hill. And this tile is actually quite good as well. Get a road. Finish the road. Really do need to get some of these tiles purchased. For now we can get food. And now we've got gold coming in from the road, which is good. And we can improve the hill. Any... Let's come back with these guys. Unfortunately, that was a waste of two gold per turn. We can finally get open borders. Yeah, Korea won't do it. Korea wants gold as well. It's going to cost us two, hopefully. Yeah, two. And now we can explore. Meet the last AI, perhaps. Japan is still at war with Austria. And we now have our Renaissance spy. So, now is the question of what we do with the Renaissance spy. I am a big, big fan of putting spies in cultural city-states on daisy difficulty. On multiplayer or on other difficulty levels, it's not so great. But look, if we meet this other AI that's like 30 or 45 influence, Spy and Kaiser rigs it. We'll be allies with Kaiser by turn 100. And that is a great time to be allies with a city-state. So, we're going to go and drop this spy straight in there. And that will make give us a guaranteed cultural ally for what we need. And again, we didn't manage this growth properly. Not doing well at this at all. Not at all. See if we can find this natural wonder now. Maybe walk around on Korea's roads for a bit. Yep, road complete. And we have a stoneworks in Pazagado, so that's big for the production here. We're actually going to grow, so we might as well work extra food. And we need this hill. Let's take it. Who's just going to be short on production, perhaps? Kind of okay in food. Yeah, it'll be short on production, so we actually probably want a mine. Even though I hate giving up those yields. Probably does want to be a mine. We're actually running a bit short on tile improvements to make now. That's good news. We're getting there with the workers. We can probably afford to get another city out if we want it right here. But I don't think we do because it's not a unique luxury. Perhaps we sit on three cities and use that as an opportunity to war Japan. And here we go. We can sell more horses. Askia is rich. 56 gold per turn. As a rich man. A rich, rich man. Take some more food and then we really do need to concentrate on production. And we finished this guild. So what we can do is we can take this off, put it in the Writer's Guild. We're going to grow in two for production. So we can take off the production for now and work the Writer's Guild. And we're doing this because we want the fast culture for the Exploration Hammers. And then we'll try and manage our Renaissance era entry to make sure we don't take any more social policies after that. As a guard, I grew. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Here is Su Wan. And what else can we improve? That is kind of a rubbish tile. In fact, you know what? We'll put a farm here. And what we'll do is we'll put an actual random farm there or something. Or like a, a lumber mill down there. Nothing else to be improved. So we just need to wait across the river. Perhaps even go here. Japan doesn't look great, but he is still warring Austria. It's when he's pieces Austria. That's when we could have a problem. These samurai might just be building roads. And see that we're taking on Siam's religion turn 73. So that's why it might not have benefited us a lot to get our own religion. And it's Siam Songhai. I think the other AI is over there. So we actually need to go that way up past Korea. To find the other AI. We now have metal casting. So that means that we can tech for stables. And then we can tech for civil service. And then for engineering. And what we've got. Because we've got metal casting. We can go workshops. And that's going to give us some great production. And after this cargo too. Hopefully our happiness will hang on for just a moment. I guess we build. I mean, we'll build a farm even though we don't need it. A farm, even though we don't need it, but these are going to be trading posts later. Don't need to work too much food right now. Hopefully, this is just roads. We're getting a Japanese caravan, which fills me with more confidence. Persepolis grew, so now we can get back to working the production. Nice. And move over here, as we said, to try and find that last last AI. Yeah, that's growth here. Can we grow in one? No. And we can't grow in. We could grow in two if we wanted to. Cargo ships one turn anyway, so why not? Yeah, this hill's ready for the city now as well. And this cargo ship wants to go where? Anywhere that's going to need the growth. So perhaps the, the highest production potential city, maybe. 
14, 12. I mean, this one, Souza probably is where we want it to go. So we'll send it from Pazagado to Souza. Uh, we have, we're going to have to wait for that lumber mill. It's not like the worker's doing anything else. See if we can go over that way to meet stuff. Might have one too many workers right now, but it's better to have too many than too few. We now have this lighthouse tile in Persepolis. Yay. Grow to maximum production we can. As a guy, is going to grow to the hill. That's fine. We, yeah, we're going to need to go acoustic straight away into the Renaissance era. Really, Oda's flooding against us. I'd be inclined to believe Austria. Oh, they are actually at war now, but she hates Oda. So it's conceivable that she'd want to try and, you know, get us to war them. And sow some intrigue there. We're also not ready to defend Japan. Persepolis grew. Yeah, take that. And then Pazagarde. Yep. Take that for sure. And I guess if we're going to war, maybe we get a road just to be safe. And this goes to Sousa. No trade routes, Brussels, Ragusa or Sydney. No. Only one. So to Sousa then. And we are second in food right now to whoever we haven't met. But we're actually doing quite well in tech. We need to wait for that lumber mill tile. There's Vancouver. Oh, wait, did I? No, that's definitely Korean borders. Don't know where the other AI is right now. I'm a bit confused. I was expecting them to be up there, but they're kind of not. We could. We don't really need the hill in Persepolis. We do need the hill in Persepolis. Fine, let's buy it. Let's mine it. And we'll see if we can meet whoever we need to meet over here. That caravan is a good sign with Japan. We need to keep our eyes on when we can pay for this war again with Austria. That deal must end soon-ish because we paid for it quite a while ago. Then 80-something, is it? Oh, it's actually a while ago. 90... F no? When's the deal end? Can't be over to past down 100. No. It's in here somewhere. We just missed it. There it is. Turn 85. So that's what we need to look out for. Turn 85 is the turn that we can redo our war deal. And we can give all of these resources away again to try and pad our gold. In case we need to pay for another declaration of war. He won't do it with a song high. I would like to get friends with him. He doesn't want to friend us. Still doesn't covet our lands. Can we pay for this war? No. How about this war? Oh, he hasn't actually met Japan yet. Okay. Not a lot to be done here. Unless we finally expanded the deer. We'll just wait. We've got plenty of time. And that's a road. This can be a road as well. And then we're done here. We can flip that marsh perhaps. Maybe cut that cocoa down to get a duplicate. Actually, that's probably a better thing to do. And we've got this to send to Persepolis. Workshop done soon. Hopefully no war. He doesn't desire our lands. There's not a wholesale movement of troops yet. And we're getting sent two caravans now. We now have this religion in Persepolis. Jesuit. We always get spread Jesuit. Especially when we don't have good faith. What else do we have? Temple happiness. That's a brilliant thing to get spread. And copper iron salt, which is not bad either. We'll wait for the deer with this worker. We'll just wait there too. Yeah, there's... Oh, Daegu. Hello. Ah, so we did go the wrong way for the AI, so I guess they are down here. I mean, unless they're in here, but... Doesn't seem reasonable. I don't know where they are. It's Pangea. Maybe they're out there, past Kaisel. In fact, they're Kaisel's allies, so I would actually be more willing to place a bet on that. And now we've got this civil service farm tile to improve soon. And hey, we've got a workshop now. Let's try and get ourselves a great engineer. 23 turns. By working the workshop slot. So that's good. Turn 101, we'll get the engineer. And we can use that to get any wonder we desire. And exploration hammers next turn. Stoneworks. Uh, friends? Don't know that we want that. He's getting killed by the Songhai. We'd rather be friends with the Songhai. If we can. Let's try and propose friendship to the Songhai instead. Not yet. Seems too soon. But here we go. Exploration production. And now we see that we go Renaissance. We need to get into the Renaissance in 18 turns. So we can afford to go acoustics. Nice. 
And that's when we want to take rationalism. Production to be worked for sure. And we are now third in production with 69, which is quite good. We actually want to go chop this forest down. We've got a road, so there's no need for more roads. Hopefully we expand to that tile in three turns, so we'll stay, stay near it. And get some more civil service food. Buy this tile in a while, not yet. Just wait. Be calm about it all. There's Busan. Yeah, so Korea is dying. We're going to have to wait. And then Sousa grew. Oh, we didn't Oh, we didn't manage it properly. Nice. Probably want to work. We've got so much food in this city. But we've got... We could do with having good production. So we'll do that. All looking good, I think, in the Empire. Yeah, we're getting Iron Faith now. That's what we're getting here. Good stuff. That's a guard, eh? Can it grow? No, but there's nothing better to work than this hill. We're actually kind of working all of our production right now too, which is kind of bad, but it's a good job. We've got eight slow hammers. We desperately needed that. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says, Hey man, I had to go for a bit. How's it going? Um, it's actually going quite well. I think we're growing quite nicely. So we're on 39 population. It's turned 79. The benchmark I usually have for three cities is 45 on turn 100. So we're doing really, really good there. We have taken exploration hammers for extra hammers in the Empire. We're second in food on Deity. We're only 6% behind in tech, which is pretty cool. So, game's looking good. We just need to make sure not to get killed by Japan. Japan doesn't have the largest army right now, which is good for us. But we are a little bit worried about their propensity for war. There's no units here yet, but perhaps we should think about starting some soon. Yeah, Jet Loco says, when do you ever go Honor? Honor is for killing. So, typically, Honor, the Great Generals, is quite useful. And if you're looking to kill someone in the medieval, renaissance, or industrial eras, honor can often be a great pick, especially if you need to fight into Great Wall, because you can use the Great Generals to make your way through the Great Wall without having to worry about that movement problem, because you can use citadels to steal their territory. Now, I don't know if we're going to be doing any war for that yet. Chitin's gone, is it? Yeah, Chitin is definitely gone. But we need to think about it. It would be good if we didn't have to war Japan. Six turns is all we need to pay for that war with Austria again. And we need to try and keep checking every turn to see who we can get them to war. Because we don't want to be the target. Problem is, it's at this point in the game where, realistically, we could defend them if we tried. A forge would be really nice here. Maybe we shouldn't be... We shouldn't chance our luck too much. And perhaps we should try and build some... Trouble is Samurais are going to absolutely wreck us. We're going to have to... Be, if we want to defend this push, we need like five combos is what we need to defend and attack from Japan. Do we want to build five combos? We can. It would be a real shame to give this start up. A stable would be good. Let's build a stable and then think about it. If we see them move units towards us again, we'll do it. But right now, their army's probably just chilling. So we probably don't have to worry too hard about it. We never did find that natural wonder either. So I don't know where it is. And this can wait. And we need to make sure to grow to production here. We can actually work a workshop slot now that we've finished a workshop there as well. And then Caesar will finish it in one turn. So again, we're really increasing our production. Shrine done. Lighthouse for that fish out there, probably. And then we really do need temples. Actually, we need temples first where we can. Because we need to Jesuit stuff. We've been spread Jesuit. Let's make use of it. Yeah, these units aren't moving towards us yet, but we need to keep an eye on them. That's why we have our scout here. Sneak attack, really? Really? This might be a sneak attack. It also might not be. We now have uni tech. We would love to build unis right now. We got this rig in. We need to find... We really, really, really need to find a natural wonder, wherever it is. There's Denmark. Hello. So we finally met them. We can do a trade. They have pearls that we could buy. We it, we ought to invest in something, but he's got two luxes that we could buy. We don't have to worry too much. Is it compass and then acoustics, or is it just acoustics straight away? Maybe acoustics straight away. We don't need to, though. Compass would be better, and then we can go acoustics. Not like we're going to be trying to build... We could try and build hard build Sistine Chapel, but with Japan's threat, I'm not sure about it yet. Really not sure. Japan, I mean, they don't look nice to us, but they're not currently warring us. Hazagado needs more food. 9.2 is not good. We could do with that compass trade route. 
Keep waiting. Keep waiting. Writer in one turn. Don't know what we do with it yet, but we've discovered Denmark now for Kaisal, so we'll get friends with them, and that's going to be more culture. And then we find this natural wonder. We will be allies with them. Four more oh. turns for this war declaration in Austria. We don't have a lot of gold, which is a problem. We're actually already working most of the gold in our empire too. Where's this going? Keep dealing. Oh, it's showing up a bit more. Maybe we get lucky and we'll get like four more turns. Are we building unis? We finished a stable, now we need to build a uni. Looks like Denmark's at war with Korea as well. Deals ended with Oda. We could sell them back for gold. Seems okay. We need to make more money. That's what we need. Step of the screw and we didn't handle that. Oh, you, we did handle it correctly. Nice. We've got more than enough food right now. The next one's a free population in Persepolis because of how traditions aristocracy works. You can take this for food as well. This policy here, one happiness for every 10 citizens, literally works out like that. On the 10th citizen, the 10th citizen is free. So that's something to be aware of. And this writer can just chill. We don't want to do anything with it yet. And we'll cut this down in the hopes that our borders expand there. Yeah, Japan looks quite... That looks more threatening now. Oh. But we're going to have to wait a bit longer before we can get into war Austria. It's a little bit more movement. This is not good. Not good. Uh, where are we going to expand to next? None of these tiles. Let's move that away then. Sleep that. Maybe we need to pay the Songhai to war them if we can. What deal ended? Iron and gold per turn to Sejong. We can actually try and sell it to Oda. And then can we try and pay for a war with Japan? Apparently not. Maybe we do something like... Shall we declare war against the Songhai? That's not good for us, though. I don't know if we're going to get the two turns we need. Combo. Need, like, a combo here as well. Move these back. Maybe we'll get a couple of turns, but it's not looking promising. Would really not like to die right now, but Japan doesn't seem to be open to really doing much of anything against anyone. Hanoi... Vilnius, Budapest, Hong Kong. I don't know how much gold it will take either, is the thing. We could sell silk. Denmark's got more than enough gold. It'll put our happiness a bit dicey, but if it allows us to pay for a war, it allows us to pay for a war. Surely we can try and convince someone to war Japan. That will give them money, but I don't think give them, giving them money works. We're working maximum gold, are we? Yeah, there's no more gold we can work in the Empire. It's unfortunate. We can't grow in one. Hmm. I don't know how we handle this. Because this does not look good right now. Try the friendship Ooh. thing again. We can't. Yeah, Japan having only two neighbours is not good for us. Can we wait one more turn? Maybe. We've waited one more turn. I don't know if we try one more. It looks threatening. He's, he's really giving us, like, good vibes. May purchase with faith. What's that? It's a monastery. I mean, it's nice. It pays itself back in 50 turns. Incense and wine produce faith and culture. We don't have that. Don't know if it's worth spending our faith on, given we have so little of it. Oh, no. We don't want to declare war on Japan, for sure. That's a lot of army here. How long ago was their peace treaty with Austria? We might need this Songhai War. Which I don't like. It's really not a good position to be in at all to need to do all of this warring. 
And it looks like we are going to need to do it. I don't know how best we handle it. Bring the archer back, I suppose. Yeah, open borders. He will do open borders with us. That's a good sign. This arch can keep moving round. We have. Oh, wait. Did we not get the influence with Kaisel? I guess we did, but it wasn't big enough. Huh. Wimpy says it's too late to rush crossbows. You know what? That might be a good idea, actually. We should probably tech towards it. We don't need acoustics yet. We don't need acoustics yet. So that, I think that's a good idea, actually. I think you might have given us a really good suggestion. Let's go for expos if we can. One turn. Come on. No war yet. His army might just be chilling. And now what do we get back? I don't think that deal I don't think we've got that deal back yet, which means it must come on the turn rollover. So we need one more turn even, perhaps, before we can get this war going. Which is not good. Yeah, so we grew here, we handled that, grew here, and we didn't grow here. Or did we? Yeah, we did, but we grew into the workshop. But that's actually quite a good thing to, for us to be working. Because we need to get stuff out. And yeah, lots of stuff ended to odor. We should keep selling it to Oda because hopefully that will convince him to keep friendly with us. And we can sell to Denmark as well. So we got more GPT now. Can we now convince the war? Songhai, he's met Korea. He won't war Korea. Will we get a war back the other way? No. How about a war here? No. This is difficult. The army hasn't really moved much in our direction, but it doesn't look friendly. So as much as I would like to believe we're not going to get a ward, we still might, which is unfortunate. It would be nice to get that deer. We've got this road coming. That's okay. Not sure what else we can do. We can move along one and get a comp bow upgrade at least while we're here. Anyway, Zogoth joins the stream. Welcome to the stream, Zogoth. Says, is this without mods? Yes, it is. So we're playing base, the base game right now. The only mods, well, we do have mods on, but they're interface mods. So we have the enhanced user interface mod. That's a mod which gives you these kinds of extra tool tips that we got down on the screen. Then we also have the, it's called like the, the air unit hotkeys mod. Allows us to cycle through air units faster. And then we also have a, a mod specific to multiplayer, but that's not really relevant to us right now. We've got a comp bow in Persepolis. Should we finish the uni? We've got a couple of comp bows now. Maybe. We need that cargo as well. We're just going to have to chance it. One more turn. Friends. Yeah, let's take that. We want that. Okay, we've got one more turn of life. And we've got our uni up now, which is what we wanted. So who's it's done with its temple? Find needs a university. We also need a cargo ship. So that's probably more valuable. We need to build one more composite bowman here. And then we are working on composite bowman in the capital. And now we need to work the university slots. 0 0.8 food required to grow. So we can in two anyway. Well, let's do that. And we need... I mean, do we want the engineer? Probably. So let's actually just kind of what we call grow into the university slots. We might as well get this trading post. We got some composite bowmen to stand around the cap. Cap's on a hill. So we are going to need a pikeman if we want to try and defend our space. So actually, we'll switch to pikeman first. Uh, we can keep this inside the city for a turn at least, though. And this can go stand there. We cut that down. Hopefully, our borders eventually expand to that cocoa, but we're not banking on it. And we can clear this marsh before doing anything with that tile. And yeah, that deal that we were doing to pay for war with Austria is now over. Ooh. And we can pay for the war again. Yes, 14 gold per turn and Coco again. So we can actually pay for the same deal we had before and we absolutely should do it. Ooh. We need the happiness though. It's probably worth giving up the gold. It's probably worth giving up the gold, you know, because we desperately need the happiness. So let's pay for the war with Austria. Let's just give this up and try and go for 22 gold per turn. 
23? Yeah, there we go. So now we've got him back to war with Austria. So that's good. We can go back to going for acoustics. Nice. So we don't need the pikeman. So we can take that out now. And we don't need the composite bowman. We can instead focus on things to make our empire better, like a market to fix that terrible gold per turn we now have. Artist skill needed soon too. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says, wait. Wait, is pikeman just for Zok? Yeah, so basically... To defend around our city, we've got to think about the tiles that we can shoot our opponent's units on. So the problem is, is that our capital is on a hill. We can shoot from this tile, maybe. But we can't shoot from this tile. We can shoot from this tile. But unless we claim these two tiles, our capital would be very, very, very open to attack. With, like, getting samurais next to it. So we need some melee units to stand in front. That can soak up fire from these samurais. To make sure that we don't get our composite bowmen killed. That's the plan. We can go uni university first now here. And we can go university after cargo here. And it, I would love to be able to do something with Denmark Suxes. They don't have dyes though. And that's the one thing we need. But if we trade away both our silk and our cocoa, we might get King's Days for our own stuff. And yeah, we need to keep this trade going. Hopefully this army moves away now. And it does. Brilliant. The army's moved away. That gives us more than enough time to get ready for his next attempt. At taking our life. And then, I mean, this worker doesn't need to come back, so it can just stay. There's no need to come back at all. And we can grow in one now here. So let's do that. And then we can maybe grow into working the uni slots because we do want the engineer to try and grab ourselves a nice wonder. We can work food now here as well. We need to buy these tiles that we've not bought. This deal would be good. Okay, let's review our turn 88 population. 47 now, so we're having a really good game in terms of growth. Twos has grown again, we want to work production. We can actually now go and get a camp, because that's just better. And we need to feed Pazagarde. And we can wait in that tile, and just keep our compos chilling. We'll just wait. If we ever expand to the Coco, the worker will be there. It's not like we need to do anything else with it. And some more deals ended with Maria Teresa. That was dealing with our cotton. And then we also need to trade away the iron because we created a market for it by paying for the war. Persepolis screw, nice. And now we want to work uni slots. We could even, I mean, we need to keep growing. But, and one uni slot is fine because that times this up perfectly. But we do need to keep growing in the cap. Free food. Can we get three food? Yes, we can. Nice. We need to get this lumber mill improved in Persepolis. We might have to start giving up food to work production, but that's okay. It's a perfectly okay thing to do. Given that our capital is so tall so soon, that is 100% fine for us to do. And we don't want to build this comp though. We instead probably want... The lighthouse would be nice. The forge would be better. And then perhaps a market is needed at some point. Did we get a temple? We did get a temple at least. We need temples elsewhere. Stoneworks here. Can we get that? That's more production, so we should build it. We've already got our temple here as well. We do. So we actually just need a temple in the capital. And we've got temple happiness. So we can build that as opposed to building circuses. Yeah, we would never have been able to get a city in here. There's just too many bad tiles. And now we've gone for acoustics. That's nice. Are we the first one in? We might be the first one in, actually. That's kind of good. I mean, we could try and build Sistine Chapel in nine turns. And save the engineer for something better. Which would be nice. We can go even go in for this banking trade route now. We could try for printing press. Because... Yeah, we could try for printing press. Because no AIs have actually seemed to have gotten printing press yet. We need this culture from Kaisel. We're going to rig soon. Yeah, next turn we rig in Kaisel. And we need to find this natural wonder. Anyway, Wimpy says, I admire how you scout throughout the game manually. I usually get to Medieval Era and then put mine on Auto Explore lol. Yeah, it's um, it's one of these things, isn't it? Where like you can go through the painful process of doing lots of scouting. Or you could just Auto Explore. But I like to manually check. Which we're scouting with a purpose right now. 
And that purpose is to try and get ourselves that last natural wonder. We grow in one? No. We could if we unworked lots of production that we don't want to do. Fine. Guess we can carry on. Oda goes Renaissance. Wonder where he went in. Yep, gunpowder. Classic Oda Nodabunga. Eyes of election rigged. Okay. And then we got this deal in with Askia. Need that back. Salt for cotton. Unless we need furs. Which we do not. A city state even has furs. So it's better for us to not take it. We've got a good gold. We can buy some of these useful tiles soon. Lumber mill for sure. Go around Austrian territory. See if we can find that natural wonder. We really need to find it. This trium has been sat here for ages. I for totally forgot about it. Temple soon. Do we want Sistine? Kind of. It'll be done before we get our... I mean, what else do we need? We could either build Sistine Chapel or get really ahead of our building queue and try and engineer Sistine Chapel. I don't know what else we would do with the engineer, so I think we can probably just try and engineer it if we get there because I would love to get ahead of this building queue right now. Especially because... Yeah. Because we could really do with culture as well. So we need to start working all of these specialists. So I think building Sistine Chapel is a bit too much to ask right now. And instead we might do better. Uh, we can work the university slot and we need to buy the fish and get the lighthouse. We don't need to buy the fish yet. We actually are going to go unhappy. Are we? Yeah, we are. Unless we buy Askia's furs. So we can take that. And now we're not going to go unhappy. And he wimpy says, I mean, you'll need to get Satch up soon, so you might not need to prioritise Colosseums. That's true, although we've actually built them in a lot of places. I think. I think we went and built the Colosseums a little while back because we need, we've already needed the happiness because our growth has been so big. Like that. We need to work the uni slots. Ideally. Um... Maybe give up a food and a production to work them both. And then in Pazagarde, we need to work up the university slot. We should probably give up the food to work it. And then in the capital, we've grown to a production now. We need to work both of these slots, ideally. Not the uni slot yet, but the artist guild slot definitely. So we'll give up a food for that because we need the production. And then we can keep working on the temples. But we will get Satrap soon, you're right. And that will be a priority building for the capital. Zagarde got its growth. We handled it. Persepolis got its growth, which we handled. And now we only have one happiness left. So we do need to keep building happiness buildings. Still no one at printing press. So if we can, we'll use the engineer for the leaning tower. This is a cheaper tech, so we might as well get that. We need this hill at some point as well. We also need gold a lot. So there goes the temple. We can drop a circus now. Or do we go national epic? Maybe drop one circus. We can finish that trading post as well. Way on the hill. Over here. And we can see if we can maybe find anything down here to explore. Still waiting on that. Oh, we need to work that jungle tile in the capital. Didn't even realise, but it's an excellent tile to work jungle. So we definitely should be working it. We can even get an improvement on it soon. No nat nat natural wonder down here. Still at war with Austria. Lighthouse soon. Lighthouse next turn. So we do need to buy that. And rationalism in three turns. Still no natural wonder, unfortunately. We really do need to find it. That would be of great help to us. Work boat might be good right now in, in here. It's still early enough that that's actually probably going to matter. Go for work boat and then into forge. And then here we finish the stonework so we can grab the work boat here as well. While we've got the chance. What can we research next? Printing press is still on the table. So we do go for it. I've actually got this lumber mill up now too. Okay. Natural golden age is a long way off. We're going to get scientist first apparently. Where in here? Wait, ha. when did we when did we get more points? The scientist was longer not long ago, and now it's quicker. I'm not entirely sure what we've done. 
We need to make sure to stop that scientist though when we get there. In fact, we should probably just stop it now. No, we'll wait until we get there. Just wait a little bit longer. Anyway, we are going to grow to production. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says, first of all, sorry for asking you so many questions. Lord. That is totally fine. Like this stream, we are here. Like we're here to answer questions for you. So like definitely no problems at all with asking all of these questions. Like totally fine. Absolutely fine to answer them. So no problems there. Anyway, Wimpy says, no, we're, you know, I'm happy to answer any questions on Civ, so we'll take them. Anyway, Wimpy says, when you play multiplayer, how long do you make the turn timer? And do you always do random Civs or do people plan ahead? So we do semi-plan ahead on multiplayer. We do play with a turn timer. It's the default turn timer. It turns out to be a pretty good thing. The default turn timer, actually, it's kind of nicely balanced. And that, so we do that with the turn timer. We play with a default. I don't know how long it is. It scales up. So the higher the era, the more the turn timer gets scaled. And then... Um, in terms of how, you know, do you do random sieves? So typically, randoming sieves leaves it too open for someone to get an incredibly OP sieve and just win the game without even trying. But it also means that someone is too open to getting a really, really terrible sieve. So what we do is we, we take all of the sieves, we put them into a big bucket, and then we each take turns to ban two sieves each so that we can take out all of the strong sieves and all of the really, really bad sieves. Then each person gets randomly assigned three sieves each from the bucket and you get to choose from one of those three sieves. So you don't explicitly get to choose, but it allows you to make sure to avoid the bad sieves if you need to. Oh. We should probably buy the spices from Japan so if we can. So that's what we do with the multiplayer. Nice way of doing it. We're running short on gold. We need, we don't need these open borders anymore. So that saves gold. Keep selling the horses. There goes the Sistine Chapel. So we would never have gotten it anyway, no matter what we did. So I'm glad we didn't go for it. Keep waiting, build a trading post. Down there, get a fishing boat. Oh, we're not working that, and we should be. What can we give up? Um, actually, the production, because we're, we're going to grow to it next turn. And here we've done a trading post too, and we wait there. Uh, we need Austrian open borders. Can't afford it. Tell our stuff, and then see if we can. Uh, yep, yeah, iron can also be sold. And that takes us up to four gold per turn. See if we can buy Austria's open borders now. Yeah, for two gold per turn, probably. No, we do actually need to pay the full three. We'll do it just in case we can find that natural wonder in their territory. Because that will be a city-state quest, and I believe the cultural one at that. There goes Sistine. Yeah, we talked about that. And Persepolis grew. And we do probably want to work the production for the moment. Kind of need more food. Should probably build ironworks. That would help greatly. Forge would also be good. Let's get a forge first. And then we can think about everything else. And we can now go in on printing press. This is turning out to be quite a good game so far, actually. We're performing really well. I mean, you tend to get this on Three City Empires. Your early game starts out really, really hot. And then you tend to struggle towards the late game. Can we grow in one turn by doing like anything here? Not really, no. Maybe if we do this. Yeah, we can do that. So that's pretty it's pretty classic with the three city empire. So we're gonna need to do something soon. To, something soon. To try and claim more land. And I would love to kill Japan if we can. It'd be good to exact some pain on them for all the pain that Japan tends to cause us in general. All that gold we've spent on making them not war us, for instance. Keep waiting here. Improve that tile now that it's available. Um, we can turn most of these tiles into trading posts because we're never going to work them for food. And we can now open rationalism turn 96. So not bad. It's a bit slow, but not bad at all. As a guard, a grew. Definitely work that. And then we grew in Sousa. We want to probably work. Actually, we want to work the hill because it's a bit more production than the workshop. And then Persepolis. Hasn't grown yet, but it is going to grow soon. We need to keep watch of this scientist counter if we want the engineer. Choose production down here. We've got the work boat. Take a market now for the gold for sure. And then we can make our proposal. And we'll propose the World's Fair to make everyone love us. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says, Do you always build ironworks in your capital? Is it situational? Um, I like it in the capital because the capital is tends to be the place where you build wonders. So that production towards building wonders is really, really nice. But in general, you want to build it. If you've got a city that's going to really struggle with production, you do probably want to build the ironworks there. So that's why it's a, it's a bit more situational. I generally build it in the capital. 
But if you've got a city that is a bit behind in production, it can often be a good cho choice to build in that city instead. No need for the open borders with Korea anymore. And Japan now loves us a bit better, so hopefully we can get friends. No inroads made yet with their war, but at least they're still at war. We keep waiting for these triremes and stuff. We need astronomy at some point to try and explore the rest of the map. Horses to ask gear ended. Japan will buy them again. That's good. And now we've got a forge done here. So that's more production. That's a really nice tile right now. Two food, three production, one faith. We can also get a market. And then we should probably start thinking about hermitage stuff. I mean, we're not at hermitage time yet, but culture is going to be important on three cities to stay relevant. Scientist in two turns. So in one turn, we need to take that out and then generate our engineer and then come back to get the scientist. Printing press. Someone else is here now. I mean, it's not going to be Japan, so we can just totally give up on that. The Songhai seem to be quite far ahead, so maybe it's them. We need to try and keep an eye out, see if they're building leaning anywhere. It's not been long, though, so we've probably got a chance to get it ourselves. Hopefully. Hopefully. So, leaning is still here. It's seven turns. Engineer comes in three. So, we need to not do this now. So that we can... Oh, no, we're going to generate... We're going to generate the scientist anyway because we're getting the oracle points. Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, if we want leaning, we're going to have to build it then. Because we probably don't get leaning. We did all this scientist stuff and nothing. We could generate an engineer for later. That's kind of unfortunate, though. I didn't realise that at all. We should have unworked it one turn sooner. Forgot that we had Oracle. It's not often that I have it on Deity. And now we can go stable. For a horse. And then maybe we can look for culture. I mean, building leaning would be quite nice. But I don't know that leaning is good for us right now. I mean, a wonder to help would be good. But I really would not like to waste production time in Persepolis building wonders. So maybe we'll use the time instead to go for ironworks. That's kind of unfortunate though. That engineer thing. Oh well, that is not good. But we are where we are. We can, I guess, go... Head on into getting the scientist now. If we want to generate one later though, which we might do, we can probably still work the workshop stuff. But we just have to acknowledge that we are going to get a scientist and deal with it. And really lean into that. Anyway, we'll go banking. Leaning in seven. Would be nice. Nah, I don't know. Turn 98, it'll probably go soon anyway. I don't think we'll get it in seven. Because the AI will probably build it before, before we can. So let's not worry about it. We're just going to have to... Lament on the fact that we didn't get any of these good Renaissance wonders with our engineer. And the reason is because we screwed ourselves with the timing. This is still a war. There's our scientist. It's turn 99, so we could plant it. If we wanted to. It's not a bad thing to do. I mean, what's our base right now? So our base is 48 and a half. So the scientist could be worth a big chunk of science. We plant. We've got plenty of room to plant. I would like to try planting one. And see how it goes. So let's do that. Let's give planting one a go. It's before turn 100. I usually like to use that as a bit of a benchmark. Susan's going to grow. We need to grow to production tiles. And actually do this. Because I think it needs more production right now than it needs anything else. Market is down. Now we need the amphitheater. And we need to grow to production again here. We need to work some food. And then we probably need to try and find more good tiles for Sousa. Which is going to allow us to maybe pass up a tile for Pazagarde. We might even have to pass up this iron from the capital depending on how things go. Anyway, Wimpy says you should do a sieve where everyone can only build wonders where you visited. Yeah, that's kind of interesting actually. I must say... I have not ever seen the Oracle. So we have built a wonder that we haven't visited. But I have seen maybe one or two world wonders of the world. Not many. So unfortunately that would mean that if I did this game, I wouldn't be able to get a wonder. <laughs> but hey, it'd be kind of nice. We're going to get friends with Kaisel next turn. And if and we've got the most tech, so we might actually get allies. So 
we got our artist in Persepolis now too. We can work more production. We can save the artist so that we can do a good choice of Golden Age. Persepolis grew. We handled it. Got the artist, we handled it. Hazagarde grew. We've handled it. And then we've also got growth in Sousa and we've handled it. Nice, so we're all good there. Not sure what else to do with these workers. Probably never going to work this farm up there, so maybe we should have made that a uh, trading post. We really do want this tile, but we're never going to get it. But we should wait there and be very, very, very optimistic people, just in case we do. How many World Wonders are left? One. There's like loads of World Wonders left, and we just haven't found them. Are they like here and then there? That's kind of... Let's send the work. Look, the worker's not doing anything. Let's explore with the worker. Why not? And we now are friends with Kaisel, and we only need eight to become their ally. So, with this this rig, I don't know if the rig's already gone through or not. We're going to have to check next turn. Anyway, Wimpy says, Big Ben commerce game, maybe, assuming you visited since you're from the UK. Yeah, actually, I have seen Big Ben, so that is one that we could do. Big Ben commerce would be interesting. Yeah, we're allied with Kaisel now, so that's brilliant. So, we're now up to 39 culture per turn with a cultural ally. So, excellent stuff. Satraps courts are available. I want the amphitheater to make sure we're ahead of the culture game. But we can build the Satraps Court in the cap. And then we can go Satraps Court next. After the amphitheater here. So that we are ahead of the culture game. And we can go for economics before deciding whether or not we want industrialization or scientific theory. Come on, where's that wonder? Show me the wonder. It's not so important now we've got that ally. But I still kind of want it to secure the ally. Who got... We need to check now. If we're going to do this Golden Age of stuff, we need to know who's got Chichen Itza. It's the Songhai. Okay. I don't know how we handle the Songhai yet, but we do need to take Chichen Itza off them at some point. Anyway, Professor Dingledon <laughs> says, Hey, PCJ. I love the name, by the way, Professor Dingledon. He says, Hey, PCJ. Great to catch you live. Well, welcome to the stream, Professor Dingledon. I'm glad you managed to catch me live. Did you come from the YouTube channel by any chance? I'm guessing so. But yes, it's great to have you here. Welcome to the stream today. We are playing a game as Persia. We've gone three cities right now. We're actually doing really, really well because we had about 56 population on turn 100 on three cities, which is insanely good population. So our game is progressing. However, we have set ourselves the challenge. We're going to get a golden age with Chichen Itza at some point in the game. And right now, Askia has it. Askia's got Chichen Itza. So we need to take it from them. I don't know how we handle it. I would love to kill Japan. And then I would love to try and kill the Songhai as well. And then we need to think about... I mean, the Songhai are tech leader. So it really does suit us to kill them as well. Austria could be falling behind because their wars with Japan. Denmark, I don't know where they are, but they haven't got a big capital. In fact, because of all the small capitals in the world, I wonder if we can do something cool here. Killing the Songhai will be the most important thing to that strat though. So let's hold that thought. Let's hold that thought. Uh, we're sorry this has caused a divide between... Like, why do you care anyway, Austria? It was... It was... Yeah, I don't know. It was Denmark's ally. We need National Epic. That's something. If we want to do something cool, we need the National Epic. And then... Yeah, keep moving around here. We really need this hill, but we don't have the gold right now. And that's why we're building Satrap's Courts. We're spending a lot of money paying for AI wars. We actually nearly allies with Hong Kong. We could put our industrial spy in here and have Hong Kong as a lifelong ally. If we find this natural wonder, we could even have lots of food for these city-states as well. And we need to get horses for Sydney. Anyway, Professor Dingledon says, Yep, you came up in my feed while watching Filthy's Vice. Oh, that's really nice, actually. I'm really pleased about that. I've been hoping for the longest time that I would get recommended off the back of Filthy's Vice somehow. So it's really, really reassuring to me to see that happen. Oh, no. Japan's war with Austria is done. Do we need Expos now? We've got Expos. Do we need to build them? Maybe. Do we need to upgrade to some? Perhaps. Should we build a Pikeman? Absolutely. We can't afford to go Satraps right now. We need to make sure we don't get killed. So we need to go Crossbowman. We actually also need another cargo ship. But we need to make sure we don't die. And this army doesn't look friendly. We need to upgrade these. We need more gold if we want to do that. Hopefully this is friendly, but it doesn't look friendly, does it, at all? 
It would be a shame to die to Japan right now. Oh man, didn't work anything good here. We want to work the market. That flat food is not really any good for us. We're growing next turn anywhere. Not here, but yes here. We are going to grow to production, but not the correct production. We're going to finish the pikeman next turn as well. And we finally get this gold up from that trading post. Wait. See if we can find that natural wonder still. It would really benefit us to find it. We needed a crossbow. I don't know how we get more gold. We need to maybe grab gold from our friend. Ah, oh, but we can't. Okay, so we need to keep selling to Japan. I mean... I would, I would love for him to not want to war us right now. But I feel like what he wants to do is war us right now. Will he declare war on anyone else? He has met the rest of the world now. Will the Songhai declare war on him, perhaps? We're feeling the effects of not having enough gold per turn. We can't afford to pay for a war even if we wanted to. We need another pikeman. Have we got open borders? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, we can't... We can't convince him to war anyone, and we can't convince anyone to war him. So there's not a lot we can do apart from prepare. So we should upgrade this to a comp to crossbow. And we should take a loan from Askia just to claim another maybe bit of like 40 gold. What do you want for that? 21 for one. So we take 42 for two. And then we can get this crossbow. And then we need maybe another like 63 to get the final one. And that'll be three gold per turn. Okay, that's going to make sure we're all good. And if Japan wars us, we can pop the artist as well. So, no need for crossbows up here. We want one back there behind Persepolis. And then one in there. Actually, behind Persepolis doesn't really work. We could do with a fort right here. So let's actually put a fort down instead. And the pikeman wants to go right in there. And these crossbowmen sit behind it. That feels like good placement. Anyway, Persepolis grew. What, the production? Sure. Satraps caught in one. We can afford to get the Satraps now. No natural wonder there. Still exploring with worker. <laughs> we can sit in the fort and hopefully we get some fortification for a bit. Let's go for industrialization. I mean, scientific theory is cheaper. Because we can Jesuit a school. We should probably just Jesuit a school. Or if we get factories, what we could do is... Oh, we should go for a school probably. Or if we, but if we get factories, we could maybe get that engineer we're looking for. Anyway, Wimpy says, I got recommended your 167 turn science victories in America. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I was hoping that one would get recommended. A lot of Filthy's content is over-explaining. So I was hoping that our over explain video would get picked up on there as well. Thanks for letting me know. That's quite helpful. I do need to have a bit of a dive into YouTube analytics again at some point. That's more units again from Japan. We're still getting sent to trade route. They liked our proposal. Can we get friends? Ooh. This literally means nothing with Japan at all. Their friendships. I've had them break these friendships so many times. So it's not worth a lot. Sousa. And we need this cargo now. Now that we have the banking one. This cargo ship is going to be important. And this pike can come up and help defend. And again block for us. And we can now get some more crossbows. Just sit right there. That's a crossbowman behind as well like that. And see if we can keep exploring for that natural wonder. Still can't see it, unfortunately. If we can get this pikeman to fortify for a few turns, it will get extra combat strength. That would be good. Satchup's caught done, so we've now actually got gold. East India Company would be good. Leaning is still here. If we'd gone for leaning, we could have taken it. But we need one more crossbow, perhaps. Yeah, Oda could be plotting against us. I mean, I'm not inclined to believe Austria, but that would make sense right now. We finally got this Coco. Excellent. So that's actually happiness for us. We can't see any of this stuff. Let's get in the water and move around. And then this cargo was going to Persepolis, so it can stay going there. This pike can go stand there. That's a good tile. And this is a crossbow that's done, and we can go right there with it. And now we're done with crossbows. There doesn't seem to be any point in building more from the capital. Grab a Colosseum quickly. And then we can maybe think about other stuff. We need we need our Satraps here as well, don't we? We actually kind of need the Opera House first. 
And then Wimpy says, I like Filthy's guides on sieves and wonders, but you're better for actual practical advice and playthroughs on deity. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm glad. I'm glad I've got something that's good. I'm glad the playthroughs are worthwhile. Damn, we didn't fix anything for growth in Pazagarde at all. We want to work these tiles, but we can actually work a slightly better tile. We can work this food tile. Pazagarde's grown. Yeah, we handled that one nice. So we finished our Colosseum. We want the Opera House. Move. National Epic would be better. We need the National Epic. And we've got this crossbow too. So we are well set now for defending. We send this to... No, we probably need to send this from Persepolis. And we should decide which of our cities needs it the most. We might even be inclined to send it for gold. But I would love to send more food to make sure we get more growth. But yeah, well, thank you very much for the kind feedback, Wimpy. That's really nice to hear. We actually need more tiles at some point. Anyway, Pi Lover joins the stream today. Or Pi Lover Pi joins the stream today. Welcome to the stream, Pi Lover. Says hello there. Hello there, General Kenobi. Just to show I'm in touch with memes. There we go. Got to show I'm cool. <laughs> Pi Lover gives us the Craigasm face. Because <laughs> I said hello there, General Kenobi. Love it. Oh. Always a nice. I, I love. I absolutely love the prequel memes Reddit page. I absolutely love it. It's like one of my favourite meme pages that I've ever seen. Hazagarde or Sousa, or do we need production? We might benefit from sending production to Pazagarde. Because its city is growing enough. So there we go. Old Faithful finally found it. Finally found it. <laughs> and we haven't found anything with our worker scouting. <laughs> Wimpy Assassin says, Wow, PC, that was a surprise to be sure, but a welcome one. <laughs> yes, nice. Nice, nice, yes. Will you, will, will you also tell me that I'm a bold one? Or perhaps, are you a bold one? Maybe you're a bold one. We're also coming up with the memes. <laughs> FJS4 says, a big shout out to Arthur slash prequel memes. Absolutely. I love it. It's my favourite meme subreddit by far. I, I do absolutely love it. When can we pay for a war against Austria? I wouldn't like to war Japan. But at this point, I'm not bothered about warring Japan. Because... For some reason, we don't have this religion in our capital. We got profited by Austria. I'm not sure. Anyway, FGS Wall joins the stream, says, Good evening, PC. Welcome to the stream today, FGS Wall. By the way, no no multiplayer today? And only three cities, eh? Not your normal style. Yeah. Yeah, it's not my normal style at all to be on three cities. We could have gone four, but that would have guaranteed us to get killed by Japan. So we didn't settle this city. We thought about something up here, but it just turned out to be not really worthwhile with the lack of land. We probably could have squeezed something in for the fish, honestly, but maybe not. Could have tried to squeeze something bad in here, but typically these cities don't look good. So, three cities, not my natural style for sure. I love to go for four. I think four. No, I think three is an easy way to make yourself irrelevant, whereas four is more game winning. Um, But yeah, no multiplayer today as well. Yeah, we started too late, unfortunately. I, I had too, too late a day at work today, so I wasn't able to get into a multiplayer lobby. I don't know if we'll be able to get a multiplayer game in this week. I'd love to. But next week, I've got several days off work after the Maybank holiday. So I'm really hoping to get some multiplayer games in there as well. It's a shame because we're on a two-win streak. In fact, our two-win streak was so good that we've been invited to the uh, the try-hard secret group of Civ Five um, Brave New World players. So you know, obviously we're not you know on level with the try-hard try-hards, but they have accepted me into the try-hard group, sort of on recognition of my potential talent. The fact that you know we can because of what we do on Deity Sim with the best of them. We can already do that. So it's about making sure to get that as kind of the war savvy. And then we can really sort of play play with the heavyweights in terms of multiplayer. So that's been quite nice. Um, I was quite pleased about that. So thanks to Rough Mercies and all the, the pros or the tryhards for letting us in. In any case, we still have this Japan stuff to worry about. Is this fort done? I think it is done, isn't it? We need to get a fort here next. We probably should have built one with a worker. We're going to grow into... We need secularism in one turn as well. Golden Age could be triggered when we get schools. We'll see. This national effort would be good though. But yeah, our population is great right now. We've got 61 pop turn 108 on three cities, which is absolutely huge. So our science is flying. We're going to be schools turn 113. We may get awards soon. It's a Shinto missionary. 
Yeah, I don't know. Natural Wonder discovered Kaiser. Nice. So that solidif solidifies our ally. And we now even have allies with Budapest. So they're gifting us units. They did gift us a crossbow. What? What's their unit? Budapest gives fo gifts Foreign Legion. What? I, I never knew that could happen, that they could gift Foreign Legion. So Foreign Legion is the freedom unit. So if, if you take freedom, you can take six Foreign Legion for free from freedom, which is an excellent tenant, by the way. And apparently, Budapest gifts Foreign Legion. Secularism for sure. Secularism is always your next point in rationalism, by the way. The way to do rationalism, open, then secularism, then free thought. Because secularism is such a massive science boost. That means we should probably work a market slot too. Oh, Foreign Legion is... Is it Francis Unique, the Foreign Legion? No, the Francis Unique is the Musketeer. Isn't it? Great War Infantry Replacement. Really? I thought France had the Chateau as their unique improvement and then the Musketeer as their unique unit. Freedom Foreign Legion, that's a thing, right? I, I don't think I'm being stupid. Let's work a market slot. Two unit units. I swear they get the Chateau. Let's look it up. We're going to resolve this once and for all. France. Unit, unit, musketeer, unique improvement, Chateau. And then we can check the Foreign Legion now. Where's the Foreign Legion? It's like units, and then it's like maybe land units. Apparently, I, I must have typed, spelt foreign wrong. Units. Uh, no, we actually need units, units. Um, how do we spell it? We spelled it right. Foreign, foreign. I just was this high. I could have sworn. I'm pretty sure it's six freedom foreign legion, isn't it? Um. Game concepts, units. Yeah, here we go. So now maybe we can find great war foreign legion. Foreign Legion is a special unit only available through the volunteer army tenant of the Freedom Ideology. Yeah, no, apparently it's only only Freedom Foreign Legion. Yeah, France just gets the muskets here in the Chateau. Everyone gets like two of unique buildings and units and stuff. Foreign Legion was France unique unit in Vanilla Civ. Ah, oh, thanks, Pie Lover. Yeah, that'll be what it is. Nice, very good spot. Very good spot. Opera House next for the Hermitage when we need it. Probably. Probably want to progress towards Opera Houses here too, but I think we want a Barracks. I don't know what we need. We're doing Opera House here. We need to think about what we need because we're not really doing good things right now. Yeah, FGS Wall says that explains it. Yeah, I imagine something like that. That's good. Yeah, it's good to know, actually. It used to be French, but it isn't. I guess that makes sense. That would make sense in a way. Scientific Theory in 4. It's a shame we don't have Jesuit in our capital anymore. We do have Jesuit in Expans, but it's just so much nicer to get it in the capital. Yeah, let's keep open borders with Japan because we need to stay friendly. And we can trade one iron to Askia. There goes Leaning finally. There goes Forbidden. We could have got all of these wonders if we could have got Leaning if we wanted it. It's a shame. I passed it up because I thought surely it has to go to the Songhai. But it just didn't. Works more specialists now. We have secularism. Need to make sure we don't generate a merchant though, but we're kind of ahead of that right now. And Persepolis has grown again. Oh, more jungle. Nice. And we can now improve that jungle too. We might want it as a hill, but that jungle tile was probably a bit much to pass up. Genuinely really want this lumber mill. And we are going to grow in one here. So maybe we work a market again. Anyway, Wimpy Assassin says, I've got exams about Napoleon in a few weeks. I've got to actually know about the foreign legions. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's kind of cool. It's not cool that you've got an exam, but hey, it's kind of cool that you need to know about the Foreign Legions for sure. I wonder if we save this Golden Age for a bit longer. We could expend it now, but what, where's the benefit for us to expend it now for schools if we can already Jesuit too? Probably isn't one. We need more faith. Zeus has grown. Yes, that's good. We should work this gold when we can. I don't want to work too many market slots because it is a bit debilitating for kind of improving the cities. It's a bit early for markets. We'll keep trading with Japan so that he keeps liking us. Even though we may or may not have desires to war him soon. We finished the barracks now. Now it's Opera House time. 
Yeah, because we're not going to have a lot of time. It's amazing how fast things like schools creep up on you, which is why I've been consciously trying to get ahead of the Opera House queue here. We need more culture as well, even though we've got a cultural ally already. It's because we don't have something like Sistine Chapel. Our culture looks like it's flagging a bit. There are no, we've met no faith city states. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we've met 10. There might be one near Denmark. We could do with astronomy at some point. Let's try and go find them. So I wonder if we do that to grab astronomy and then come in for. Yep, there's the war. Okay. Well, we are well set up to defend this, I think. A unit was killed. We lost our archer. We've got scientific theory now. Let's pull back. Hopefully Japan doesn't come for these expansions. And then we pull back a bit. We've got this cargo to Persepolis. That can continue. And then we can start shooting some of this stuff down. We've got a great vision on him right now. Unless he citadels us. He's going to struggle to fight into this. We need more pikes though. So I wonder if we grab a pike. We need a public school too. We also need a pikeman. And we can Jesuit out of these public schools. For 260. It's a bit much. We can Jesuit one perhaps. Where? Here. And then we can work a school slot. And then we can... We don't want the satraps anymore. We don't even want the public school. We want military. So let's get some knights. They'll be good. And then we can finish this. We don't need to finish the opera house. Let's get a knight straight away. And we need another pike as a military unit. And hopefully we can finish this fort. But these pikemen have been fortifying for a long time. So hopefully we'll be okay. He won't negotiate a peace yet. But maybe we can beat him back. We should find some more AIs to trade with. So, uh, we, want, we want to keep the horses. Because we will want knights. But we do want to sell the iron. We got a lot of stuff back. I bet that's been great for our gold per turn. It's a shame we can't Jesuit out factories. We need, we need to find a way to get factories built at some point. We can trade pearls for cocoa like this. And then, do we need the incense for happiness? Kind of don't. But it would get us to our golden age faster. We do have spare gold. So let's pay for it. Nine. Okay. And we got that deal back when he declared war. So I don't think there was much of a chance of us... Yeah, and we could. We It would be nice to keep Budapest because they'll gift us units. So let's drop this spy in Budapest. Where's Budapest? There it is. But we, we could also really do with a mercantile ally, perhaps. That would be really nice. Maybe we give some gold. This 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 scout is going to... is This scout is dead. For sure. I don't think we bulb a golden age yet, though. Do we? I need a school at some point. We'll bulb the golden age when we want to build a school. And we can build units out of these expansions. And then we'll, in nine turns, perhaps Faith purchase this public school. Okay, it looks like we're good. So let's see what Japan's got. Hopefully he's not the kind the, the great generaling type. That's what I'm hoping for with Japan here. Because if he generals in, it's going to make our position a lot worse. But if he doesn't, we're in a very, very, very strong position to defend this. We need to move this worker away and keep it safe. Samurai's incoming. Not worried about that. We need to try and keep the attack coming towards our capital if possible. Sign delegates. We can vote for the Songhai. Or do we want to vote for Denmark? We'll vote for Denmark because we might want to kill Songhai first. I wonder if we can get the Songhai into this war now that we have gold. Uh, we actually could, but like, way too much gold per turn. Anyway, in chat, <laughs> Wimpy said something quite funny. Says, Napoleon should have just gone on production focus. He would have conquered Europe. Oh, no. Jeff <laughs> JS or Wimpy Assassin. Maybe he didn't know about the production focus trick. <laughs> oh, dudes. Really? It's kind of funny. Can we pay for a war back on Japan? Man, we can pay for a war back on Japan as well. We should pay for this one. We need the gold per turn, but this war will distract Japan and hopefully give us peace sooner. Not that we're too worried about the war, but we need to pay some diligence to it. 
I don't know if we... No, we're not even going to lose this thing. Wow, nice. Yes, let's be friends with Denmark for sure. And a great scientist has been born in Pasigade. We want to save that now. Now we want to go industrialization. We do have the goal to upgrade the triarene. So let's see if we can meet some more city-states. And we can actually do city bombardment in Susa. Oh, we've had a road cut. That's not nice. Can we, like, yeah, we can. We can kill this. I want to make sure that samurai's dead. And then we've got this scientist that we can save. And then we can focus on killing this knight. And then we probably need to kill this samurai. That poses a big threat. Need to back up. And swap with this pikeman. And this pikeman can get open terrain promotion and stand there. Workers can wait. This can go there. Keep waiting. Keep coming back home. Some deals ended, so we need to get those back if we can. That's trading iron to Denmark because we want to keep the horses. Probably need another knight. Where's a knight? And then one more knight in Pasigade, again ahead of the Opera House. We do need to build the public school in the capital, so I think we take the time to do it. While we're not losing units, I think we really should. And then this knight can. This knight needs to heal over here. To be useful. Yeah, so this, this attack is already petering out from Japan because we pay for the war back. I wonder if we keep the war going though and just start killing Japan already. Persepolis. Oh man, we haven't been watching growths in Persepolis for a long time. We've made a mistake of not working any market slots where we could have done. Oh no, I'll tell you what's been done is we've had our tile stood on. That's what's happened. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll lock in the tiles we want and then we can let the tiles we don't want be a bit more flexible. Yeah, we've had good tiles stood on is the problem. So we're protecting that tile, so let's work it. Actually, we want the gold first. You have to remember that. Oh, and there's the rock of Gibraltar. So there's the other one right off our coast. We need this lumber mill tile. Let's just buy it and use it. That was a really big waste of gold, but I quite liked it. Actually do this as well to make sure we grow next turn. Knights in one, and then I'm pretty sure once we get these knights that this attack is just completely shut down. Got gifted a knight as well, which is cool. We can back up here, shoot, and then take a hit with a knight. Back up with a knight, draw them in. This crossbow can come out, give us some damage. And then we don't actually have anything to shoot in this theatre of war. So we need to try and move this over. If we can. And then keep sitting. But I mean, Japan's attack is already dead. It is dead on arrival before it's even done anything. I wonder if he'll peace. But we could probably take his stuff. Yeah, anyway. Wimpy says, have you seen Spiffing Brit's videos on Civ 5 as a perfectly balanced game with no exploits? You know what? I haven't actually. For whatever reason, the title just didn't kind of appeal to me, so I haven't seen it. But I do know that those videos have been very nice to us. Spiff One of Spiffing Brit's videos on Civ 5 as a perfectly balanced game with no exploits is what got this channel going. We got lucky to get our guide video recommended off the back of one of his videos, and that is what, that is what started this channel on its trajectory. I kind of actually want to build a public school after the night in Susa now. We don't need it for the war. We've got our iron tile back. That's good. We don't need it for the war. And so, yeah, we need to pivot this pike back across now. And then we want to use our crossbows to try and take some shots on that. We don't really want to unfortify. We should try and push Japan now, though, if we're gonna. And if we're going to do that, where do we go? We need to cross the river over here if we're going to push. So let's go stand that there. We've got plenty of knights and we can push across the river now. And then step forward and start taking shots. Maybe on the pikemen. And then this can also... This needs to just get on the road. Move this across and then another knight to come over here. And then this knight also comes up over here. I'm, I'm pretty sure we got Japan beat here. It doesn't feel like there's literally anything they can do to stop us from completely rolling their army. 
We just need to fight through it and make sure not to lose units. Yeah, we're working good tiles in here now, aren't we? Yeah, we are. We don't need the market slot yet. Could put a fort down here because we're not working that food tile. And we it would be nice to claim our iron back if we could. If we could. And we've got another golden age that we don't need yet. We want to try and get this natural golden age first. Anyway. Jack Locus says, the first bit of yours I saw was the 10 ways to improve, and then I watched your China Science, then Rome. Oh, right, nice. Yeah, it's kind of it. Kind of interesting. China Science was nice. Was China Science the game where we had terrible lands and we had to re redo it because we got killed? We or was because we got killed by Japan, but we really wanted to see if that game could be won on a really fast time. I think it was. And then the Rome game was nice. That was a nice autocracy game. I'm thinking autocracy here as well. Oh, Jack Loco said yes. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I had fun doing that China game. I had fun. It was a nice game. It was a really nice game to demonstrate how you can win even with terrible lands. So I really enjoyed it. We did like all sorts of bad things in that game and it just all tended to work. It was really, really nice. Do we build porcelain? Nine turns for porcelain here. That's 12 turns in the cap. Eight turns to a scientist. Eight, turn for, eight turns for porcelain, maybe. We can probably do it. Let's try and build porcelain. Although we might also need... Yeah, first from Askier ended. We got a, a promotion on this crossbow now. But yeah, yeah, interesting, yeah. Yeah, the China is one of our very very first videos for the channel. Really enjoyed doing it. All right, how do we push Japan from this position? What we need to do, I think, is keep killing Samurai. They're the danger units right now because it takes five crossbow shots to kill one. And then we need to maybe try and get... I'm worried about these pikemen slamming our knights. Because they get a bonus versus mounted units. So it would be better to try and push the pikemen up. But we need to try and bring Japan in, bait Japan in just a bit more before we do that. Because we could try and we need to use our crossbows to kill a few more units before we can get out and risky. So let's do that. And we've got another knight that can at least garrison here. We could try and kill this. Oh lol. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> we can't we can't kill that at all. And this crossbow is a bit useless, but we can't push up without taking city shots from Satsuma. I wonder if the best way to ta take Satsuma would be by building a couple of Galias. That would be my option for taking down Satsuma. We need to keep buying those furs. Uh he wants peace with us. No. We don't need to build any more units. Why would we take peace right now? This knight got an instant heal. We should take it. This knight could kill that unit, but it's better to back up. He's changing the focal point of his attack a bit. We need to put some damage on the pikemen. We get away with that knight now. We can kill a samurai. Let's push. And that lets us do this. Open terrain promotion. Yeah, it's good damage we're getting on pikemen. And then we can actually completely kill this thing. So we don't need the pikes in the forts anymore. Just take that out and move back. And then we've got this trebuchet here that has gotten a little bit frisky. We can... I mean, we don't even need... It is fine to do damage right now. We don't even really need to kill it. Anyway, we've got a public school. Seven turns to the scientist, eight turns to porcelain. We need to reset our tiles again. Hopefully this is the last time we lose our tiles and we don't have to do this. Yeah, okay. This is nice. This tile is better. And we're working too much market right now. We don't want to work too much science if we want the engineer though. In fact, is that what we want? No, we want to use porcelain to save scientist points is what we want here. We actually got a general board. So that can come in and help. Probably should have moved it before we started the war. And the barracks is down now. We don't need any more of this stuff. So we can build our galleasses here. Don't really want to attack the pikemen. We could get this pikeman out in front of our army like that. That's quite nice. Be nice to get this to a trading post. So if we can explore the world. Maybe try and meet a faith, faith city state. And now we can vote on World's Fair. Oh, we kind of need to do the World's Fair. We might have to build that next. What's our production like? I mean, we're fifth. 
But we, we came in for coal. Did we get any? Of course we didn't. Are any of our city-states on coal? No to Kaisel. Yes to Hanoi. So Hanoi will get us coal. If we can get them as allies. But we are not in Hanoi. We're in Budapest. But Budapest has loads of coal. So Budapest will give us coal if we can get their ally. And we will in about two turns. And if we need to, we'll gift gold. So that we can rely on. Next. We need to pick our tech path. And I want to try and kill Japan. Our science is quite good, actually. So perhaps we can maybe try and roll them with artilleries or something. I don't really want to keep Satsuma. We should raise it if we take it. Maybe there's other stuff that we can do. Asgardo is going to grow. Work a market slot. And then we can grow to the production. Carry on. Anyway, Jack Loco says, Why do you tend to save Oxford until the late game? Um, so we tend to save it until the late game because of how science works. So actually, Oxford isn't really... Oxford isn't really... Um, it's not really about kind of like saving it to the late game or anything. But we'll start with why it is a good idea to save it to the late game. So in the late game, all techs have a finite cost. In the late game, typically, it's very, very, very unusual for a, for a tech like nanotechnology or even robotics to be six turns or less. A great scientist bulb is worth five and a bit turns worth of science. So Oxford is worth more than a great scientist bulb in the late game. And you can use it to get maximum value by taking one of these final techs in the info era, Particle Fizz, Nanotech, or Stealth. That's why saving Oxford can be good, because you get maximum science from the Oxford University. And the science that comes from Oxford, it's like plus three a turn. It's barely worth anything. It's not worth it to, to build Oxford for that science. So you tend to save Oxford to, to use it at the end game for a super high value tech. You also use it because it is a tech on demand. Wonders like the Statue of Liberty are incredibly, incredibly valuable. And in a multiplayer game, statue is fought for incredibly hard. You do not get statue if you don't use your Oxford for it. And again, it's the most expensive tech. So you want to use your Oxford to take the Statue of Liberty tech. So Oxford tends to be used for a specific situation where you can really speed up your chances of doing something. It's typically used to enter radio for ideology. It's used to enter replaceable parts for Statue of Liberty. And it can be used for any of these high priority endgame technologies because it just gets maximum science value. You now, FJS War says, what's the chances of Austria buys Budapest one turn before you get them lol? I hate playing against Austria. Yeah, you know what? You've got me worried now too. <laughs> Let's um let's cross our fingers dearly and hope, I think is what I'm going to say to that. We can't do anything to get them. We could send the trade route to Hanoi if we want. We lost a pike, really? Oh, that's the pike we pushed. That's okay. We might not be able to fight through all of Japan's army because we're not building army. That could be a thing right now. That expo is dead. We should shoot, though, in case we can use an instant heal. Really? It didn't die? Oh, it's as good as dead. I guess that's good enough for us. We could kill it with this. Take an instant heal and then kill it. Yeah. And then we need to keep pushing these. We need to keep the instant heal on hand if we're going to push. This is Japanese trireme. It hasn't got any of our cargoes yet, which is a big win. We need to push up into the fort. This knight needs to save its instant heal if possible. I don't know what we use it for, so we just probably pull it back and push this into the fort. So we can get shots off. A bit exposed here, actually. But I don't want to get into city bombardment range at all. That would be quite terrible. Let's take drill or something. Keep this general with us. We don't want to lose the general. But let's bring it back here. We're getting a bit short on knight health right now. Azagade grew. Good. Yeah, we're getting a bit short on night health, which we need to watch out for. We can grow to our production tile. I wonder if it's a mistake building porcelain. Might be. I would love to save the great scientist point standard capital. It might be a case where we try and hold instead of pushing Japan. Because we don't have the units to capture their cities right now. Yeah, they've pivoted down here now. It's by left... Ah. Oh. Diplomatic marriage. But hey, I'll tell you what we can do. Oh, they don't have coal yet. <laughs> eh. The oil? Oh my god. Songhai's at oil? That's actually good for us, I think. And we can try and go for Hanoi, though, for Hanoi's coal. 
man. There we go. That's exactly what FJS Wolf said. Diplomatic marriage. Well, we'll wait for Cole. We'll get Cole when we get Cole. We need to kill this knight. How do we get a crossbow in to do that? This in needs to instant heal. These crossbows can kill this knight, I think. We need to give it a hit first like this. Okay, and then we can take out the trebuchet. And now we need to take an instant heal on this knight. And we need this knight to die. So let's push this up. Move the expo along. Shoot. And then we can perhaps hit. Take. That was actually a bad way to do the moves. We can take a double accuracy on this crossbow now. We need to move it forwards. We need to bring the knights over if possible. But we just need to be cautious. There's no need to get too far ahead of ourselves. And then this knight is a bit exposed. We can move in. Pillage and then move back. At least that's health. And then we can heal this knight. Actually, it's probably better to bring it back into our own territory. Because it's out of moves. Convert that to a trading post. We've got a trading post there. So that's more gold. Check our capital's tile assignment. Seems good. Anyway. We're here on the Galias. We can perhaps build one more Galias. Or do we want an armory? Maybe one more Galias. If we want to take Satsuma. It will need Gatlings or Galiases. We've got... We can take Metallurgy now. Actually, we might go cannons. Anyway, Most of Pot TV says, Hey, welcome to the stream, Most of Pot TV. It's a special challenge. We're going to try something interesting. I am, I've been thinking about this for a little while now. I, I wonder if we can win this deity game skipping labs. That's what I want to do this game. But in general, the special challenge is to make sure to end the game getting Golden Ages with Chichen Itza that's currently owned by the Songhai. So we need to find a way to take those off the Songhai. And we'll do it, and maybe we can get the Chichen Itza. Anyway, Wimpy says, Do you plan on trying a Diplo win against AI at some time, or is it not viable on Deity slash not fun to stream? It's one of those where my opinion on a lot of Deity victories is that um, with Science and Domination tend to be the easiest Deity victories. And it sounds weird, but I'm going to say it. It's because it, those are the victories that require you to interact with the AI less. Tourism highly depends on AI's culture, and in every game you can often get an AI that goes for aesthetics and completely builds up a massive pool of culture that you can't overcome. Let's check right now. That's currently Songhai, but Songhai has actually not got a massive pool of culture, so we're not experiencing that problem. But often you get that. Same with Diplomatic Victory. If you get AIs in your game that really fight over city-states, like Songhai's got loads right now, we could struggle again to capture all of these city-states with a usual amount of gold per turn. So those cities tend to be more difficult and more situational. Whereas something like domination doesn't depend on AI because we can always get to stealth faster than they do and stealth XCOM everyone's capital and win. And science is just the ultimate peaceful game. So that's why I think that Diplo is more difficult because it involves working with AI or working against AI more than a science victory might have done. We need factories. We could do with getting coal soon. We don't need Austria's open borders now. We got a unit kill. That was on night. That's unfortunate. We need to try and get some more crossbow shots in this theatre of war. Instant hill here is good. Yeah, we don't have enough crossbow shots down here right now. Can we get a shot here? Probably not. Can we move this? Can we move one of these over? Yeah, move this over here. And we can maybe get shots from that area next turn. We can push this knight over. And then pull this crossbow in. And now we've got three shots for the samurai. We've actually got a shot for the samurai here. And then we can maybe push this forwards. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get a shot with that this turn. We can move these pikes over out of the forts now. This can come back. Galias can come round to see if we can start trying to take the city. But again, we're not quite in a very... We're not in a good position to do it right now because we really want factories. Like the market slot. And adopt social policy so we can go for humanism. It's a bit late. Our culture is a bit slow. But we are at war. And we need to take this promotion now. So we take open terrain. But desert's not great. We, we need cannons to kill Japan. So cannons we will go. We're still last in army of all things. We're actually only 3% behind the Songhai right now. We need to watch this scientist. That's in Persepolis. I want to take this out now. Because we might accidentally generate it because of the oracle points. I'll work that tile as well. Because we're going to get something in a few turns. So actually, is it four turns for the scientist? No, it's a different city now that's got loads of turns. So we can actually put this in. 
That's now five turns here. Wait, wait, we do... We need... Yeah, we need it just to be later than porcelain. So we can't build a five-turn scientist here either. So we can work the production over. We're going to grow to the production. So what we need to do is work gold. That's fine. And yeah, now that's eight turns. So hopefully we can save scientist points in Persepolis. We'll actually save scientist points in Persepolis anyway, even if we generate this scientist. So I'm actually doing completely nonsensical stuff. We didn't need to do that. We save scientist points in Persepolis, even if we generate the scientist. We just need to make sure not to generate the capitals one before we finish porcelain. We should build an armory in Pazagade next. Yeah, we lost another knight. We're taking some damage, but we're okay. We just need to continue to take units down. And I think we just need to accept that we're going to be doing the wholesale killing of Japan once we get cannons. This crossbow feels like something we can kill. Uh, and then can we? Nope. We just lost out. So we need an armory now in Pazagado, so let's build that. We've got a couple of Galias to do something with the sea. We should build another road, though. Do we have a road on the iron yet? We actually do, but we could get a road there if we can later. We Apparently, we've border expanded to that, and I didn't even realise. This work is not doing anything useful. This crossbow needs to cross the river. And the Galias comes around. It's actually quite a long trip for the Galias. Can we buy coal yet? We need to buy coal as soon as we get the chance. Songhai apparently doesn't want to give us any. No one else has got it. Oh, World's Fair. We forgot to work the World's Fair. That's such a mistake. How do we get that? 49% complete. I don't know if we'll actually manage to take it now. We might have to do an emergency golden age, but that would be a huge waste. Ah, uh, man. World's Fair would have been great. If we get two turns, we can do it. Yeah, two turns would... One turn might do it, actually, because we only need... What do we need? 230. Oh, no, we need 230. So two turns will do it. We're just going to have to hope that two is enough. Oh, no, it's not going to be enough. We'll get the Golden Age points. Yeah, two is not going to be enough, unfortunately. Well, we can work World's Fair. I guess we'll just have to pivot back to barracks and things. That's really annoying. At least we're going to get the Golden Age points. That will help. But it's a shame to lose the World's Fair. We're too distracted with the war. Uh, we need to kill that, that samurai there. It's what needs to die. Yeah, so that samurai's now dead. Take that, and we can actually get Japan's caravan next turn. It's a shame not to be getting World's Fair. Oh well. Oh, there, there's Lady Victoria. Okay. That appears to be all of the natural wonders. That will complete any more quests we've got. Hanoi, we're still waiting on. 35 influence. Yeah, we're not actually in there yet. We'll get coal. We need to wait with the worker for a turn. That's a shame we lost the World's Fair. We'll try it, though, and we can pivot our production if we don't get it. And now we can go for military science for cavalries, and we need to build some cannons. Yeah, it's done. Man, that's unfortunate. Only bronze. Oh, well, at least we've got a golden age. We'll probably get all of the social policies we need anyway, but it would have been nice to get that policy straight away. Can we... Is there a way to take this? Yes. Nice. I wonder if we can look to do some more pillaging on Japan now as well. And I would love to push Japan. We've got a golden age as well. So we can start doing Persia Golden Age things. But I really don't want to take city bombardment shots. Like a trebuchet in there versus a Galias seems like a recipe for disaster. Frigates would be nice, but we don't actually have frigate tech. We can't frigate the Songhai, so it doesn't... I mean, we could frigate a few of the Songhai cities. So maybe frigates does make sense, but battleships would be a better choice. We need to swap this out. We could do with chopping that forest down. Let's see if we can play a bit of a game over the worker. Heal. Yeah, we've got that now. That means we can... We don't need to work the gold yet, do we? Scientist in two, porcelain in two. So we actually do now need to work the gold. It might not actually be like that, but I don't want to make, I don't want to make a mistake by accident and lose our opportunity to get maximum value from porcelain. 
But yeah, this can't attack yet. That's fine. This tile is in shooting range of the city, so we don't want to occupy it. We could actually do with bring one of these workers out now. Wimpy says, where did the Great General come from? The Great General came from the combat. Because we, we killed a load of Japan's units earlier, so we got a general way back when. Trade for sugar. Don't really need it. Research agreement. If we want to kill the Songhai, that's not going to be good. So what do we do? We lost a civilian. That's baiting the trebuchet out of the city, so that's actually quite good. We will want that research agreement, though, with Denmark. Austria's actually the game leader now. It's kind of interesting. We need to shoot what we can of this crossbow. And then we'll take on the trebuchet. I think we need to step back, shoot the trebuchet, and then we can take it like that. Move this over. We might lose this, but we did get the unit out of Satsuma. And now we birth a scientist in Suza. We can save that. There's Hedleby. It's Bogota. And now we can go back to working full slots in here, so long as it doesn't generate us a scientist. Currently 13. 8. And is there another kind of rubbish tile that we can give up? Actually not right now, but we are going to grow next turn to production, so we can do that. And that's six. So it's good if we get almost maximum point saving from using Porcelain Tower, which is what you want to do, by the way. Just randomly building Porcelain Tower tends not to be a particularly good idea. And it's because Porcelain Tower, the benefit it takes, it increases your Great Scientist counter for using Porcelain Tower. So what you want to do when you build Porcelain Tower is to try and use it to save Great Scientist points as many as possible. So we've just saved about 200 points in the capital by building Porcelain. That's where the value comes from. It's not from getting the free scientist. It's not really from the research agreements, although it kind of is. It's more the value of the scientist points saved. So this might allow us to get a third scientist in the capital now with these extra 200 points. So that's what we're looking to do there. Anyway, Avulion joins the stream today. Says, yo, yo, yo. Welcome to the stream today, Avulion. Hope you're doing well. We can finish the Opera House and we need to go for Hermitage, especially now that we didn't get the World's Fair. We really should go for Hermitage. This Galias is going to get shot if we move it up. We might be able to move it in. We need to heal these and bring the worker over to the front to try and chop some more forest down. We can bring all of these over, actually. This doesn't even need to stay there anymore. As soon as I build barracks, get an armory. Then we might need a satchel to court after that. And we still need coal. This guy still has oil, but no coal, apparently. It's kind of crazy. How's our pop? Our pop is 71 right now in three cities. We didn't lose any units this turn. We are Persia, so we are getting double healing, I think. And there's Porcelain. So we saved 207 Great Scientist points with the Porcelain Tower Scientist. So that is good. That's what we look for. And we can chop this forest down. That seems rubbish. We want to raise it. So we chop the forest down to get vision. And we can keep healing the pipe. This pipe is going to die for sure. We could build a military academy now as well. Ahead of the cannons. We don't really need the military academy yet. We can go cannon. We could... Really desperately use an engineer, but we can't really get one. We've got 309 faith. Uh, Persepolis. Yeah, we handle the growth. Getting an opera house for Hermitage. That's fine. Build a cannon. And then build an armory followed by cannon. And then we can start working on Japan. If we want to go RTs, we can go for RT now. Feels like that might be a good idea. Do we screw ourselves against Denmark? With third tech, 4% behind. Probably don't screw ourselves at all. So maybe we can go for artillery. Where's where's Austria's tech? 39. Japan's 37. We are... How many are we? So let's, let's review the tech. 36, but irrelevant on two cities. 43. 37. 46. 44. And 39. So Denmark is the big problem. But perhaps we can stealth bomb a Denmark if we have to at the end of the game. Let's just hold all of this back. And just hold. We don't really... Do we get any good damage on Satsuma? Not really. We could move in, but what's the point? We need this worker to chop that forest down. We can actually move this out here and try and convince the AI to send a unit out after it again. And then this can also wait on the hill, perhaps, there. Anyway, Avilion says, I'm good, thanks. How's your day been? My day has been good. I'm pretty happy it's the weekend. Pretty pleased for a bit of a break. It's nice that we got this Golden Age, at least. We lost the Pikemen. Our civilian captured. It's okay. We, that means we can kill now this. Bring this back. 
wait there so we can shoot it with the full force of our crossbowman. We actually need to try and take it back with a knight if we can. We can build. I mean, we can't build anything in here, so let's leave the worker. Try and convince them to come out of the city. This needs to come and try and chop down the forest. Maybe we stand on it with a knight as well. And now we can chop it down so we can get vision. And we got a third writer. That's very good. We're losing pikemen, but that doesn't matter to us because pikemen aren't really valuable to us right now. They're valuable as blockers, but not much else. These cannons will make a difference when we can start taking the city. Yeah, he wants almost flat piece now. So that means our military is nearly on par. He's starting to feel the pressure. We lost our knight. That's okay. The cannon has come out to play. So let's make sure we can kill the cannon. This marsh is not somewhere we can go in. We can chop this down. And then we can actually advance this forward and kill the cannon like that. Move the crossbowman over. Maybe we try and get an, a crossbow in range of the city. We need to try and convince the cannons to come out there. And then what we can do is that. No, this is better, I think, up there. If we're going to try and get in range of the city, we could roll up and try and shoot the um, Gallias now. Because that will kill it. Not the Gallias, the Gatling gun. And that solves us a problem. Open terrain and volley. The cannon. Drop that straight in range. Nice. And we need to wait on there because we actually want to improve that. And we can come in now to see if we can steal some stuff. We need more. So this is an armory done in the capital. We probably... Brandenburg would be nice, but Hermitage is more important. Another cannon. And then, yeah, we probably need a cavalry after that. Or like a knight unit to try and be city capture. Hopefully we can bring Satsuma down with all these cannons. Do we lose? Um, no. No. We lost, oh, we lost the crossbowman that went up there, so that's fine. We're happy with that. He hasn't been convinced to come out of his own city. We need to find a way to kill this knight, if possible. We've got a shot there for an instant heal. Maybe this stuff isn't too much of a worry if we can kill the city. Yeah, that's a huge amount of damage. These cannons are going to flatten the cities. We need to try and get, convince someone to war Japan at some point to reduce our warmonger penalty. Build a road. We build a road. Kind of looks like it helps Japan out at this point, but I don't think it does. We need to come in there. In there. We can pull this knight away. I don't know that we can kill that knight. Doesn't make sense, I don't think. We can actually kill it if we want to. We'll lose a knight, which doesn't seem like a good idea. Let's instead drop a worker up there. Just like build a fake road. We don't need all of these workers now. We've got gifted a Gatling gun as well. So that's going to make sure that Satsuma might die even next turn. Korea's lost its capital. Can we convince a war against Japan now? Yeah, he will actually do it for a lot, but he would do it. So it depends if we really care about the warmonger penalties as to whether or not we choose to. Gonna grow here. Work a market slot. Here is two turns. We don't actually have many slots to work there. We're working all of our slots here as well. Make sure we're not generating a merchant, which we're not. Uh, don't need that deal either yet. We could use that to get Hanoi in right now. They want us to give them a gift of gold. So that'll get the quest up and that'll be coal. So let's give them 250. We've got allies. And they're now giving us their coal. We need to save this promotion. We need to find a way to not lose too much stuff to that. This cannon is going to be pretty big damage. We can't take it down next turn now, can we? We should probably focus all on the city and see if we can actually do it. Maybe. We might lose a few of our units actually doing it this way. That's probably unwise. Yeah, we've gotten a bit away from what we've been doing that's worked so successfully, chasing that city capture. Should have just patiently waited for the cannons. This knight might be needed to capture a city. This work is not needed, though. Let's move this thing out of the way. 
Uh, we've got... We could do with a capture unit for at least a turn. So let's get a caravel. That's pretty safe. Stonghai autocracy. We actually kind of wanted autocracy. I don't know if we still take autocracy now. Might be okay. But we can get a factory here for five turns. And then after this cannon, a factory for six. We could go freedom. Given it's Songhai autocracy. We lost, yeah, two units. We lost that knight, which is not what we wanted. Austrian units are in here trying to capture Satsuma as well. It would be nice if we let Austria capture Satsuma. That could be good. Because if they capture it... No, we should take it and give it to Austria if we want to do something cheeky like that. We should probably actually just take it and raise it. Need to kill the samurai. Accuracy here. Uh, we can move over one. And then we can move over one. Get some shots in. I mean, this cannon, these cannons are going to do enough damage already. So we can kill all these units now in Satsuma. And finally take free thought. So we're up to 479 science. Hanoi is now our ally. And we have this for... We can take Coastal Raider. For the gold. Can we actually take the city? Would it be a turn? How many... So we've got one, two, three, four, five. We've actually got six movement points. But there's no tile next to the city that we can stand in. So Austria is being a bit annoying. Wimpy also says Hanoi are doing bits. Yeah, for sure, actually. Hanoi are doing some good work for us now, aren't they? We might build too many cannons because we're going dynamite. Yeah, we definitely built too many cannons. We shouldn't have finished the cannons. Oh, well. What do we do? Do we just take this now? Or do we pay for a war first so that no one gets a bit annoyed at us for taking them down? The song hire are important. We've got 18 gold a turn to do this, though. We don't... We need to find a way to try and get more gold. Four horses. We'd like to use our own horsemen. Because we need to use a horseman as a capture unit. So we can't afford to sell it. I would very much like to... Shall we, public de Shall we declare war against Japan? No. I mean, we're going to work through Japan first. I don't really like this. We could give up a lot. We can't afford to give up a Lux now. We need to pay for the war if we're going to do it. So let's... I mean, if we get them to war them, at least our diplomatic penalties won't be so bad. Or maybe the person we care about is Denmark. 15 gold per turn. It's about the same price, isn't it? But I think it's cheaper for the Songhai. Let's check again. I don't like that. I mean, it's like 18 GPT. Maybe an open borders. No, 19. 20. It's actually a bit expensive. Let's just take it. And raise the thing. We don't want it. Not good. And we've got another general. And we've actually acquired marble as well, which is quite good. That's for our own quest. And now, are we building roads? Yes, we are. Good. And then we can move the cannons up. Back to... We first kill the Galias. If we can. And then we can bring the cannons up. And another general. Go under the Gatling gun. We've got a second general to bring to the front now too. And these workers can come with us to try and do whatever we need. This general actually shouldn't be there because we need a road. Oh, we've got a road. We need to train this... Train the worker, put the workers along in a bit of a train. There's lots of Danish frigates. Uh, we could actually perhaps, I mean, we'll probably get the worker back at some point. So let's come out and try a road. And then Persepolis is finished with the caravel. Now we can build our, fa oh, no. Um, we need to sell buildings. Windmill, nice. So do we finish the hermitage? Yeah, we did. Cool. We finished the Hermitage. Nice. So, we don't want the Constabulary. We do want a factory. Um, anyway, Wimpy says, Damn, I never thought of building roads during war against the enemy. It's So, you cannot use roads that are in enemy territory, actually. That is a thing. You can't use roads in enemy territory. But what we're doing is, the moment that Satsuma dies, we can run along these roads to go take Osaka and then Kyoto eventually. So, we're building roads in the expectation that we will be able to make use of them eventually. And we can probably bulb these in five turns. Do we go unhappy soon? No. Good. If we do, we can always pay for silver. Which maybe we should do anyway. 
pay for silver right now, whether we need it or not. Not in flat gold, though. So yeah, we're building we're building the roads preemptively because what we want is to be able to quick transport our units across Japan's roads. We can finish the road. We now love the king in all of our cities because we demanded marble. Apparently we've got a city connection. Satsuma, we can keep selling buildings. It's not doing anything because we're raising it. And now we just need to prepare for the war. So we can get up on here. And then perhaps get into here. Start pushing. This Gatling gun can take some heat. So let's move it up. And then we'll work on trying to kill some knights. Push the cannon. We need to push the cannon in range if we can. We might lose the cannon if we do that. Let's just do that for the moment. Now we might not lose the cannon. Actually, let's just pull the cannons up. Uh, none of these tiles are worth improving. Get the general up here. Loop around and see what's what down here. Uh, we now have, we now finally have this civil service farm. So yay! And then we keep the workers coming along. We can put a road up here as well and heal this. We will need this knight as our capture unit, but it'll come. In fact, we can move it up here at least. It's not a risk. And then we can build units. Uh, oh no, we, we can choose production, but like it doesn't even make a difference. Put a windmill in or something. Anyway, Wimpy says, I love that you have Askey and Harold, like the two most bloodthirsty and fierce looking Sith, but there's just a flower next to the, your, their icon saying like, yay, let's be friends. Yeah, it's kind of funny actually, that's true. Didn't even notice, but you are totally, totally right. I think we do bulb some of these writers in four turns once we get factories and we have an ideology. That's safe. This caravel now doesn't really have anything to do. You can bring it this way. Same with these two galleasses. So I'm glad we didn't go all in on that. We should think about frigating the Songhai though. And we've got an instant hill here. There goes Japan order. Take the instant hill for sure. We need to use these crossbows to kill that knight if possible. Which we can. We just need to move this knight out of the way. Let's go up there. We don't want to be in city bombardment range because that's our capture unit. Get our general in. And then we've got this worker now. It's kind of annoying. Maybe move one closer. Village. And then hit. And then this can move in. We've got three movement points on these cannons. So we can come here. Shoot. We can move in here. The city-state territory and shoot. And then... We can move this cannon up and just take the worker back and then prepare. Sounds good. We can stand on this and do we want to keep Osaka? Probably not. So we can raise that as well. And we've got this road up. Is that a road there? I think there is a road here. There is. We can repair the farm for another pillage next turn. And these workers can come over. Okay. Now we've got artillery. We can perhaps try and tech towards... I mean, if we want to go freedom, we'll need some of this stuff. But maybe we should look for oil if we want to do oil stuff. Not sure what to do with this worker yet. We'll just move it around a bit aimlessly. I would love to get this caravan. I don't know that we can, but I would love to get it. There's another scientist. Oh, we actually got this knight coming out. Uh, what do we got there? That's going to use all of our movements, is it? Yeah, unless we put a road down. Repair the tile and pillage again. We can't take this next turn, so we should probably kill what we can of the knight. This can actually move up here. And then we can kill the knight. And then just move this in. And that can sit. I mean, we can pillage this and then move back. And this pikeman's actually done. So that can occupy this space. And we've got another scientist in Persepolis. That's cool. Let's go and have a look at what Siam's military is like around there. Uh, we were sending this to Sousa. There's no point growing anymore. So let's send production. Send 134 after all. 
Cephalus grew and we didn't handle that properly, but hey, we can work this now. We can actually work this mine. Forgot about that. Um, and then what have we got? We've got a population point that can go here. Yeah, that's perfect. That's working everything we want. Oh, uh, we got some tile assignments balked at some point. Oh, here we go. We'll do it again. It's probably the capture of the city that screwed these ones up. Let me just lock these in. We need to convert everything over to production in the capital soon as well. We could even give up the golden science for a lumber mill. We actually want to give up the food for that, I think. Are we going to get the farm in Pazagarde? No. Are we grow in one? Also, no. Don't really want to. That's fine. And then we've got this. Not really a lot to do here. The workers just need to make sure we keep getting roads. So where's this road now to Japan? I don't really have... Apparently they don't have a road over to those cities. So let's go and get those. And we will keep the capital if we take it. Anyway, available username joins the stream today. Says you could just do autocracy. Then you could probably have the happiness to keep all the Japanese cities. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking actually. I was annoyed that the Songhai took autocracy. But I don't think that stops us from taking it. I don't think that stops us at all. Hopefully this city is ours next turn now. Let's use the cannons. Yeah, it looks it, doesn't it? Because then with the Gatling gun hit and then finally the knight. Okay, and we want to raise this one as well. Minus one happiness, but we're going to lose Satsuma soon. We can sell a factory here. And we can sell an amphitheater here. And then we can choose our ideology finally. And so let's go autocracy because we're doing some war. It would be nice to get statue. But we're doing some war, so let's go for autocracy. Why not? Join the Songhai for a moment. Take our free tenant. Probably wounded units do damage, maybe? Or no, we want the happiness first. It would be nice to take wounded units do damage at some point. We could also bulb all of our writers. Because they're worth quite a lot of culture. Let's do that. That would be quite nice. And then we can take un wounded units do more damage. I'm not sure we're going to be gold purchasing anything. We can take that. And then we can do another writer. And we can do one final writer. And then that gets us our thing next turn. We don't actually want the golden age to end. Actually, let's wait for it to end just in case we can get a natural one. But I don't think we want it to end. We don't want to redo that friendship with the Songhai. We should take a Satchap's Court now. And a military academy and a military academy. We're kind of good right now on our, our kind of train. This needs to be production to Persepolis. And let's go and see if we can find anything more about what that army is. And then in here we need to bring these crossbows up so we can start work. Uh, we've got 0 0.667. We can move on to... No, we can't. What about this? This can come up here. Uh, there's a cannon now from Japan as well. So we might have just lost our crossbow doing that. That seems okay. Let's try and convince them to steal a worker. Could convince them to steal two workers, actually. That would be quite good. There's a lot of units. We might need artillery to break through the rest. But at least we've gotten through two cities. Embargo Japan, proposed by the Songhai. Arts funding, pro proposed by Denmark. I don't think we want either. So let's be neutral. Anyway, Ruster says, Good evening, mate. First time watching the stream. Well, welcome to the stream today, Ruster. I'm glad you could make it. Uh... Yeah, we don't need to improve this. We can just move up with the workers. Next turn, we can. We, we need to sell iron again to Denmark. They're our friends. So I would love to be able to sell that for like 37 gold. And then, oh, apparently we've got some more deals. So what do we lose? We lost two civilians. So I think they took the bait, actually. We now have one more artist. So we've got three artists for super long golden. Yeah, 43 turns. Not happening. So, golden age... And we'll save the rest just in case we can do Golden Ages. But we need to take this now for the happiness, maybe. We, total War would be nice. I mean, when do we get any more policies? This is where No World's Fair is really hurting. Writer in 17 is a long way away. And we probably need the happiness first over the war policy. So let's take the happiness. And then, yeah, we've got a Golden Age. City connection established. Kill the Gatling gun because we need to make sure it stays in the action. I think. And we need to kill this samurai. So that we can take our own worker back. That's ours now. And we can actually take this profit. It, how many shots has it got? Four shot profit. 
Uh, take it. For sure. And then this pikeman can just sit. And then we need to get in a position to shoot this now. With our crossbows. And we also need to move the cannons forward. Cannon there seems okay. Cannon up here seems fine. Cannon over here. I guess it's okay, and this one can come up there. Sell one last building over here, the Colosseum. We need to sell a building in Osaka. That'll be the windmill. And then... Yeah, all this stuff passed anyway. And we grew here without really noticing, but we can work a factory slot now. And that's going to be production and science, come to think of it. So we should probably work both. So we will. And then in here, we can also work factory slots, probably over the market. We're going to grow so we can take off something that's pure production and work a factory slot again. And then in Persepolis, can we work factory slots? We absolutely can. So something like that. Um, we're going to grow in a while, though, in Persepolis. Kind of makes sense to work maximal production, though. This gold would be nice, probably better than working a trading post. Hello. Hello. Are you streaming? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm alive. I'm back. Okay. Hello. And then here we go. So, I think. Yeah, we found the other end of this continent now. I don't know that we build a road here. We need to build a road right down there. Oh, there's a road here. So, we've got a road connection now. This going all the way into Kyoto, which is nice. We need the knight to heal for sure. Anyway. Wimpy Assassin says, hey man, it was great watching the stream. I had a great time. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to go sleep. So, catch you live again soon. All right. Have a good sleep, Wimpy. Thanks for joining the stream today. It's been great to have you here. Anyway, Mostert says, um, why not support the embargo against Japan? Uh, we did say hello to Verusta, right? Hopefully, hopefully I remember to say hello. Yeah. But anyway, um, Mostert says, why not support the embargo against Japan? I mean, we don't need the embargo against Japan. It might have carried us some favor with AI, perhaps, but I didn't really feel like we expressly needed it. This is why we didn't choose it. Probably should have done, but I didn't feel like the diplomacy would be particularly useful at this point. And Verusta says, Persian Golden Ages are bonkers. Yeah, they absolutely are. They're excellent. We've got freedom golden ages right now and we don't have freedom so that's great um, we need to select a building let's just choose the windmill that we just deleted and move on open borders with korea sure they'll like us yeah we got autocracy friends yeah 14 turns until we get the next social policy which is a long way out before we get to the tier 5 thing now we will try and get prora we should try and get prora we might lose prora for the song high which is not good. Someone is already at flight. We need this instant heal to stay in the action. This can come back. Uh, no, we don't want to swap with the general. We need to lead the way with our Gatling gun if possible. This would be better though. And then we can shoot the cannon and then lead the way with the Gatling gun like that. And we can push the crossbow forward. And now we need to deal with what's down here. A Lancer that looks pretty annoying. Hopefully it will come and kill this crossbowman instead. Got this general that we never moved over. We should have done that. What can we do here? We can move on to the hill and shoot something. The Lancer again. Keep moving our profit home. Apparently we've got a manufactory in Osaka. Not that we want to keep it. Get rid of the university. Need to try and convince them to take some more workers if we can. And this cargo was going to where? That was going to Pasagado for production. Let's keep it that way. That Lancer looks annoying right now. We could do with not losing anything to the Lancer. Hopefully we don't. Dooza's done growing. That's fine. We've got everything we need in the city. And the military academy done here. We should get. We could try and get Brandenburg for a general. The Louvre for another golden age would be kind of crazy. But I think it's getting to that point where we should probably just build artillery. And in here we've done our satraps. Let's get a military academy. We need to try and capture Prora. Can we generate an engineer anywhere? The answer is no. We've generated too many. That's unfortunate. It would have been nice to get Prora. Denmark's also gone autocracy. We might not even get Prora. What do we lose? Crossbow. That's fine. We wanted to lose the crossbow. And that is another four-shot Austrian profit. I wonder if we can do something with these profits. Like plant. We can plant all the profits of faith. Yes, we can. 
We can plant all the prophets of faith. And then that way, we can actually use that to probably get enough faith to buy an engineer for Prora. So why don't we try and nick the other one if we can find a way to get it. That would be ideal. Okay, and this can come across the river. See if we can take the profit. Can kill this and take our worker back. General can move forward. That's not in danger. Samurai didn't want to take our worker. That's embarked. We can just do some damage. I think we've got all of our roads up though. So we're good with all of that. See if we can make them do crazy things with the workers. That's always fun to do. Hey, we've got this in our borders. Let's improve it. And we actually need to bring this over to see what's going on in Songhai territory. Because we can still frigate their expansions. The, com the city combat strength is low enough that that is a viable possibility. I think we need to do this Cocoa Trade with Denmark. We do? Good. Seven turn Golden Age. Anyway, um, friends with Korea? No, because everyone else... It's kind of gone. How much have we got? We've got 815 gold, so we can do exactly as available username has just suggested to us and upgrade our cannons to artillery before we go. I think we do do that. There is a couple of Songhai frigates, but maybe not very many. And we can get rid of this fort and make it faith and just go work like this uh, over the food tile. We can afford a one, a one starve. We can even, I mean, if we have to, we can even do something like this. We're doing fine in production for the cap right now. More artillery needed. Let's take accuracy and volley. Move this along. So, in Osaka, we should upgrade to artillery, like available username suggested. We need to make sure, yep, yeah, we can upgrade to artillery here. This can take an instant heal. That's perfect. Rifleman's pretty devastating now, but it's not that high combat strength. That Gatling Gun did take our worker as well. Uh, try and bait it again with another worker. We can take the profit. Uh, take it. And then we can kill the Lancer. But that does get our knight killed. That's, that uses up all of its movement as well. So I'd rather come back up here. Maybe do something like that and see if we can convince them to come out. Same with that worker. Try and convince the Rifleman to come in for it. We built our military academy. It would be nice to get Brandenburg. It's so much, Brandenburg's so much faster in the capital though. Five turns. Instead, we can build artillery in probably like three turns here. Yeah, so let's go Brandenburg where it's faster. I would love Prora, which means we do need to work the faith, and we will. How long for the engineer? 16 turns, but once we get a couple more profits back, perhaps we'll get more. We can't decide. Anyway, Avulian says, how do great profits work, and in what condition can they enhance religion, and or where can they make their building? So profits can build a holy site anytime they have four, move, four profit shots left on them. If they've got four profit shots... They can build a holy site. So that's what we did right now. There were four shots left on that profit, so we built a holy site. There's also four shots left on this one, so we can also turn this into a holy site. Now, in Jack Locus says, why would you raise a city overtaking control? I don't want to spend my happiness on these rubbish cities. They're cities that... Are, this one's so bad that we, we probably didn't want to found it ourselves. And then this one, again, it's just a bit of a drain on our happiness. We don't need them to take over Japan. I would keep Kyoto, but that'll be about the only city we keep, and that's because it's their capital. Once we take Kyoto, we can piece them as well for as much gold as we can. But yeah, in general, I'm just looking to raise it to keep the happiness going more than anything. So Prora doesn't go. Someone is at flight. So Prora could be going. Oh, we need to trade this wine. We actually lost our profit that we took. We can take it back. That's an okay. We got a wing to Saar from Hanoi. That's cool. Nice wing to Saar. Here's Broadway. Finished our military academy, so now we do want to build some artillery. The wing to Saar can take... The, no, we can't take the profit back there, but we can take the profit back here now. Oh no, let me reconsider. Right, we need to put a shot in first. So let's put a shot in with the RT. We can capture that, take it, and then we can just sort of move around and be kind of annoying. We need to set this artillery up and shoot. And then this one needs to move into position however we can to try and take on the city. Gatling gun there. We need to find a way to pillage the trade route and then shoot. And then this can go over and shoot. Yes, nice. And then this wing to Sark can come around for moral support. And one more artillery. Oh, we don't 
here. Here. Here, because we've got a Persia Golden Age, so we can move in and then shoot with the artillery. Sell another building and a sucker. 20 gold. And check out this frigate scenario. Yeah, there's no frigates in here at all. We could frigate some high coastals or battleship them. And then we can try and maybe bomber chain our way to Denmark. I mean, our tech's quite good, isn't it? Yeah, we're only actually 1% behind the Songhai. What did we lose? We lost the Knight. We did get the Prophet out now. We're being surrounded by a lot of units, which means we need to kill the units, probably. Anything that's in the water is probably worth a kill. Crossbows, I would have said they're not worth a lot right now, but they actually kind of are. This artillery, what can we do? Set up and shoot with this. Shoot back with that. Move this here. Set up. Move this here. Keep the general close. We can't shoot anything with this, can we? Yeah, with this one. Not until we get vision. We can shoot workers. Now we have vision. Good. 44 damage. This is why artillery is so, so good. And this cargo was going where? Persepolis. We actually need it to do that right now. Oh, there's all the army. But it's actually not that much military up in Gen. So we could consider going after that. We can wait here and then maybe pillage next turn. It's best to not wait there, actually, though. Try and convince them to take that back. Start on cotton. Once we have their capital, we can piece them. These two artillery in range win this one pretty quick in Kyoto. We lost the crossbow and the worker. That's fine. That's what we're happy losing. Hopefully we've got the instant heal on this um, wing to Sar as well. It's currently our only capture unit that I've just realised. Which is pretty bad play of us. We should get a cavalry for a capture unit. So we need to make sure this wing to Sar stays alive. Which probably involves killing some units first. I mean, stepping this Gatling gun up to get a shot in there and pulling this back if we can. And we can get a pillage off. And then we can... Oh, man, that's really unfortunate. They've got a, an artist right there. It's a shame we can't capture it for ourselves. Just heal that. We need to try and convince them to take another worker, but we've already got enough workers there for the convincing. Keep moving the profit back. Another artillery up. Probably don't need many more. Here goes the Louvre as well. There goes the modern era. Yep, work that. And I guess we're kind of done here too. We could probably plant a profit in that city if we need it. I'll back around Urhus before we go. And delegates where now? Again, Denmark. We want them. We want to keep them our ally. Still 15 turns for that engineer. We're, like, we're actually going to research Prorotech and can probably build it before then. Civilian was captured. Good. But we've kept the wing to Sar alive, right? Yeah, we did. No other RT piece. And we do. We lost the city now. We don't have vision on Kyoto anymore. We could move in with the artillery. Pillage. And then do what's what. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but could be something we do. We've got two turns of Golden Age left. We need to kill units really around here. Ideally. How do we kill some units? Like that. That gets this killed. There. Pillage and then give it back. And then we actually do have vision on Yoto right now, so we can put some more shots into it. Need one more cavalry. Profit comes back into our territory. Yeah, any one of these would be fine, right, to put the profit on. Yeah, they would. There we go. Faith. And now we're down to nine turns for the engineer, and this can move up. Okay. Wing to Sar's all good. Don't really need to cross the river yet, and we need to keep it away from the Lancer. We don't need to get a road here. Get a road there, I guess. We're probably going to lose the Gatling gun next turn. That's okay. Yeah, we did. Oh, man. AI builds Brandenburg. Um, we were one turn away. Wow. Well, we got a load of gold for it, at least. We can take Medic with a cavalry. And bring it along the road for a moment. We need to move in to take 
Kyoto. We can probably capture it this turn if we can get enough RT shots on it. Yeah, we can actually. That's just ours, isn't it? We need to make sure that we don't get a bad roll though. We do anything to try and get this down. Yeah, we can. So we can create a puppet here. And now we could try and piece Japan, can we? Can we? Seems okay. Our next target... I mean, Austria 46 techs. Songhai 50. We are 49. So I feel like we could piece Japan now if we wanted to. Kagoshima is not a particularly great city. That's really unfortunate Seoul in there as well. On kind of like this really gimmicky inland lake. Our next target probably needs to be the Songhai. We can do that with flight. Build cavalry. Probably need to build other stuff now. And slow down just for the minute. Songhai has got a... They don't have... I mean their army is quite sizable. We should pay for them toward Denmark. Apparently not. Will Denmark war Songhai? He'll die. Yes, they will for 10 gold per turn and cotton. And no, a 10 gold and cotton. Oh. Yeah, well, let's do that. We can actually give away 3 coal because we don't need the coal. And then, like, maybe 2 coal just in case. Let's check. Like, wait, let's check this new capital we took just in case we can build. We've already got a factory there, so we can give away all of our 3 coal. So, we can send Denmark to war with the Songhai. For don't need the 10 gold, don't need the cotton. Open borders is fine because we're autocracy. Then we can give up the three coal and maybe like five iron. Good. They actually still want iron as well. So we can try and give up like four for 148. Good. Okay, so that's got that war going. So hopefully they'll slam their units into each other to oblivion. And we now need to build more things in our cities. Artillery would be nice for rocket arties later. We should probably build things like heroic epic. It would be nice to build the hero heroic epic here. We can build the Circus Maximus here. And perhaps after this artillery, we can build the East India Company here. Might as well build it before. In fact, we could do with maybe the Musician's Guild would be nice. Don't know. We need culture. And we can try and peace Japan. Ooh. Yeah, they're willing to give us some stuff now. Or do we just like keep killing them for the moment and try and sell a city to the AI? Like sell a city to Austria, perhaps? It might make sense to go to Austria next, though. If we wanted to do that, we need to go through Nagoya. Austria won't have the same tech we do. We could liberate Budapest. Vienna's a real tough cookie, though. That looks like it wants to get taken with bombers. But we should take what we can with artillery while we can. Get road here. Uh, we can't take workers with any of these units. We do need to shoot stuff with these, though. Um, so we can bombard that, and then bombard that. Worker in the sea, that's pretty exposed. Uh, repair that, because this is actually a good city. And then we can move these artilleries over. We might as well set up in case we need to shoot. Right, and heal that. And so we've got a 9 pop Kyoto, which is probably not a bad capital. It would be nice to peace Japan. Would like to take Kagoshima, actually. So maybe we take Kagoshima, and then he wants our spices now. Well, oh, we, we were getting Japan spices. Nice. We can actually trade for Denmark's incense then. Oh, no, we can't. We probably just gave away what we could. We need spices. Yeah, let's keep that deal going. We need spices for a cultural city-state of Brussels. And we just connected it. So that means we get the nice culture boost from friends. Good. Hey, we've got the culture lead. That's good news. Medic. We don't have the three promotion tenant yet, actually, do we? Which is something we need to remember. The wing to Sol, what does it get? Formation and heavy charge. That's interesting. Let's take medic. We need to use this artillery, perhaps, to go there. And then we can move. Take an instant heal. Move on to the worker. Move up one and shoot the cannon. There and shoot the cannon. What can we do? We can probably go there. We actually probably want to go there for Kagoshima. Bring these artilleries over. Yeah, this one can move up a lot. So we're going to take that. Then we want to move up here and set up and then shoot. And then this artillery wants to move up there. Ready to go there next turn. 
actually got a road for this as well. We're not in Persia Golden Ages anymore. We need to remember that. All these tiles that are kind of useless. Let's improve Kyoto. Get rid of the general at least. And then this cavalry is another capture unit. Yeah, if we want to kill the Songhai, we could do frigates. Maybe we should do frigates. Maybe we should do frigates. Make sure we got this road improved. I think we do. Yota's yeah, in resistance for eight more turns, yep. Yeah. Engineer in seven. There goes statue for Austria. We're gonna get flight in two though, we might just be able to hard build the thing. Okay, let's bombard. I think we can pillage and then set up. This can just kill that. Then we can set up and bombard. Yeah, just bring artillery into the city. Bring up a worker, move up that crossbow to try and convince them to maybe shoot it. We can. We're getting all of our stuff pillaged by Japan's units right now. Bring this artillery over to try and deal with it. The cab for extra city capture in case we need it. This cargo is going where? As a guard production. Let's keep improving tiles. Yeah, there's only frigates near Gen. Not too much navy from Songhai, no, because we want to attack you next. Definitely these people keep warring Denmark. There goes Eiffel. Hopefully Pro is still here, it is currently. I should just built an artillery in the cap. Long. Eight turns. We would engineer it faster, so let's save the engineer for it. We've got an upgrade here with that artillery. Probably didn't probably shouldn't have finished that artillery actually. I think that was a mistake. And we can raise Kagoshima as well. Oh no, we want we actually want to we actually do want to we actually wanted to puppet it. Because there would have been a bomber staging post for Budapest, but I don't think that it matters. Let's take Brussels, see if we can keep them culturally aligned. There's Brussels. Yep, yeah, there's Brussels. Okay. We got a Circus Maximus up, so that's good. Maybe grab a one-turn harbour. Two-turn harbour here as well. And if we're raising, we might as well sell the windmill. Replant, I guess, if we need to. And now we're in for flight. So we can get oil and then go for labs. Perhaps. I'm not sure yet. We need oil, so let's go for oil first up. Probably bring some of these generals back. We need to get oil online where we can. We can peace Japan now. Where's their capital? Wait, what? Where's Japan's capital? Three cities. Oh, their capital's down here now. We can definitely peace them. Yeah, he'll actually give us a city. So we can take the 172 gold instead. Do we want to? Or do we want to take Nagoya? Nagoya would be a nice staging post. And we can keep it puppeted. Actually kind of interesting. If we need a staging post, we'll have one with Nagoya. For taking something like Graz. Probably just want to... Because this gold's not worth a lot. But nor is Nagoya. Let's just take 172 gold and be done with it. Okay. That's that complete. Kyoto can actually be a nice city if it's going to grow. I guess we can get Luxus improved and things. We've even got more coal from it. I think we remembered that. And now the question is whether or not the next war is Austria. Probably is. It'll be nice to work through Austria while we have the tech lead on them. Go through Budapest. With what army we have. And then we do need to think about the Songhai, but we've got them embroiled in a war now. So we need to make sure we get this road going, but we can. Let's denounce Japan back. Not only if I open borders with Austria anymore. Austria's top score, but they're behind in technology. Put that on the artillery. Keep selling buildings. Actually building the Musicians Guild, I forgot we were doing that. 
A seaport would be nice so that we could build naval units even faster. One more social policy next turn. And then perhaps the writer comes in five and that helps boost us along, boost us along to one. Bring the artillery over. See no bombers yet over there, which is good. So if we want Austria, we need to set the artillery up for pushing in. Let's maybe move it along. It's pretty difficult to go through Budapest, but hey, we've got these as well. They're frigates for 120 gold. I mean, a couple of frigates might be quite handy for... My Budapest is 81 combat strength. Oh, we've got some gold. Let's use it. Uh, and this needs to heal. Okay. Japan really doesn't like us, but he's not exactly going to do much. Just need to kill these guys somehow. Maybe it's real bombers. Or like, kill Tondibi. Finish the harbour. Let's get a seaport. We can get a harbour in the cap as well, perhaps. This general can wait for oil. We've got our caravels queuing up to look at these Songhai cities. Trading post. Wing to Sars finally done. Austria's come up here now. We do want to capture Budapest. and Actually, we'll have to keep Budapest because it was a diplomatic marriage city. So that's one to remember. Do we go for it? They've got quite a lot of combat strength. Then maybe they've taken that freedom policy. The super high combat strength cities. You need to do this though. I mean, we've upgraded these frigates. We've got They've got these two units around here. Which is potentially damaging to us. We could defend though. As opposed to being offensive with the frigates actually. Something like that for instance. Would be quite good. I mean we've got Arty. It would be a real waste not to use them. We'll see. Next turn perhaps. We should try and do another golden age. We're going to get one more at some point in the future. Yeah, let's do a golden age. And then go to war with Austria. Austria why not? That Galias is never going to get out. Song Haiku in Hanoi failed. Good. And now we have biology and electricity. Nice. That was that Danish research agreement coming through. So we can now take... I mean, we could take purchasing now because we actually have some gold. And then we've got lots and lots of oil. So who's just settled on oil? Nice. We don't actually have a worker around here. We've got one here. Check out our oil again. Plenty of oil. Pazagarde settled on, settled on oil as well. And then we got those two oil wells. Oh, we got loads of oil. Don't really need to worry about oil then. We'll just improve it. I guess we do do something cool with bombers. So we finished electricity. Oh, that's because we didn't have any tech queued up. We could perhaps instead try and go straight for bombers. Maybe. Or battleships. Battleships would be good to take on the Songhai. Can we get the capital with battleships? No. We would need bombers for that. So let's just go straight bombers. The so bombers is there. Railroad for the production bonus. And now we can choose production off the seaport. Stock exchange is more gold. Cargo would be helpful. Stock exchange here. Seaport in one. Seems kind of okay. But we really should be going for full military production soon. Okay, we've got vision. We need to move artilleries up. And then let's... Why not? Let's go to war with Austria. Okay. And then we can keep shooting. This is going to take some time to get through. So we might as well declare our war now. And then figure out what we're doing about it afterwards. Hopefully those um, privateers can get baited in and we can kill them next to these frigates. One research agreement might be good with, Jet with Denmark. 25 turns, we could still be here. There's all those Danish frigates coming our way. We need to swap these over. Actually, we've got an instant heal, so we don't. Kill that. We lost our caravel. Oh, Austrian city-state allies. Okay. Bogota, where are they? Oh, they're over here. That's fine. Good. And then we've got all of these ironclads, but they don't do anything. Galias does. So let's shoot the Galias and then we can 
start shooting. We can't actually shoot Budapest because we don't have vision. The Wing Tassar will die if we put it inside combat strength range, though. I mean, we can kill this thing first anyway. And then we can make our way in there later. A stock exchange would be nice. We could buy like four great war bombers right now. I'd rather try and buy real bombers if we can. Let's get some stock exchanges up. This can be for... I mean, this needs to be production. Where are we not sending production? Um, Pazagarde to Sousa 1. And so Sousa needs from Persepolis. And we can actually probably try and get a road up to Budapest. Next turn, we can start bombarding Budapest. We need to get artillery round. This is where being able to use those frigates would have been helpful. We've got a trading post on that oil. Friendly trade route plundered. That's not ours. Good. That's a Songhai one. Production to Sousa. Frigates. Kill the privateer. And we have finally killed that city. We probably need to deal with these ironclads. We can. It feels a bit weird shooting ironclads right now, but that is the situation that we're in. We might need to embark some units to go and do the Budapest thing. That's fine. That's why we're trying to release some space. Get over it. <laughs> Still got a wing to Saar down here. And Japan hates us. Aski is plotting against us, is he? Well, that could just be Denmark doing Denmark things. They do that. What do we lose? Another caravel. Oh, I see. Yeah, both the caravels we had sitting around. It's fine. Oh, um, wait, what? We can't purchase the engineer because we've got units in all of our cities. F, indeed. Oh, we don't actually even have a religion in the capital. Or Pazagarde, but we do have in Sousa. Okay. Oh, wait. And now what have we got? As the turn rolls over, shoot the Lancer. And then we can shoot the cannon. We need to be able to hit Budapest, which means we need to be able to see. Let's get in the water and bring the frigates over. Now that those two pesky units have been taken care of, scientists can stay here, actually. We can heal for a turn. And we finished the road, so let's get one more road. Actually grew in Pazagarde. Okay, well, yeah, we can work the oil. And we can move towards bombers. Probably needs these techs. So, how fast can we kill Budapest? We've only got two artillery shooting. We lost our crossbow that was in the water. It's a bit expected. I wanted to try and sand it out, but it was probably quite a realistic thing to think about. We probably should have built Prora not in the capital. I don't know why I moved it all the way to the capital there. Okay, we can now shoot some more of this stuff. More accuracy, maybe. And then shoot the Galias. And then there's just a wing to Sar left. Stock exchanges are now done. Don't need hospitals or museums and stuff. So let's go for another cargo ship while we've got it. And then in here, don't need Prora. We can start building Great War Bombers, actually. That's what we need to do now. Building the Great War Bombers. We need open borders with the Songhai, actually. We can do that now. And world religion, Islam, sounds good to us. Okay. So, progress is being made, slowly but surely, against Austria. It's kind of just funneling units in right now. Anyway, let's get Prora in. And then Engineer to hit that. This can go for gold, so we'll send it to Persepolis. We've actually got more production now because we completed Railroad. Shoot some more cannons as well. We can bring these frigates in. I think we've got another general. We can use the general to try and break into Austrian territory. That could be a thing. Like one great general citadel to try and get through that mountain pass. And the cargo is done, so we need great war bombers. We don't actually have the policy yet, but we will have it next turn. Can we start damaging Budapest soon? 
Hopefully. Up still more Austrian units. Uh, Vrestra, so Vrosta says, could you show policies, please? Yes, I can. So, here's the policy tree. So, we're full tradition. We are rationalism three, and then we're about to go autocracy five on total war. Oh, this great war bomber finished. That. That we didn't want to do, but hey, that's there. Uh, we need real bombers, though. Can we not rebase this? Can we just bowl for real bombers? That would help us push through. I don't know if we need labs at some point. We've got targeting. Still need to kill units, I think. But I'll, I'll just get back to the policies in a minute. Road, please. There's a merchant there as well. That'd be crazy. Pillage, perhaps. And then we can bring this cab up. Take the merchant. We can actually move this in, then the artillery, and see what we can do with it. So, yeah, social policies. So, we went. Um, we're autocracy 5, tradition 4, rationalism 3, and exploration 1 right now. So, quite a fairly usual coastal thing, I think. This great war bomber needs to go somewhere. It cannot be rebased. Uh, can it rebase from Sousa? Maybe. And this needs to go for gold to Viborg. As much gold per turn as we can get. For sure. And yeah, let's keep buying that silver for the moment. We've got loads of happiness. We've actually got loads of scientists. Austria wants to give us loads of stuff apiece. That must mean their army is pretty small. Do we lose? Just another unit. There's actually a great war infantry here now. So that means we're going to need real bombers fast. Can we rebase these? No, we can't. We need real bombers, really. So we do want military, though. So let's take Claw Switch's legacy. 25% attack bonus. Sounds perfect to me. We actually kind of desperately need real bombers. So. Maybe let's burn some of these and try and get them. Radar next turn. Perfect. And we are going to get one more artist for a golden age so we can keep our Persia golden age going for the moment. This general can come forward. I think we've got a road up here now. We do. Which means I think we can move artillery in and shoot on the same turn. Yeah, we can. Which is what we needed. We do need to get rid of this Great War Infantry though. Okay, that's that dead. Now we can shoot with these two. Budapest taking some hits. Kill that. Shoot the Prophet. Don't think so. Yeah, it's not really worth a lot of damage with those frigates. More Great War Bombers though. And we can just spam some of those for a while. What are your thoughts on Aesthetics Opener for more artists, says Wasta. So my thoughts on Aesthetics Opener for more artists is kind of like... We could have done it. But... Right, I mean, Exploration Hammers is highly, highly, highly valuable for a coastal empire like ours. So in that scenario, we opted to... Do we have any more scientists lying around? We actually do have one in the cap. Okay. We'll generate one more soon anyway. Thinking about what we do here once we get to Radar. It'd be nice to get to Nanotech at some point. What do we lose here? I think they've attacked the artillery here. Yeah, they did. We're now into real bombers. So that's going to help us get the breakthrough. So upgrade that. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. Upgrade this. And then, yeah, peace treaty expired. But we, we don't really have any interest in that. And now, what do we do with the artillery? We still need to kill these things. Back this up. We could do with putting some damage on the city. Need to move in an artillery piece. I don't know that anything can... I mean, we need to move this one in, I think. Oh, no. Yeah, we didn't have a road there, of course. So we're actually not getting good shots on Budapest this turn. But we're making some making some difference now. We need more Great War Bombers again. Where's the Great War Bomber? Oh, the real bombers this time. Good. We can shoot, but uh, nothing useful. So let's get that on the road. Move this over. Yeah, this can't shoot anything useful. Need a road here. We've actually got a road. We need a road there. Maybe we can general in if we decide we need it, but we don't right now. We can just heal that for a turn and sleep that. And now choose research. Rocketry for rocket arties would be kind of good. 
Alternatively, we could try and get something like labs if we want to push ourselves towards stealth bombs in the end. We actually need a capture unit in Budapest. It's not something that I was thinking about, but something that probably will become important. Oh, damn it, I've screwed this up again. Need to pillage that this turn. The cavalry. And now we've got real bombers. So the real bombers can come and do some damage. I think we can hit it from Kyoto. We can probably put all of our bombers in. We'll take bombardment promotion. Because typically the way that wars with airplanes work. Is that the person who has their melee units left at the end. Is the one who wins the war. So we're taking bombardment promotion. To make sure that we can kill all of our opponent's melee units. And that will ensure we win it. Let's up. Can we fire here? Not on anything useful. Lost an artillery piece. That's okay. We need more bombers. But we also do need a ship. So why don't we take ourselves one privateer? And that can be our capture unit if we need it. Because those bombers are going to break in ASAP. They're going to be really devastating. Anyway. Jack Loco says, would you ever place scientists instead? Yeah, so on deity difficulty, you don't really want to place your scientists any later than turn 100. The reason being is because of how long is left in the game. So uh, we need to shoot. What can we do? Shoot Budapest, I guess. Yeah, this thing is going down. We can actually capture it this turn. We might lose it again. Yeah, we'll probably lose the city if we don't kill some units around it. So let's put like, maybe one frigate shot on the city. And then maybe some of these shots with the artillery. And this artillery. I mean, this cab's going to die if we don't do anything with it. So let's take the city. And then we can create a puppet. Uh, we can have Coastal Raider here. And apparently we can get logistics. But let's take movement instead. Bring it over. And then these artillery pieces, they can shoot some of these Sassars. We've got nothing left. But we can, we've got a road up now. We can probably try and get one more road. We might lose the city next turn, but that's okay because we're bringing stuff over. It's a shame we couldn't liberate Budapest. Yeah, it was able to get slammed to death. But that's okay because this privateer comes in two turns to take it back again. And at the end of the day, we don't actually want the city to be too big. We've got air repair. We should start thinking about working on the Songhai soon. What can we shoot here? Something like that. And then we can maybe try and bring the artillery through by swimming it. And then these bombers don't even know what to do with them. Apparently we've got vision on this Hussar even though we can't see it. We can kill the Gatling gun. This one needs to shoot a worker. Because it needs air repair. And then we need to try and get vision on probably Klagenfurt with the spy. So let's go for Klagenfurt. But yeah, would you ever play scientists instead? So it's about how much time is left in the game. On day to difficulty, planting them any time after really turn. We need paratroopers. Planting really any time after turn 100 really doesn't re doesn't really work out that well for you because they don't the scientists the science they generate doesn't have enough time to pay back what you could have got from just bulbing them later on. There's a privateer. We need to bomb first if possible. Take the city now. Create another puppet. And now we see the final Hussar that can take the city back. We actually have this cavalry in Kyoto. So we should, can and should have brought that along sooner. Now these artillery pieces can come down to try and support on Graz. General coming through. Yeah, all of this stuff moving along quite nicely. What's that? It's an artillery. Brigitte can also come, in, come near Budapest. I guess it can't come in. We've got some more bombers. These can go straight into Cla Budapest. Nope, can't reach. Can these bombers reach? Again, keep taking bombardment line promotions. Yeah, so we can reach Budapest from the cap. Have we got any bombers we didn't use here? Yeah, we didn't use this one. Move that to Budapest. And then this one can come over to Kyoto. Got another oil improved. We can keep improving the oil, but we've got so much we don't need it. Can't go anywhere with that. Frigate's useless. And this thing. Oh, we, we, we got another cab from the city state that was. So we can bring this over as well. Choose production more. We need paratroopers for the moment. 
We might start needing fighters at some point. What's the range from Persepolis? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so we need to try and capture Tondibi by ourselves. And take double cover on this paratrooper. Para drop it onto a road and then move all the way along the road. Choose production. One more paratrooper for sure. This cargo can go back for production. Make sure we're working high production. Uh, yeah, go for some more oil. And then what can we do? So we need to get vision on Austrian things right now to bomb them. So there we go. Things to bomb. Great War Infantries. They'll take some damage. We can maybe walk up. Oh, there's more stuff here. Get a cannon and a pikeman, perhaps. And then cross the river. We can keep moving these. I mean, these artillery could be used for Klagenfurt. Because they're not going to be all that useful for getting the other city. I think. Let's set up there. We can actually... I mean, we can't take the worker, otherwise I would... And then the general can come along for the ride. We've got three bombers. Don't really want to shoot the worker. What can we bomb? Nothing that we can bomb, so I guess we have to wait. And then this privateer can actually get out of here. Six bombers in Busan. Oh no, four triplanes in Busan. We're just going to have to wait there because I've filled the city up with stuff. Wait. So anyway, DJ joins the stream today. Welcome, DJ Coolmaster. Says, hi, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks, DJ. How are you? Kind of happy it's Friday, chilling with this Civ game right now. Trying to see if we can dispense with the AIs. I don't know. I don't know if we've made a mistake with going for lab tech here. Probably, I mean, it, it probably gets us to stealth faster, which probably is going to be where we win this game. Where can we land here? Yep, land there. This can now power drop. Maybe we move into Graz because we can probably take the city soon. And this can keep moving. Oh, that one just... Oh, I ran that one as opposed to power dropping. I thought it was the other one. Whoops. Oil wells. Keep the privateer away in case we want to go after the Songhai. And we need to move more artilleries across. Can we... We need to kill this great war infantry. Uh, yeah, nice. Okay. And now we can shoot the city. We'd like Persia Golden Age this thing. Yes, we can. Move up there. Move in there. Bring this along. Up there. We can shoot Klagenfurt here. And then we've got one more bomber shot. And then over here, we can, I guess, move our one. <laughs> Finally got air repair on this bomber. The one that we mistakenly built before getting our social policy. We can fin oh, we can't actually finish off those units, so we have to bomb Graz. That's fine. We've got no problems with killing a city. At all. Okay, so Suze actually grew again, would you believe? We can probably work a factory slot. No, a market slot. And we finished a paratrooper. Let's get another one, and then we might need to think about some fighters. This is done. Continues to be production. Let's grab a couple of fighters in Persepolis. Might need them. Um, we can just wait here, I think. I need to get too hasty. Does Graz die next turn? I don't think so. I don't think we've got enough bomber firepower. We might. It's 80 combat strength, so we genuinely might. If we focus everything on the city, we could do it. But we do need to kill these units. Anytime they leave these infantry of, like wide open to us like this, we should really take the opportunity to kill them. We can actually start shooting with this RT now as well. And here, I guess we can capture Klagenfurt. Looks like we might be able to do it. Because we've still got three bomber shots. No, we can't. So what do we do? This actually, I mean, if this dies... We wouldn't be able to capture the city. So let's move back. This paratrooper can continue to sit. And then we've got this paratrooper that I guess is just running to the front now. And another one. Again, double cover. We can para drop right here. And then walk into our territory. Ready to para drop next turn across the ways. 
No, we don't want to declare war on the song high. So what I could can maybe distract. Anyway, DJ says at the moment I'm just installing the open dev test for humankind, so I'm gonna play that tomorrow after work. Oh, that's kinda of cool, actually. That's kinda of cool. Well, I'm glad that we're installing stuff for humankind. Anyway, um Jack Loco says, Do you think all of Austria's cities are worth taking? No, I don't think so. We only need enough to get range on Denmark. And eventually all of Korea's stuff. We actually did lose our unit here, but we can just power drop behind the lines. We've got a fighter. That needs to be interception and then probably air repair. And we can transfer that to anywhere. Can we transfer it to Budapest? No, it needs to jump across from Kyoto, perhaps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, we're going to have to use Sousa as a bit of a staging point. That's fine. We can kill all of these Sars around Graz. And this Great War Infantry again. Austria's still got quite a lot of units. They're certainly not giving up easily. But yeah, I mean, I want to take enough of Austria's cities to... We probably should have used the artillery on Klagenfurt. I want to take enough of Austria's cities to one, cripple them, but two, we also need their stuff. We actually lost a general. Oh, well. Not entirely sure we're worried about that. This fighter is going to have to come via Sousa. And this was production of Pasigado, so that can continue. We can actually shoot Klagenfurt anyway here. Klagenfurt's going to die next turn. So we won't worry about much. I don't suppose we captured any good wonders in this city. Image Castle and Statue of Zeus. Well, Statue of Zeus helps. And yeah, Klag Graz is going to be dead next turn. Good. So we'll take Graz. And then that gives us in pole position to take Vienna. And that'll be Austria mostly handled. If he wants peace... Yeah, we just need to do enough around here so that we can get in position to take Korea's capital off the Songhai. Um, this fighter... Actually, we probably want to keep the fighter in Persepolis. Because we kind of figured that... We're not really seeing a lot of resistance from Austria. So it's probably better to... Keep all of that stuff around there for the moment being. Right, bombers. We can't bomb a lot. This artillery's actually got better range than our bombers in that city. So let's take Graz we can we might be a little bit short on damage oh no we're not create a puppet because we need that to reach vienna and then we can actually just smash that by walking across the river we can move this in try and block over here we can kill the city bombers are better bombarding the land units so let's use the artillery to take it down create a puppet and then we can use this to try and finish off whatever's left yeah, like that. That looks good. Nice. So we got that. And now we need the spy into... I mean... Into Vienna for sure. Because that's where we need to go next. There is Vienna up here. There. So nice. So we're going into Vienna. And now we do need rocketry probably. And then we can maybe push for like nanotech for the win or something. Maybe... We, I mean, we don't we don't need... Ro Let's take it just in case we want rocket arties. We need to think about the Songhai. We could use battleships on them too. Another fighter for interception, interse interception and air repair. This scientist is available. We've actually researched lab tech and we didn't build any labs. Why not take a moment to build some labs everywhere? And then we can... World ideology autocracy sounds good. Extra votes for us. Okay, what's going on over here? Doesn't look like there's much risk of losing our stuff. We need to get units into Graz. Is it safe? Absolutely, it's safe. So let's move all of these bombers over. Yeah, this one. And, oh, no. I'm having trouble using my hotkeys right now. Hopefully these bombers are enough to take down Vienna. They will be so long as there isn't any fighter defense. But we'll, we'll find that out next turn, I think. Let's just block for that Hussar. And then we can maybe just kill this Great War Infantry. Because we need to defend our city of Klagenfurt. And get this out of the city too. Take a worker maybe. And then these fighters can go and intercept. And then the artillery. I don't know what this does. Uh, and then we need to get into position to capture to take Hong Kong. So that's getting the RTs up there. And there. And this bomber. What does it do? Shoot a Hussar. That sounds good. Anyway, 
Alex Satter joins the stream today. Hello, Alex. He says, have you over-explained air warfare in your games? Also, hello. Sad I missed the start. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, we started a little bit late, and we're kind of progressing through this game now. We we actually skipped labs to go bombers, and then came back for labs. It's kind of interesting. We had a really incredibly fast start, which allowed us to do that. I think we just got world ideology through. I think, for now, the best thing to do here is to shoot units with all of this stuff and make sure to protect our city. Yeah, I could think about over-explaining air, air warfare, actually. It's not something that I've done a lot of before. We need food to Persepolis again. And then another interception. We've got too, much, too many air units right now. We need to get vision on Vienna. So let's keep, start moving in. We don't want to bomb the city yet while we've got some great war infantries, though, to bomb. And then we can drop one more paratrooper in here for vision. No air units, but we do need to kill land units that are around the city. That's an infantry down. That's this paratroop. We can actually pillage this and then move back. So we're not within city bombardment range for the turn. This one paratrooper needs to heal. And then we can take interceptions again and air repair. We've got four fighters in Persepolis. That feels like enough. Um, we need to go on to the next turn, do we? Yeah, we, we're trying to get units in position to take Hong Kong. Our general is exposed right now. That was a bad thing to do. Okay, but anyway, I could I could think about over-explaining some air warfare. Hello. Austria's trying it right now. Austria's trying it. That cannon is what could break the back of this city defense. So why not put one hit on the... Come on. What? That's our own unit. Sorry, that's our cannon. So drop that on the cannon. And then we can go take out a Hussar. And then we take out maybe another Hussar. And we can actually shoot that here. We don't have vision on Hong Kong yet. But we can just hit... Yeah, we can do that and then wait and move these artillery over as well. Bombers over here. We need to work on Vienna. So let's kill the infantry because Austria is very nicely offering the infantry up to us. And pillage their iron for health. And we actually even believe uh, yep sleep we can even get one shot on the city again vienna let's start breaking it down 27 damage nice and we can take sovereignty for gold from science buildings and hopefully eventually uh, there's bregens i don't think attacking Bre bregens is a good idea for us but we've moved on for it anyway we can step back now nice um but, what do we do? Yeah, we still haven't lost Klagenfurt. We are going to lose Klagenfurt, though, but we're in a perfectly fine position to take it back. Uh, we need to take take range now to make sure that we don't get held up by operational range constraints. Maybe kill that, kill that. This artillery can shoot this. And then this artillery can shoot that. Not really doing a good job there, but we keep this paratrooper next to Klagenfurt so we can take it back. And now we need to take Vienna. Seems to be no air defense, so we can happily bombard Vienna at will. Looks like it will go down in about three or four turns, maybe three. I forget how much it heals. And this paratrooper can now come in as well. We can actually try and take this trade route of Austria. Yeah, this worker doesn't need to do a lot now. I think we've got all of our oil improved. Artillery piece. We can perhaps like back up and do this or something but we don't really need to worry about much research lab done so we can actually work our research lab slots let's do that i guess we can also work a stock exchange we can over here we can work this that's just extra production and then is there anything here we give up Maybe something like that for an extra production and then in the capital it's a two-turn lab we need to go back to bombers um, but Jack asks, if you take the city that has the Statue of Liberty and you've got autocracy, do you get its bonuses? Yes, you do. So the one, so the only restriction with the wonder is that you need to to build it. You need to have, you know, the requisite social policies and stuff. But we don't build it; we capture it. So that's something completely different. So we actually do get the bonuses of statue by taking it, and hopefully it is in Austria's capital. That would be very nice indeed. Vienna, is it going to go down? We can actually move in because it is going to go down next turn. Just heal. These bombers, we just need to make sure our, our artillery don't die. 
probably. And then we can shoot with this artillery piece. Take out the Hussar. Infantry are deadly to artillery, so we will have to move back. Not that we really value our artillery much anymore. Need to move this back just in case for safety. Yeah, these artillery pieces are a bit outdated now. Um, but yeah, I could I could try and talk a little bit more about how we do how we do air warfare actually. I mean the I think the basics with air, air warfare really is that the most important thing to remember is that bombers are OP and they're OP because they accumulate. They're not OP because they're super high strength or because of any other like ludicrous abilities that they may or may not have. They are OP because they are super high combat strength. So what that well not no so not because they have combat strength but because they accumulate is why they're overpowered. We can shoot here. And then we can maybe bomb this infantry to get it dead. Uh, we're just going to have to sit, pillage, and then sit. And then we will kill Vienna, I think, this turn. But they're OP because they accumulate. So the, the most key thing to remember about bombers is to not get them killed. I would say that is like the number one high priority thing that you need to remember to make sure that your bombers are allowed to accumulate and be as OP as they are destined to be. Leaning, Petra, Statue, Stonehenge, Artemis. Wow. That is some really, really cool stuff we've got. And an AA gun. Nice. We might actually need that AA gun later. Um, What do we need now of Austria's cities? We need Hong Kong, probably. And they've diplomatic marriage Riga. But that's the most important thing to remember, really, about bombers, is they're OP because they can accumulate. So what you want to do with the bombers is to try and allow them to accumulate as best you can. And generally, you do that by making sure not to lose them. It means, yeah, accumulate as in keep on leveling up, but also just get more. So the reason why crossbows are overpowered is because you can build loads and they can shoot your opponent without them being able to shoot you back. Can we give up food now? We actually can give up food. Let's try and give up food for some stuff like this. Um, so it's about, yeah, so it's because they can shoot without being shot back. It means they cannot be killed. So you can continue to collect more and more bombers. To make your to really increase the strength that bombers have, you collect more and more and try and accumulate them, have loads of them. So the key to bombers is that you need to make sure that you're never bombarding into mobile sams and you're never bombarding into things like fighters. Yeah, let's stay friends, because what happens then is that your bombers start taking heavy damage and die. The reason they're so overpowered is because you just get you, you know they add up. You get more and more and more and more and more. So that's why bombers can be... Oh, can we go to Budapest? No, we have to go via Kyoto. This artillery. Okay. I guess we just bombard this stuff. We need to kill that unit. We can probably try and peace Austria soon. But as I said, we could really use... I mean, we can capture Busan. So we don't need Hong Kong. Hong Kong is a kind of another needless city that we don't need. What do we need to take this? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... I mean, it's it's stealth bombers or battleships on Copenhagen. Maybe it's cruisers. We need to get a vision somehow on Hong Kong if we want to capture it. I mean, we need to probably go through the Songhai now. They've got the world's biggest army. Take range again. I mean, we can start by killing some of this stuff at least while we're here. And then what we can do is move this one over to Budapest. And we need to get a vision somehow. And that requires these paratroopers. So let's drop one here and then move it across the river. This paratrooper can heal. And then this bomber can shoot a civilian unit because why not? And we can build more. We can build some battleships at least. Three, four range battleships would be pretty cool. And this AA gun can come back to the capital. Heal this in Vienna. Another bomber that's not got anything to do. We need to get vision on something. Where's our spy going to go? Hong Kong. No, maybe Busan. Yeah, Busan, I think, is where the spy is going to go. Where's Busan? And actually, are there any city-states where we don't really need to be in? Hanoi, we don't need to be in at all. I mean, Hanoi is Songhai, so when we declare war, that will cause us a lot of grief if we're not that ally. But I think we can just ally them for 26. Or like 40. Yeah, we can just ally them for gold. And then we can move this Hanoi thing straight into Tondibi. 
And actually, we can upgrade this frigate to a battleship, so let's bring this home. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of trouble with the Songhai initially. If we don't get naval units into Busan. Airport in Persepolis now. Take another range promotion. Move these over to Budapest. This bomber is in Kyoto. We can move that to Graz. Bit of a waste, but oh well. And maybe shoot some more Austrian units. But we really could do with capturing maybe one more of their cities, e.g. Hong Kong, right before we're done. This privateer, no, it's not really doing a lot. Uh, anyway, um, Alex asks, is the AA gun just like an intercepting fighter? Yeah, it is. So the AA gun has a chance of interception of 100%. So it can intercept like a fighter and apply its combat strength to opposing units just like fighters do. Yeah, so that's why it's quite powerful. And generally, you know, AA guns are really, really powerful units. AA guns shut down bomber pushes is what happens with AA guns. They're really that good. So that's what you want to use them for. Any time that you want to provide cover for your land units, AA guns are absolutely the way forward. They make it really, really difficult for anyone to use bombers to do anything useful. I wonder if we need to purchase units just because we're slowing down a bit and buying units would definitely speed up our conquest pace. We also kind of need Klagenfurt back because that's where the aluminium is. Rocketry is done. We now probably just need to push. Let's get satellites because that's two scientists. Maybe. Targeting, targeting, four range battleships. We need to protect our little area first. Now that our research agreement came in, that's good. Do we go for satellites or does it just slow us down? I mean, it does give us a scientist, but I reckon it slows us down more than it speeds us up. Let's go for robotics. That might be what we need to kill Denmark. And just keep going battleships. Now we've got this vision, we can hopefully just take Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong is dying pretty fast. We've even got the artillery shots that are now in range of Hong Kong and able to shoot. Oh, this one's actually not in range. We can move that in range. And then we do want to take Klagenfurt back. We can drop one more paratrooper in to get this vision that we need. And so we can start bombing Klagenfurt as well. Klagenfurt almost fully healed, but I think we can get both next turn. And then this can sit outside Vienna. We are bene we are benefiting fairly heavily from statue now, which is great. It's better to have the AA gun actually outside the city, come to think of it. Um, and let's see what else we can do. Uh, she'll give us Hong Kong now for free. No, we want a couple more cities. We've actually born an engineer. Oh. Ah. That's unfortunate. We really didn't want that. We could have done with a scientist. Let's move it back and take targeting, targeting and range on these battleships. We need to, for now, make sure that when we declare war on the Songhai, we can kill every single one of those units that's in our little strait. And then we can break out from there later. Uh, we made a mistake by not using the artillery to bombard Hong Kong. Because the artillery are better at bombarding cities than they are killing units. Bit of puppet, we've got Hong Kong. Um, to take Klagenfurt, I don't think we can this turn. Because that infantry is in the way. We need to kill the infantry in order to take Klagenfurt. Because otherwise it will get in our way. It will move over. We need, we, we're going to need another paratrooper as well. And this battleship can now patrol our area as well. This paratrooper can sit. This battleship knows what it's doing. That, so is that. And we'll build some more battleships. We don't need oil for much longer. We're going to look for stealths with the bombers. Anyway. So, Jack asks, when would you use nukes? I would use nukes to break through a super high combat strength city, or to perhaps try and take out all of my opponent's, say, bombers in one go. Something like that is when I would ideally use nukes. I think that's my best choice of when I would use them. Um, I tend not to use them too much on deity difficulty, because, yeah, we do need another paratrooper. I tend not to use them too much on deity difficulty, because it really annoys the rest of the AI and has a tendency to convince them to do really funny things to you. We need to pillage this banana. Shoot that, and then we can maybe... I mean, we might be able to take Klagenfurt in a peace deal. I wonder if we could actually take Klagenfurt in a peace deal with Austria now. Oh, yeah, yes, she'll give us Klagenfurt. I would, I would love to take all that gold, though. That gold would be pretty game-changing. 
take range now. Uh, we can actually... I mean, we can take Klagenfurt next turn. It's not a big deal. And I would love to take some of that gold. And we want Klagenfurt, so we'll do that. Or battleships, I think. Anyway, Bomb Voyage says... Wow, that's actually a pretty cool river. Panama Canal much? Where, where are we looking at here? Maybe it's something like... Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. This river is this river's actually really cool, isn't it? I really like it. It's kind of fancy. Kind of fancy indeed. We can move one step closer to the city and get some more hills off. And then hopefully we can take that next turn and then get peace. This engineer, I have no idea what we'll do with it. Maybe there's a wonder that we can build. Combustion in three. Sell the iron to Denmark. Yeah, it's very, it's very, it's very like canal, isn't it? These battleships, they're looking a bit suspicious as well. These battleships, aren't they? Look sideways in the canal. That's a recipe for disaster, if you ask me. Okay, bombers to take Klagenfurt, and then kill this infantry, take the city, create the puppet, and then negotiate peace. Oh. Yes, Looks good to me, really. No, 12,000 gold, please. No, this okay. 500 gold? Okay, fine. We'll just take flat piece. We don't need to war Austria anymore. So, anyway. <laughs> Alex says, engineer Hubble. <laughs> yeah, we could engineer Hubble, actually. It's nine turns away, but we would, we would get two scientists from it. How long is our next one? 20, 28, 7. Our next scientist is in 7. So, we don't want Hubble for seven turns anyway. And then, yeah, we can probably use it to progress our way up all of the text that we need to win the game. We'll keep going battleships where we can. These bombers are now virtually useless. We can put them in Hong Kong. for taking on this side of our war. We need to buy a lot of paratroopers. I believe that's probably what we need to spend our gold on. And bombers are safer in Hong Kong because the Songhai can't use land units to... Can't use coastal units to come in and get us. We probably want to vote for ourselves now as host. Promote a unit. What do we got? Um, medic seems good. Heal that. Musician. Yeah, sure. And then all of these battleships. This one comes in here again to try and delete all of that stuff. And then we can move our battleships around. It might need to be sub it might need to be submarines time soon. We don't actually have submarine tech. We could get it if we wanted to. Another four range battleship. I guess get that out of the city as well. I think we're ready to take on the Songhai next turn. For sure. You'll pay for this in time. Hopefully that's dispensed of Austria though. We're top tech. Top production too. We should probably actually bring Kyoto in to be our own city. Because it's got a load of valuable production we could be using. That we're just not. These four range battleships. Yeah, we're ready to take on the Songhai. Let's just do this. Um, Denmark's already at war with them, are they? Oh, they're at war with Japan right now. Can we pay them toward Denmark again? Maybe Denmark will do the war back the other way. We don't actually have a lot of stuff. Which I think is why they're not doing the war. Yeah. Maybe if I ask Denmark, should we declare war? He must decline. Alright, well, we'll just war with them anyway. That seems okay. Our open borders ended, so all their stuff got kicked out. They've got battleships too, but we've got battleships as well. So it's battleship on battleship. Okay, he wants to mercilessly crush us. We could kill Sydney as well if we felt particularly merciless. Let's make sure we don't get any generals bombed or anything or like scientists bombed. So let's move all this stuff back. Uh, yeah, just move it all back a bit. Move this upwards onto our academy. This cargo can go back to Sousa. Uh, we need to kill the frigate. And shoot some city-state stuff. Four range battleships. Powerful, powerful things. Really powerful things. I love full range battleships a lot. One of my favourite things to use, and they're like totally the best way to like abuse anyone who's got a landlocked capital that's marginally close to the coast. We need paratroopers. I think this comes back to what I said earlier about needing to buy some more. Because right now we could probably take Busan if we had a few paras, but we don't. So maybe we annex Kyoto. Has it got it's got a school? Has it got like factory? It does, and a uni. So it doesn't stop us from building any stuff. So let's annex this thing. We do want production focus. We should probably work the scientist slots though. And the scientist production slots in here. And then yeah we've got production focus for the rest which is good. We're starving actually. So we need to um, work some food. 
let's just make sure to work what we can of food. And then maybe that one is okay. Work the manufactory. Do something like that. I mean, this is okay. This food's reasonably good. We'll finish the military base and then we can buy a paratrooper and build one. We can actually not buy a paratrooper because we've already got a paratrooper inside this city. So maybe we power drop this one over. Clag and Furt's got a paratrooper. That's not ready yet. Can we buy paratroopers in here? No, we actually do need to annex for a paratrooper. You can buy a paratrooper here though. Paratrooper here. And a paratrooper here. It's a reasonable way to spend our gold. And the rest does need to be saved for stealth bomber upgrades if we ever get there. Oh, we didn't actually have a military academy over there. That's okay. One more paratrooper. And these paratroopers then can get some business done for us. Two turns until a natural golden age. It's kind of cool. Yeah, get over it. So we just need to... Now, look, there's an, there's an anti-aircraft gun. So that's going to really shut down our stuff. Unless we are to move a fighter across over to Budapest. We don't have one ready. I mean, I think we need to move them via Sousa. I mean, we could try and bomb through it, but that's a hefty amount of damage to take. Oh, we actually managed to bomb through it this time because anti-aircraft guns aren't that strong. We can kill it, though. And then we can get back to bombing Busan in whatever way we please. Probably just bomb the military again. Kill all the land units, because once all their land units are gone, there's nothing they can do to stop us. This paratrooper is kind of done. I can go there and we can sort of do a long power drop, power drop over. And shoot city-state units as we go past Ragusa. With the full range battleships. And we need to push these out. More. Targeting, targeting and full range. I didn't die. Kill that. I actually probably should have tried to capture it. We have a bomber. And then the fighters that run intercept. Maybe build one more battleship. General's fine here now. And then the paratroopers we need to make sure we've got brought over to our new cities to do some damage. So let's go. I mean, we need to keep moving. Is that Barb Camp? Oh. Wow, okay. It's a barb camp. It's a pretty late barb camp at that. We've run into it. It's a barb camp with an infantry in it. And then this paratrooper can also head over, I guess. Where can it go? This one can go here and move down the road. Anti-aircraft gun can, I guess, wait in the city. And this paratrooper also needs to do something like this. General's a safe hit. And we move on. We've actually got the Rationalism finisher in six turns. I don't know if there's anything good that we could take with that. We'll just take whatever's available with the Rationalism finisher. Golden Age has dawned as well. That's nice. There's a private here for us to kill. And then we can kill Ragusa's units. And we've got our own four range battleships. We can stay completely out of the way of the Songhai's battleships and kill them. We probably do need some submarines to seal the deal, but to be honest, these battleships are probably everything they've got. We might have had something pillaged by a unit that got in the water. There's a settler over there. What's that in the in the boat? Bomber? Yeah, it's a it's a bomber, right? Yeah, it's a triplane, in fact. We need to save the writer so that we can time our rationalism finisher. And then we should probably do some due diligence and get an air sweep in. One trireme has been attacked. Two triplanes have been attacked. Three triplanes have been attacked. I don't know if there are any more here. No, there weren't. Okay, and then the Songhai is trying to push in here as well. We've got this fighter that needs to come over to Kyoto first. Another battleship. This is a stage of the game that sometimes takes painstakingly long to finish off. I feel like we definitely have the game won. We're not power drop this turn. Should be able to. Why can't we? I don't know why we're not able to power drop with these. Let's kill the Bob Camp. Okay, and we're in now. And then this paratrooper can. Yeah, we've got two. This one's waiting. So 
We killed the AA gun, so now we just need to shoot other stuff. So we've got five shots. Lancer, Cavalry, and then probably Great War Infantry. Quite easy to kill. Apparently not. We started another Golden Age, so that's cool. Choose production. Battleships. Paratroopers, maybe now. Bombers, perhaps. We're kind of out, actually. So we want to build paras. While we can. And then move on to the next turn. We need to start breaking the back of the Songhai stuff. Trouble is they've got the largest army. So it takes a while. But as soon as we start taking cities, we'll have more than enough. And then what do we do around here? We've got another battleship out. I think our battleships are a lot stronger than the Songhai battleships. We can try and steal a battleship. Oh, nearly. Maybe if we get a fighter bomb on this thing. Oh, how about a fighter bomb on that? Can we steal it? No. It's unfortunate. Oh, we're bomb again. We're going to lose that. And then in here, we need to shoot some stuff. Kill the artillery. Machine guns actually propose quite, pose quite a large threat to us. So we can kill a machine gun. And then this great war infantry dies. It's an opportunity to kill a cab in the water. Then that. And now what we can do is we can get some paratroopers next to Busan. And that's going to be good because what the paratroopers will let us do is we can attack that, that anti-aircraft gun with paratroopers next turn. We've got this paratrooper. Probably going to need to keep these ones over here in the forts. Um, and what have we got? So the Songhai units decided to move in and kill their battleships. Uh, can this one do it? Yeah, we can get a kill on that as well. Now we've got a great admiral. Okay. We'll, we'll rebase this to Budapest. And what do we need? We finished our battleship. We now need more paratroopers. And we just, just need as many paratroopers as possible. Be ready for XCOM squads. And then this fighter can move to Budapest. And we finally got one in range. We don't actually need all of these paras over here. I guess we can do it anyway. And then keep moving. Anyway, Jack asks, are you not worried about Denmark? We're top tech, so no, I'm not worried about Denmark. We'll get to Stealth Bombers and finish them off if we need to. Not really worried about them at all. City-state coming for our trade route. That can't be allowed to happen. Nor can that. We can kill some more units along the way. I think we've broken the back now of all of the Songhai Navy. Doesn't look like there's any more coming. Got a paratrooper here. This one we can use to drop in. We can slam this down. Can we? Yeah, we can. And then we can fill in the gap with our own paratroopers. So Busan looks pretty dead, if you ask me. So let's make sure we can finish it off next turn. We've got this for an air sweep. Yeah, no resistance. Good. Kill all of the floating units because there's no reason to let the floating units live. That's a carrier. I thought that was a floating unit. Yeah, so Busan will die next turn, which is perfect. And then we can focus on killing the units after that. Yeah, we're top tech, so I'm not particularly worried about Denmark because of precisely that reason. Otherwise, I might have been a bit more worried, but yeah, we're top tech. It's something that I was worried about when we were busy doing the whole skipping lab labs for a while thing, but in the end, it didn't turn out to be very consequential. Uh, what else have we got? So we can actually try and move in on Tondibi a bit. We can try and full range battleship down these aircraft carriers. That could be quite valuable. Take out some fighters and stuff. And then we can start attacking their other battleships. And we've got this, these fighters. Uh, can we can we air sweep? Uh, triplanes. Okay, one more. Another triplane. That's probably all of it, though. Yeah, it is. Nice. And then... Bag and fur is done. Paratroopers again. Yes, keep building paratroopers everywhere we can now. We're not ready for the rationalism finish yet. We need to bulb with scientists for satellites. And then perhaps we can push for another good tech somewhere. We've got one more scientist to use. 
Yeah, so two turns for combined arms, and then we'll rationalism finish your computers. It'll be what it is. And then we can actually even... I mean, we could rationalism finish uh, perhaps robotics if we can. But we'll have to see. Let's not ban any luxuries. We've got another spy. That spy needs to go to Gal. Where's Gal? Somewhere, anywhere. There it is, Gal. Anyway, Alex says, have to head out soon. Do you know when the next stream will be? Unfortunately, I have no idea. In fact, I, I may well have to end this stream here. It's a shame to end it so close to victory, but I think I do need to go to bed. This is unfortunate. So I would quite like to finish this game, but perhaps I can finish it later, at a later date on YouTube. So Bombardment 3 now. I mean, that is certainly what I will do if I can't finish it right now. No resistance again, so we can take Busan. But there we have it. And we can, we could liberate it. No, let's just create a puppet. Um, but anyway, um, so I'm, I'm not gone quite yet, but I think I will need to go very, very shortly. Uh, we don't want to go anywhere near those AA guns if we can help it. Just one more turn, says Alex. Yeah, yeah, maybe just one more turn, it's true. Uh, we're actually bombing through AA gun blockades right now. Yeah, we are. We're bombing through AA guns. We've kind of done it now. We've got our city defended. Paratroopers close. If we could get to stealth quickly, we might be able to end this quickly. And XCOM for that matter. We've got... Oh, well, look, we can take a trade route. And then keep moving. That's a nice stack of gold for us. Just make sure the city-state can't, like, move any navy in to harass us. And it doesn't look like they can. We get another land unit in the water. And try and punch through these fighters now. And then we can bombard... No resistance has been encountered, so we shoot the artillery. Oh, really? I don't know why we're taking heavy damage. It must be... We must have got... Um, we must have been intercepted somewhere without knowing. I feel like that's probably the reason why. Heal that. Heal that. Fortif uh, just sleep that. Okay, we now need to keep going. I mean, it's just paratroopers until the end of the game. We've got a lot of army. I wonder if we can get to stealth really soon. So we've got our scientist. We've finished our combined arms. We won't be able to finish computers, I don't think. So let's just take the rationalism finisher. Take that on computers. And then we can put our bulb into robotics. Then we can do the Hubble Space Telescope. Might as well just build it here. Doesn't seem any reason not to move the engineer anywhere. So we can go Hubble. We can get two more. We can change this to Faith Purchase a Scientist. Which I believe is going to happen on the next turn. And then what do we need to do? We need to use our fighter. To take out one intercept wherever we can. And then I guess we'll just bomb through the rest. Because yeah, now we're talking. Bombing through all of this stuff. Just start to really make a dent on the Songhai army. That is a lot of AI units to go through, and this is why I tend to do my domination victories at stealth. Busan got liberated without us noticing. Lol. We can actually take it back, perhaps. Next turn. No need to do it this turn. We probably want to keep the battleships here. And then, can we fight her through this again? No resistance, okay. So we can bomb. And then we could actually probably bomb with the fighters, considering... Oh, no, there was resistance, apparently. Or not. Not entirely sure. We actually did lose our city-state, but we'll get that back. Anyway, Scott Nolley says, Good evening. Good evening, Scott Nolley. Unfortunately, you've joined right at the end of the stream. I think we're about to end it here. Okay, yeah. Very soon. My girlfriend's going to go to sleep now, and as soon as she's done... I'm going to go shower now, and as soon as she's done showering, well, I'll need to end the stream. So... We've got this long to try and finish the game on stream. Otherwise, I will finish it up on YouTube later. Um, or perhaps we'll start and finish it another on another stream just to make sure that we get it done. Yeah. Bit of a bad time for you, I guess, Scott. By the way, Scott, don't know if you've noticed, you've had the moderator tag for the last two streams. So welcome to moderation, everyone. Scott kindly volunteered to moderate for us. 
So I really appreciate that. He's got the moderator tag. Thank you very much, Scott. Uh, Askia wants all of our cities for peace. I don't think so, mate. Our army's nearly bigger than yours. Oh, now the city states are trying to trying to be annoying. Do we need to shoot this one? No, we don't. Good. There's some ah, oh, there's some more Songhai army here now. Let's catch up and take it down. And then over here we we're still rolling with our one bomber. No resistance. Okay. Bomb land units in the water is quite a useful way to use these battleships, I think. We need to kill that, because that's otherwise going to try and pillage our stuff. And then what's going on here? Oh. Well, there goes Busan. So much for that city anymore. We do need Seoul. So I guess we work on Seoul next. We can take Bombardment 3. We wanted range, actually. We probably should have taken range. But we need to knock these units out of the way. Can actually just kill that. And that gives us vision on Seoul, which is nice. Is there is there a fighter in here? Or triplanes? Triplanes are probably not going to do a lot in terms of intercepting us. No resistance. They actually bombed with the triplanes last time out. Oh yes, there was resistance. Those interception mechanics are a bit sneaky on us sometimes. But I guess we've got air repair on all of our bombers, so they're quite able. Uh, we need to move these units up, if possible. Get some back into our own territory. We can pillage this before we go. It's a nice little tip. You can pillage tiles that you don't own. And then this fighter needs to go and intercept. And then this one. I guess we can do an air sweep. No resistance, huh? Oh well. Just kind of hang out. Got a lot of military. These are really stacking. That mobile Sam is alright, but it's not going to be helpful. I think we just... Did we faith purchase a scientist? Yeah, we did. We're going to finish Hubble next turn too. More paratroopers. Hopefully we can upgrade to stealth soon. And this can be done pretty damn rapid. We can also actually probably buy a few stealth bombers. We nearly lost a battleship here. There goes Hubble. A bunch of scientists. Let's queue this up then. Stealth bombers and XCOM squads. Let's go. One. Two. Three. And we can finish Oxford. For two turns. That's fine, and then that'll get us to XCOMs. Remove all of this over. Got this. More paratroopers being built, like, everywhere. Oh, this one stays there. Uh, we don't need jet fighters, so let's dispense of any ideas or thoughts of doing jet fighters. No resistance. Okay, so we can bomb happily now. Oh, that's the advisor screens. Apparently some Songhai and Battleship over there. Not a lot we can do about that, but we can start making more inroads again over here next to their other cities. Battleship there. Battleship dead. And we have a bomber that can take bombardment. And now we need to keep bombing Seoul. And then I just bombed straight through like air defenses somewhere. I actually did. Kind of crazy. No more air defenses though now. So we can work on taking the city down. All of these bombers to use as well. Should have dealt with the AA gun properly, but oh well, we did not. So now we need to try and get some good power drops around the city. Don't know how we do that yet. We need to get our paratroopers home first. Because we're struggling with taking Seoul right now. Unless we get in the water. We can try it with a couple of paratroopers, get in the water. See how that works. And we need more paratroopers as per usual. We actually should build a courthouse because we might go unhappy. Yeah, we lost this battleship, but that's okay. That car has now got a unit in it. That's a bomber. Apparently we're being power dropped on. Okay, Sydney's got a paratrooper. We've got we do, we don't have enough gold right now. We need to try and capture some more cities for gold. No resistance, really. Oh yeah, they killed both the paratroopers. Oh well, we tried. That's 
to find. We need to find a way to break in. I imagine XCOMs will be pretty game-changing in that regard. And shoot some more battleships and just generally try and make sure that everything they've got is dead. Never took range on this battleship. We do have it now. This is so much Songhai army. Anyway, let the three-range battleship abuse of Takaza begin. We can take it as soon as we get XCOM squads in two turns time. There's another paratrooper. We've got too many. It's definitely too many. And not enough in the right places either. We need vision on Sol. Let's put this in Sol. We might just wait for a couple of turns. There it is. Cool. And then we've got a courthouse. I guess we can build a lab. And then in here we don't really want to finish. We can actually start paratroopers but not finish them. We can build a bomber. Um, and this fighter is a bit of a do-nothing fighter, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a do-nothing thing that we did there, but that's okay. We, yeah, we're doing stealth to nanotechnology. Unit needs orders. We can go on intercept mode with these dudes. We need as many XCOMs as we can get. 1773 is all the gold we've got to buy them. Pay for this in time. Okay, bombard that. Bomber. Like that. Choose a free tech. That's nanotechnology. How many can we get? They're 40 gold each. So actually we can get all of them. I think we've just upgraded like 10 XCOM squads. 11. 12, 13, 14. We upgraded a lot of XCOM squads. And then it's just going to be all about them stealth bombers the next turn as well. Hopefully we can just bomb through this now. Yeah, we did. Good. We again need to kill some Songhai units. It's pretty painstaking right now fighting through all of this. But we do now have XCOM squads. And we can build some stealth bombers perhaps even. Where's the stealth bomber? For S. Oh, we can't do it yet. We can build another bomber. I think it's because we lost a couple of battleships. That's why we can do that. There's an enemy missile cruiser here. It's not the sort of thing that we want to have near us. And then these fighters can go on intercept and this bomber. I guess we can use one. See if we can start anywhere near Tondibi again. I mean that infantry. This artillery piece is totally useless and this bomber can move to Persepolis. Uh, advisor screen. Scott says, you missed one. Did I miss one? Oh, I did miss one. You're right. There we go. No need for open borders with Denmark anymore. There's Gao sitting there. It's a very juicy looking target. And now we have stealth. So we're pretty much at our end game victory condition. We need probably range on this thing to make maximum use. Another paratrooper finished. That's an XCOM. Now we need to upgrade all of our other bombers to stealth bombers. we got two there. One, two, three, four there. And then we've still got plenty of aluminium. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six here. And so we are all good. And so it's stealth bombers all the way now. Stealth bomber. Yes, very, very cool. Now we can go for nukes if we need them. And vote world lead us. Make sure we don't do anything dumb. You need orders. That's an XCOM that can wait. All these can wait because we're just kind of waiting now on our XCOM time. And I think we should go for the juicy, juicy gal. That, this would be pretty frightening to see if you're in a multiplayer game. I have to say. It would be pretty frightening. We can even drop a couple in for Takaza to make sure we get it as well. Oh, there's some AA guns in there that we can kill in one shot with a with an XCOM squad. Interesting to know. Wow, these are kind of devastatingly good. I love XCOMs. They are powerful. Right, yeah, we go for this, and then we can just bombard the city. Make sure that it's ready to die on die on the next turn, which it will be. Well, these XCOM squads certainly suggest it will. 
We can probably even just slam down Gal. Like our ace can, can just hit it a couple of times. Yeah, we lost our battleships, but they're only really a bit of a forcing function to get us in here. We can maybe stealth bomber there first. And then take our promotions here. Air repair bomber. Got another musician. Oh, that's the advisor screen again. We take this. So that is a puppet. And then we can actually get to work on some of these battleships that are just standing around right now causing us headaches. And stealth bombers here. What do we got? Wow. There's actually a bit of an incursion coming. I think we're out of aluminium, are we? Yeah, we are. We're out of aluminium. Oh, well, we got a bomber. Sleep that. This can go back to Sousa. And when we capture Gal, we can finally get our Persia Golden Age. We might as well just slam down Gal with XCOM squads. Look at that. It's going to die next turn, I think. Apparently, we've got uranium in Klagenfurt. Anyway, these stealth bombers have got a job to do. That is to dispense of all of this rubbish next to Seoul. A quick air tip, by the way, if you didn't know, stealth bombers have evasion. They don't like they don't dodge intercepts. They use up intercepts but don't take damage from them, which is actually a really important distinction because it means if you've got stealth bombers and regular bombers, what you can do is use your stealth bombers first. They use up all of the intercepts that your enemy has, and then after that. We're, what do we what do we want? We're just like international games or something. And then after that, you can use your regular bombers, and they won't get intercepted because the intercepts have been used up. Kind of a nice cheeky trick that's good to good to know. Next turn, we need some more aluminium. Hopefully, we'll get some. What do we lose? An XCOM. That seems okay. We might just take the capital next turn. We've got a couple of stealth bomber shots as well, so we can do that on that. We got power dropped on by a city-state. And apparently there's someone coming in to get our trade routes now. Well, let's get like let's expend like one bombing run on Gao. Then see if we can get in with all of the XCOMs that we have. Oh, done. Peace. Not yet, because we need Dole. Can we have Sol? What do you have? No, he won't give us Sol yet, so we do need to actually capture Sol for ourselves. But hey, we've got through this, and as soon as we do take Sol, we'll be able to piece him out. That's going to be good for us. And then we've got these extra couple of shots here to deal with the battleship, probably. That's the one that's going to be getting all of our cargo ships. And then we can even use... Yeah, we can take that out. That's good enough. Apparently, we've had oil pillage, but we never had that oil online to begin with. Stealth Bomber got upgrade. Which means that the only thing left that we need to do now is come over here, try and take out Denmark. Apparently the Songhai are coming over for Budapest. That would be bad if we lost the city. This fighter's doing nothing over here that I can move back to Klagenfurt. We're having real trouble right now actually getting into Seoul, although I think we can see its territory now. Which means we need to use some XCOM drops. Have we got any? One. We've got like one XCOM drop. But that's our way in. Yeah, and then we don't really need to worry too much about what's going on over here. And then we can drop the rest of our XCOMs in. And now we've got this capital. Golden Age. There we go. We've got the Persia Golden Age after all. Um, this XCOM can just take that. We just need to hold on to Gao now. 22 turns worth of Golden Age left. I think we lost Gao, we did. Songhai recover their capital, that's fine. We need to time it with when we take Seoul, ideally. Do you reckon we can take Seoul now? Maybe. Yeah, we can actually take Seoul now, I think. And that might allow us to peace. So we need to create a puppet, and then we need to take Gao back. We can use our stealth bombers here to do that. They create a puppet, and now if we check the victory progress, we only need Denmark's capital, so we can afford to peace. 
They'll give us 32 aluminium for peace. Probably I take 10, al 10 aluminium and then like 4,000 gold. 3,500. Oh no, that's 350. My bad. Okay. And now all that's left is Denmark. And we can do that by purchasing some more stealth bombers. Cool. So Denmark's the only AI left. Air repair. Air repair. Cheese production. Build some more stealths. Although it's probably XCOMs that we need actually. So we can drop this in right here, ready to go after Denmark's capital. Because we've got peace, we can drop in all of the rest of our XCOM squads close by. We might actually need to do a bit of daisy chaining because I don't think we've got much vision right now. But I wonder if we just like sail across the ocean with these battleships, we may get vision. And that feels like a good idea. We can drop a spy in Copenhagen. And then that's going to be a couple of turns. We can maybe promote this unit. Yeah, we got. We might have been gifted this, actually. And again, we'll queue the XCOM squads up. We, I don't think we need any more than what we've got. This one can heal. This one can heal. These stealth bombers might be worth starting the war with. Where can we reach? We're one tile short of Copenhagen in Budapest. Which means we need to be in Klagenfurt. And Hong Kong. Don't tell me we've got a fighter over here. No. Well, we can probably, like, daisy-chain through Austrian territory if we oh, can. We've got vision. Oh, we can go through Kaisel. That's where we can go. We can go through Kaisel. Let's get some guys over there this turn. We don't want to use too many, though, actually, because I've learned from my mistakes that you can sometimes inadvertently lose your cities and lose all of your stealth bombers that way. So we need to make sure we've got a good blocking line up in front of Hong Kong. And actually, Seoul probably as well. We don't need to worry about these Songhai in areas because Songhai's can't war us for like 10 more turns. But what we do need to worry about is Denmark taking one of our crucial cities back. Sleep these. Anything that we don't need to use can sleep. Next turn. Very well. We're, we're being denounced. Cool. We can come in for Denmark. They've got a lot of units, but all we need to do is take the capital. So let us begin. Declare war. And then we can immediately XCOM drop right there. And then we can move over one. And then immediately XCOM drop right here. Move over like three. There's Denmark City. Maybe take that down. And then what we can do now is we can get some more XCOMs wherever we've got them over here. And they can drop in next to Copenhagen wherever we've got vision. We'll try and use the odd stealth bomber to take out a cavalry there, for instance. There's a cavalry we can take out with a stealth that we can, again, put another XCOM squad next to. And then, what can we kill? There's another cav, so we can take that out. That's right the way over here. We can drop an XCOM there. That's good. And then this XCOM squad... Yeah, so we got three XCOMs next to Copenhagen now. We'll turn the grid on by accident. Probably just take it next turn. Actually, we might not be able to. I don't think we've got quite enough damage. I mean, we might with the XCOM slams. We may well have enough damage to just take Copenhagen next turn. And we'll back ourselves to hold on to our cities for a moment. Cheese production, another XCOM. Uh, yep, yeah, sleep. And this XCOM needs to get out of the city so it's blocking. And then sleep this... And then one more XCOM to make sure we defend our stealth bomber city of Hong Kong. And then heal. And then this cargo, which is done. Which apparently I can't use right now. Come on. There we go. And that can go back to Pasgado for production. So this stealth bomber, do we have... Yeah, we can put it in Klagenfurt. Do we reach? Yes, good. And then we've got like one more here that can also go into Klagenfurt. XCOM, yep. Let's just power drop this thing in there. These battleships can move over. Oh, look. Trade route. Oh, no, we can't take it. Oh, oh, we've got two more here. We could actually bomb this, I guess, with these two. With this stealth one. Oh, no, we've got not, we've not got range on this one. Oh, Rough Mercy's joined the stream today. Welcome to the stream, Rough Mercy. Hello. 
or Rock Mercy is hello. Unfortunately, you've reached us just as about just as we're about to end the stream. We have been having a bit of domination fun times with AI here. But I think next turn we're taking Denmark's capital for the victory. And then we are most certainly going to bed. Oh my god. We got bombed a lot by Denmark. We didn't lose anything though. That's important. Because that means we can now end this end the game this turn. I think Copenhagen is pretty dead to riots. Okay, so what can we do? Stealth. 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 Yeah, lots of stealth bombers. Copenhagen taking massive amounts of damage. I think we have it. We do. No. Denmark beaten. Capital taken. Domination victory achieved. So, this game was kind of fun, actually. This is one of the rare games where I actually go artillery on deity and it works. So we went schools into factories into RT. Japan decided to declare war on us. We managed to hold them off for a while with crossbows, and then we eventually pushed back on them with cannons, took them down, finished them off with artillery, killed Austria with artillery and great war bombers, and then finally bombers with paratroopers. And then we were able to retake Korea's capital. Korea got killed throughout most of the game off the Songhai. It was a very, very long and drawn out war with the Songhai, unfortunately, but we eventually managed to get through all their units and stealth bombers, as they always do, proved the breaking point to win this game. And we finished it on turn 196, which is not bad. Here's the map, so this is kind of interesting. So we, we never met Denmark for a long, long time. Get some GGs in the chat from Rough Mercies from Scott Nolly. Thank you very much. You can see our little three city empire here in the corner. We three cities into turn 113 schools. At which point we got declared war on Japan and managed to hold them off. So hopefully about turn 120 or something, or maybe it's actually about turn 130. We see, we see where we start making inroads into their cities and we can plot our domination course out. So this city first to fall, then this one gets raised, take the capital, then take this one, it gets raised. Then we get a bit of bit, bit of delayed on Austria and then we start working through all the Austrian cities. Capture Statue of Liberty from Austria, that was pretty cool. Take these cities of Austria, flip a city-state and then finally clear up everything for the win. So, unfortunately I'm not, not going to be able to stick around for the graphs today because I really do need to go to bed. But, thank you very much for watching everyone who's on the stream today. Ruff, are you streaming later on? I don't know if you're streaming. I see you had a stream countdown but I guess you're not streaming right right now. But hey, for anyone who's here, Ruff Mercy is also a fellow Civ streamer. Pretty good, pretty good content. I very much enjoyed watching him. So if you fancy watching Ruff also, or give him a chance. Give him a follow and hopefully you get a notification when he's online. Anyway, this is going to be everything from me. So thank you for joining everyone on the stream today. This is a bit of a late one. Apologies, we've had to clear off pretty quick again, but it is definitely pretty late for me. So I need to go straight away, but thank you very much for watching. Have a pleasant evening, Scott. Thank you very much for watching everybody and I will see you next time. Yeah, Ruffs is not streaming for a while. Yeah, fair enough. I think I saw the countdown. It's probably supposed to be later in the morning, my time, 12 hours away. Yeah, fair enough. All right. Well, I'll perhaps see you then, actually. I might well be watching. All right. See you later, everyone. Goodbye.